talking and girls we lit the squadron balling dodging these moves they hit we got them falling groveling we live in any room server a tent then when they see us we stand we never leave till we end leave till we champ once we logging and girls we lit the squadron balling dodging these moves they hit we got them falling groveling so we live in any room server a tent then when they see us we stand we never leave till we end leave till we champ beat them in advance we do we think for them when we in it we kill it and leave no chance to hell we claim that's not how we move in the wheel of games ultimate gamers and still the change shaking the industry plenty she's winning our team with some killer bees killing these new bodies too we be playing she load the artillery hold the hostility boosting these trophies we win we in it all in on the grind our position and misery leaking they dwell call us the winners cause we never fail this is the team that's making a way from the streams growing and hanging below ultimate end game must leave a million degrees and this is where gamers go pro Niggas tryna put me on the game, but niggas know that I got it. Yeah. Haters be looking over this way, they thinking that I'm a hot topic. Niggas thinking they can play the game, oh my gosh, please better stop it. Uh, I'ma take off in this game, I'm taking off just like a rocket. I'ma stay strong for my team, cause I'm always keeping it solid. Mm. I live my life like a beach, cause I wanna be in the tropics. Whenever I can not get them keys, just give me the keys to the Mazda. Mm -hmm. Then show up to the party in the Mazda, then you Beach know we're just getting it started. I won't go, diamonds froze, life is cold to be cold. Rats told what they told, I gotta stay sin toes. Homies calling sin folk. Hello everybody, welcome to the UEL day two of our final week of regular season play. I am Speedy. I am joined here by Exile. Exile, how are we doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing well. We got Ravens and Bucks today. Uh, two teams from the same conference here, uh, the South Conference. Ravens have been on a real hot streak lately. Bucks, on the other hand, they have one last chance to win a game before their regular season ends. That and, is a tough position to be in. But I have a feeling today could be a chance. Yeah, you think so? Ravens I mean, they've been street. they've had a really positive kind of time after signing uh, Pizza Man, kind of bringing him in. I've seen kind of an improvement over these past couple of weeks, and I think today could be the time. Yeah, Pizza Man's a young talent. It's really cool to see him in the league and just show kind of the diversity that we have here. It doesn't matter how old you are, how young you are. You could just take your gaming prowess and just yeah. throw it at this competitive atmosphere. So. The Ravens here uh, holding a four-man roster, just enough to compete in almost every game that we have. The Bucks, on the other hand, only running with three. Uh, but because of the Ravens only having four players of their own, things should be pretty even for most of the game anyways. So, uh, being part of the league yourself, are there any players here that you're going to have your eyes on? Uh, Yeah. Knowing Stars, seeing how he plays, that's always ones to watch. Genghis, Vape, him, all four of them are pretty much ones to watch. Same with, like, Mr. Fear. Uh, I can tell you, both teams are players of ones to watch. So, it's not like you're going to see it, and you might be disappointed. Every player that's playing today can do something to surprise another team absolutely yeah and we can take a look at the standings here because if we take a look at these conferences and the way that we've got them set up right now it is a close race for a lot of these positions the bucks on one hand not really in a position to do anything their se regular season is technically already over that's why we don't see a big showing for them here today but uh there is a possibility for them to not go goose egg as they say just an <laughs> 0 and 10 record uh they want to end it one and nine. Ravens, on the other hand, they want to finish with a winning record. They don't want to go even. Those ex gods right above them finished with a six and four record. Okay. And I believe if they finish this game with a win because of their wins over the ex gods, they will be in Higher the second place position. Okay. Yeah. So I believe they'll finish in that second seed spot right behind Eclipse. You see that we have two minutes left until we get this game started. Uh, we will check in on the standings in a little bit, but. On the other side, uh, just to talk about what's going on in the atmosphere of the league right now, we do have the Northern Conference as well, which we saw some action of yesterday. Uh, those teams already also locked in. We do know that the Bandits will not be qualifying, yeah. but the other five teams will. So uh, I forget who it is that we saw yesterday. It was the Wolves versus the Reapers. It's going to be the Wolves and 
they are going to be going up against us the ghost yes the ghosts right thank you that made that's why you know so well the the ghosts right going against the wolves you guys will be going against each other and that will be the wild card game for the northern conference the south conference on the other hand going to be the gorillas versus the um cobras no cobras are uh they're high side wait there are, the Cobras are on your side. That's who you guys oh, are yeah. going up against at some I'm trying point. To, I'm trying to put my mind on it. I know it's the Gorillas, but oh, would it be the Phantoms? I think so. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> most likely is the Phantoms. I think you got that one right there. Uh, so, yeah, but those two teams going to be going at it for the wild card game there. So, as we said, this is the uh, end of the regular season. This will be the third to final game besides our makeup week that we will have next weekend, which will just be one very, very exciting game between the Eclipse and the bots. As one would say, time flies. Uh, it really does. We're already coming close to the end here, but this postseason is going to be crazy. We have some really, really strong talent. We have teams like the Cobras and Ravens who have been on such a hot streak lately, and it's been really impressive. We're going to go ahead and get our rock, paper, scissors set up here. So soon we will be determining which team is going to kick us off and make the decision on whether they'd like to defer the first game or not. Always a good situation to be in, set the pace of the match. So uh, we'll see which of these players from the teams are going to be kicking us off. You could see there that each team has five timeouts and five forfeits. Those can be used situationally. You can forfeit any game at any time if you want to save yourself some time. Just go ahead and give a win to the other team so you can move on to something you're better prepared for. So, right and so today we're going to be seeing Mr. Fear versus him in Rock, Paper, Scissors. Him took the win. So we're going to see after this first spin if they're going to be respinning or if they're going to be taking the game. Here we go. Let's see what this first game is going to be. We're going to get some. Oh, it looks like a long title there. Guilty, Guilty Gear, Gear Strive. Off. All right. They sound excited they out sound there on the floor. <laughs> there is a lot of positivity coming in from this. And... um knowing some of the ravens i do think that they're gonna play this i think this is gonna be a good matchup knowing kind of who they can put in i just want to know who they're gonna anchor right that's always the important question is who your anchor is going to be for fighting game and a uh, common strategy that we see in these team fighters is you'll have one player uh at the at the bottom of your roster waiting to be the final piece to come in and wrap everything up for your team at the end so it's a really important position to be in. And while some teams do lead their strongest man at the beginning and try to sweep with him, it is a lot more common strategy to try to weaken up the enemy team a little bit first. I, I have a feeling. Um, I know Mr. Fear, he does know what he's doing. He did almost actually take out Eclipse when they played. Came down to just extra aspect. I think it was a one-on-one, -on -one, like, last life, right? Pizza Man knows what he's doing. So this is actually going to be a pretty good game. I just want to see who the Ravens think they want to anchor in what game that they really want next oh we're gonna are they gonna forfeit i think they're gonna respin they're respinning they're choosing not to start off i even wrote it in my notebook Same because here. i thought that it was going to be the first game wow no instead we're gonna go ahead and start off need, for, need speed. for speed all right all right so need for speed gonna be actually a really good respin for the ravens because they are gonna have a huge advantage here this is a 4v4 game and the bucks only have three players yeah and the bucks actually get to choose since i think it's their setup now they actually get to pick whether oh i actually know it's the ravens setup so the ravens are going to pick whether they want to be the cops or the um people being chased though the person who is most wanted is randomized so whatever happens if someone is most wanted and they don't know how to play this could actually be a really close game, even with a man down. Right, and in this 4v4 game, it's not like you can just put in your strongest racers. I mean, everyone has to go in here, so somebody will be selected, and whether or not they're actually a good racer is going to be up to chance. And we'll see who it is. This one has the potential to go long, especially if they... Uh, I do have a feeling the Ravens will play cops here. The Bucks will have a lot harder time playing defense for their most wanted, so it could be a quick and easy game if the Ravens want to go uh, for a cops. How, how do you think the pace of this game is going to be? Being a 4v3, do you think it's going to be like a like a blow up? Not necessarily a blow up, but do you think it's going to be like we're going to be getting games done faster than you would normally think? Or do you think it's going to be so close paced that it's like each time it's kind of more of attention being built? I think that this is going to be a high spirits game for sure. I think there's a lot of energy out there already. Um, 
Whether or not it's going to be close, I can't quite say. I do think the Ravens having four players is going to be an advantage. Not only have they been on a serious hot streak and showing off that they are one of the best teams in the conference, if not the entire league. Yeah. But, I mean, the Bucks only having three players for a, 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 a matchup where you're going to come up on 4v4 games, 5v5 games, 3v4s. Where, uh, you know, if the Ravens want, they can make it a 3v3 by only rostering three of their own players. But it's a tricky situation to be in for the Bucks. I really think they're at a heavy disadvantage here. I just have to see what kind of strategy they're going to put in place for this particular match. I'm kind of excited to see it because instead of like the Ravens running a five man or even a seven man, they kind of lowered their like team down to a four man. So even if these games roll, say like Overwatch being 5v5, both teams still have a disadvantage. Now, one team's going to have more than the other, but it's not like you run in with a seven man, you have the two people being anchored. Right. It is a, it's tricky for both teams now. They're both in a comparable situation for their team. They're weakened for sure, but the Ravens with just a little bit of an advantage having that extra player, uh, not to mention, once again, the uh, I will say the Bucks here today, we talk about um, the Ravens being on a hot streak, the Bucks being 0-9 right now. The Bucks really are, if there were three players you would want to pick on that team uh, to be your last-ditch effort to grab a win against the Ravens, these are some really talented players these would on the be side the of the three. Bucks. So these are the guys you want in. There's a reason they showed up. They're dedicated. They still have the energy. They're still ready to play. They're excited. So, yeah, they're going to bring it to the Ravens. I don't think they're going to let this be a wash by any means. I think they're going to fight in absolutely everything. I think they're going to pick up some wins as well. Uh, I do think there are games that Pizza Man, Gravity, Mr. Fear all specialize in that they're going to be able to uh, carry their team, honestly, and pick up some wins. So I do think that there's opportunity for the Bucks to put on a good showing here. And these are the three guys that you want to keep your eyes on because they're dedicated. They're really, really, and they have aspirations here in the league yeah. and they're showing it. They're like, we're going to be there for the last game because... Whether or not I'm going to be on the Bucks next season, or I'm going to have new teammates on the Bucks, or I'm going to be on a new team, yeah. no matter what, this is what people are going to remember. You got to be here every single week so people see you, they know that you're improving, and they know what you're about. And yeah, these players are going to be bringing it to them because this is their last showing for the entire season. And I know that they've been 0 and 9, but like knowing, seeing how they've played, it's not really been like, oh, we're looking at the box scores and their number, this box score is such and such, it's bad. But how these uh bucks have been playing these three specifically have been kind of the highlight kind of been like a little bright spark okay so uh knowing this we're going to be seeing that pizza man's going to be most wanted the bucks are going to be the racers today and the ravens are going to be the cops yeah definitely a good strategy by the ravens to play the cops they can end this one a lot quicker as the cops it's a little bit uh easier to this, play Lisa. as the cops with a man down because you are still playing from the back of the group trying to be aggressive and take to the offense you know so you when you're trying to play defense with you know one man down it is definitely a lot harder so the ravens with a good strategy here i think they know okay. what their win condition is in this okay. game um, they're not giving away any advantages because i think they know that uh, they could lose a game at any time on this wheel the bucks are not going to be a throwaway team there's some really Good players here. I mean, Pizza Man being as young as he is and being as good as he is at this game, really, really impressive. And we're going to see Pizza Man actually here in the Mitsubishi Lancer Evo. He actually crashed right as the game started. Maybe they haven't been practicing this map as much, but, you know, we still have that disadvantage. But we're going to see maybe they can actually pull something out and be a surprising team. Man, it is a tough situation to be in when your most wanted is the only person on your team who's not even old enough to get a driver's license yet, huh? <laughs> I don't even think he knows how to draw. Like he doesn't even have an idea of what what works and what doesn't yeah. work. So him being most wanted kind of seems like a disadvantage. He's taking a lot of contact at the moment, but he He's... did get the turnaround. A very nice collision from his teammate. Pizza Man gets a little bit of an escape. He's moving the other way. So right. They're kind of focusing actually on the other bucks to kind of, if they take out the other bucks, then it would literally just become a 1v4. But we do see that Pizza Man has gained a huge lead and they're now using their jammers. Yeah, you can see the ring on the left side there. If that green car gets to the outside of the flashing rings, that is when uh, there will be a timer that starts to count down and the most wanted will start making their escape. So the cops here want to keep him in that ring 
and see how much distance he has now. When he has open road, it looks like he's really, really free to just cruise. He's got good control of his car by himself. He is being caught up to right now. There's some distance being closed, so he's got to think about possibly using one of these boosts. All right, they ended up catching back up to Pizza Man after the uh, turnaround. We're going to continue to see this play out. And we're going to see the Ravens take this in a uh, win. So currently, you know, first game down. Surprise, I'm not speedy anymore. <laughs> yeah, we did a magic trick. Midway through, um, just brought in Ash. So instead of speedy, now we have Ash. Yeah, what's going on, guys? What's your name, actually? I don't think I've met you before. My name is Exile. Exile? Yeah. That's such a hard name. I chose Ash. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, what's going on, guys? We got Ravens and Bucks tonight. Okay. All right, and next game up is Gears. Gears of War. This ought to be fun. Wait, we got a three man. Three man go dummy again? Question mark? Against a four man. Think Against a four Yeah, man. we got a three man versus a four man. So oh. if we combined both teams together right now, we would have a seven man. They'd have a full team and we could bring in another team. Anybody on standby? <laughs> yeah, do we, got, do we got any teams on standby that want to come play? You know, come just have some fun. <laughs> right? So we got Gears of War, a 5v5, but it's a 3v4. I don't think I've seen this before. This I don't think fun. I have either. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Like, <laughs> looking at it like this, this is kind of interesting. But this knowing some teams have won these three-mans, and the shout-out to you, Billy, like, knowing your guys' motto of three-mans go dummy, <laughs> we could see that motto being used again today. Oh, that is possible. However, though, based on stats, we may not. So it may be a rare. Yeah. I, I mean, I would love to see it again. Don't I'd love to see it as well. I'd love to see a surprise. But also, just knowing, like... Even if they don't get a win today, the Bucks can look at it and be like, this is stuff that we can improve on. This is stuff that we can use. Knowing the games that they, if they end up winning, that's games that they can actually look at and know how good they are. Mm -hmm. And this team has been a surprise, even though you'll look at their box score being 0 and 9. But well, that could all change next season. They could be like 10 and, they could be 10 and 0. That actually is true. That is very true. I would love for them to see to be. I'd love that as well. That'd be kind of a crazy like if we looked in like a year or next season and they're undefeated or something, they're challenging for the prize. <laughs> then you know what? I'll I'll take all the <laughs> credit for that. That is called the comeback of the season, guys. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. But we got Gears of War. Definitely excited for this game. What games are you excited for? I don't know if that was asked yet, but I'm going to ask. because um, I really kind of want to see Fortnite. Just Ooh. stars versus Pizza Man. That yes. would actually be fun. That, I think that is going to be a really good matchup. Yeah, because they're both. They're both still in high school. We ended school up getting, too, yeah, we we ended up getting Guilty Gear first. Oh, did they, they re-rolled yeah, it? Yeah, the the Ravens re-rolled it. So I was actually kind of oh. wanting to see because I know Mr. Fear knows how to play. Pizza Man actually does know how to play Guilty Gear as well, and I think Gravity could have picked up some time on this game, knowing if they have been practicing. So he's got two really good teammates who can show him what to do. Oh, absolutely, especially with him on the team too. Because I believe him him is a fighter. Yeah, too, right? him him's really good though. So I, I I have a feeling. I mean, Stars has picked up fighters. Gangus has picked up. Uh, so it's honestly like a form. This is this is a good game. This is gonna be a really fun game. I did not expect this when I left work today. <laughs> <laughs> I walked in here thinking it was gonna be a seven or five man versus a three man. I mean, last week we saw the uh, Bucks run a two man, and they still took off six games. So anything's possible in this league. It is, and I mean they could change the score tonight. Zero and one, or zero and nine to one and nine. Yeah, they could. This is their final game of the season. They might just say, "Look, we we end this season on a win, and we can look into next season with positivity." That I mean, that is a, that's a very optimistic way to look at it too. I would. Let me tell you what, I would be so happy for these guys. I would as well, honestly. If I have to interview them and they're winning, I'm celebrating with them. I'm gonna be like, "Shout out, Pizza Man." <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny, though, that Pizza Man and Stars are both in high school because last time I commentated for Stars, he was doing homework. Was he actually? <laughs> he was doing homework. He had an assignment due at midnight. And was it like a Thursday game or something where like you get out near midnight? Because I think I was there. 
and they were talking about it and the, it was like yeah i just finished an assignment you'll see him he goes through after a game if he has already set up the next game you'll see him in the back and he's on a pc and he's doing his homework but <laughs> I, I gotta give it to him like that is that is grind right there he is looking for success and he's getting it, it that man look he made it there on time all right okay, we have apex, apex next okay. okay this is fine like that is definitely Remember, a game that Bucks could take, I believe. That's actually a fair game, knowing kind of what... Actually, yeah, let's see this lineup. So they got a four-man in, so everyone in, they'll have a full reset, and it's the same for the Bucks. The Bucks have to throw everyone in. But that doesn't mean it's a bad thing. Like, Pizza Man has won these shooters this year, mm -hmm. and he's been kind of like their bright spark. They're kind of like ladder to climb even though they're in this dark area like he has been that kind of comeback player for them mm -hmm. oh absolutely and this is his first season too right i don't believe it's his first season but um it's his first season with them. like he joined midway through coming from the bandits that's right yeah yeah, yeah. i'm still learning everybody's backstory <laughs> everybody's lore there's a lot of lore <laughs> yeah, to learn there's, here, there's guys. some lore so once you get in you can't get out <laughs> Let's see. Game loading up, waiting for other players. We're going to be seeing a team death match here. So I'm surprised they didn't run Guardian like last night in the Reapers versus the Wolves. But then again, I don't know who had the choice in that game. But I feel like if they did run Guardian, it could actually be closer. Yep, I could see that. I think Guardian wouldn't have been a bad choice. Um, still, though, team death match is not a bad choice. Now, now for the map, Icebound? Yeah. Because they're probably going to go crossbows on this map, right? I believe so. Yeah, so they're definitely going to be going crossbow on this map. Game. You know, for an old game, it definitely you know, takes just as long to load. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So hey, this could be this could be the mental like the mental game that the Bucks need. Kind of get them slowed down. Okay. All right, yeah. So while they figure what out what's going on, coming back to us. Hi, guys. Hi, how are y'all doing tonight? So Anyways, this, this could be a mental. This could be like yeah. a little breather for them, even though it's the second game in the in the literal entirety. They've only been here for eleven minutes. Yes. Um. Speaking of which, let's talk about the road to Michigan. All right, I love talking about this, especially since I just got here. But road to Michigan, let's bring up those scores. Coming up, get your tickets. Okay, it's going to be big. It's going to be huge. It's going to be massive. This is, it's all for 100K, so you don't want to miss out on this. This quite literally is, that 100K could change anything. I mean, if you told me that I could win 100K and I'm going for it, I would be happy. Oh, absolutely. I mean, imagine what, like, that's life-changing. That's right a there. lot of money. But you know what it also requires for you to be able to reach that 100K? Getting to Michigan first. You got to get to Michigan. You need to have passion, drive. You it's need to win. So we're going to see the two top teams in both conferences. You know, the North being the Reapers, who ended up coming off a win last night against the Wolves, and Eclipse, who ended up playing on Sunday mm -hmm. against the uh, Phantoms. Yeah, they play against the Phantoms. So it's going to be a pretty good game. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then after that, the Eclipse still have another game to go after this. So they're not done with their season. We'll be there next week. Mm -hmm. but yeah, that is true, yeah. Yeah, as we come up to playoffs, playoffs are right around the corner. We got how many, how many more games to playoffs? Think after this game tomorrow. So after this week, there's just one. There is one game next week, and then it's like it is. It is playoffs. That's right. Yeah. Yep. And so the Bucks and the Bandits, yeah, they are both mathematically uh, cleared out of run, like the run in for playoffs. They cannot mm -hmm. get to playoffs. But that doesn't mean it's like the end of the world, you know, like they can just kind of move on from the season. They still have positives like their box, their scores, their standings. Yeah, it looks bad. But if you actually watch them play, you'll see there is positivity there. And mm -hmm. it's not just all dark and gloomy. Oh, yeah. And it all the biggest thing that matters is what they learn from here, how they well played. Eat the monitor at this point. So here we go. Getting back into the game. Looks oh, like pirate a little bit. Gears of War finally decided it wanted to work. Yeah. You know, you guys you know me? how technology yeah, goes, <laughs> especially with these big game developers. Oh man, I don't know how many games we have issues with. I was happy to see Need for Speed worked. 
Like, yeah, yeah Need for Speed went through still, even man. with a uh, disadvantage, and I don't get it. before you even got here, oh, you know, Pizza people. Man actually got look some distance. He was like, I think his best distance was around 550 yards. Oh wow! Just about to get out of that circle. As he did a turnaround, he he knew how to do a turnaround, and then just kind of got caught up, and that's where. Uh oh. Hold on, I want to see what skin's using. Looks like we're still having technical difficulties with yeah. Gears, of, Gears of War. Don't tell me. Those Gears yeah. I want to work today oh, after yesterday? Man. I want. I was really hoping Gears of War. I was today. hoping Gears as well. Like, oh. knowing some of the shooters on this team, they definitely could pick up this game, and this could be a win for either team. Like, this could be a win that's needed. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. But, like you said, it could be a mental game. I think this is. Because Need for Speed, I mean, it already played out. Need for Speed's one yeah. of those games. I don't. I feel like it's not really like a like a mental setting game. Yeah. It's one of those you kind of burn through it and you just roll. You just roll with it. Yeah. Regardless. You just, kinda, of it. You just get the wheels rolling. No pun intended. Like, there is no pun. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, like, you just kind of get the momentum. And once you get down one game, you kind of just chug along. You, you yeah. get that going. And now that the first game was Need for Speed and Gears of War not working, it kind of slows that momentum down because. Mm -hmm. These players are wanting to play, even if it doesn't matter. Like, even if they they may win in the long run, but they just want to play the game. Like, they want to get this game done with. They don't have to continue sitting here waiting to see a game that isn't loading. Oh, What's there we go. We got it to load. Drop shot to there we go. So we're gonna yeah, see the uh, Ravens oh, no, being the cog short, 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 and the Bucks being the swarm. I always forget that's an important thing to say. <laughs> I'm still new to Gears of War. I, I didn't play the the first four. Yeah, I think you're by yourself. So. But here we go. We're gonna push up on left side. Still, still team deathmatch, right? Yeah, it's okay. still TDM. First, uh, so each light, like each person that you kill, it kind of takes down. It takes down the meter until mm -hmm. once you get to zero, they can and you die at zero. You cannot respawn. Ooh, nice kill here coming from Stars. It's gonna be Stars picking up the kill with the bow. Yeah, we called it. Ooh, almost reminds me of Black Eyes from Rainbow Six. That looks pretty nice. Uh, it, you know, I know it reminds me of a weaponized one one five from oh, yes. uh, Black Ops. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy somebody else knows that that <laughs> weapon skin. Oh. We're gonna see S Stars has the angle here. Oh yeah, he's got a he's oh he's gonna push up to a good spot. Gonna get a Nasher. Nasher shot in. Okay, down teammate team shot. Really good movement here oh. from Stars. They're getting flanked from behind. Okay, we're gonna see Stars gonna get another down. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of confusion as the spawns i think of swaps so they're kind of they're trying to remember what's happening but we're going to be seeing uh mr fear going down here oh my gosh stars is just stars is going crazy uh oh there's oh uh, okay so because the uh bucks and i believe the ravens have a man down no one in they had to load up the PC to actually load someone in, so there is just a AFK console. So if they really want to, they could pick up kills from that. But I think both teams are, you know, not as like sweaty like that. <laughs> I don't know. Do you know stars? <laughs> uh, no, I know stars, but I mean they could definitely try. Yeah. No, but on in all honesty. It's kind of a disadvantage for the Bucks, but I mean they're they're trying to hang in here. Unfortunately, the Ravens, they just... Stars is going off. This yeah, is stars. quite a... It's just stars. Well, not only that, but he had his teammates there with him. Teammates yeah, his were, teammates were also... Uh, his teammates are doing great. It's all all entirely... They're, the entire team's doing good. They oh, know what no. they're doing. Here oh, we see no. the Bucks getting uh, flanked with stars pushing. Oh. Stars ending up going down. They could confirm the kill, or stars could get revived. Oh. Okay. So, so the... Oh. The Bucks still keep it alive here. Even though they're all down to their final life, so if one of the brave or the one of the Bucks gets killed here, they're out. So it's kind of just a four v like. I I would say the Ravens could respond eight more times. Yeah. Uh. Let's. I mean. The only thing now is if they start selling, they just start throwing their lives away. But right now, that I mean, I don't think so. Stars just got another kill. Uh, he took down two. Stars got two out, so it's now a two v four. Yep. You're still alive. Okay. Okay. We here we see gravity staying. All oh, gravity just got sniped. Hey, last person oh, okay. I thought somebody had pushed him. I thought someone pushed him as well, but I believe he got long range, and we have one left here, which is going to be 
I think the AFK. Genghis with the sunglasses. <laughs> Bro, he's got the drip. <laughs> so, I'm going to say, okay, so it's a Ravens W. So, they're going to be going up 2-0 now with Apex being next. Apex. This is going to be... This is actually going to be a good game because of the knowledge. I mean, Pizza Man knows what he's doing with shooters. If I've, I've seen him play Fortnite, so I think he could do the same in Apex. Oh, yeah. And I want to know what map they're going to be picking because we've seen the uh, newest map added to Apex recently being played, like where teams are just kind of holding the main point. And I believe it was Eclipse vs. Ghost where we saw Eclipse actually backing off from those team fights. And then did one final push and ended up winning it all. Like, they took the entire point from the game just from one team push. Mm -hmm. Well, also, uh, I think Wolves did that, too, against Bandits. They ended up getting the... I think they passed the Bandits by two, three kills. And then mm -hmm. just started running around the edge of the map. So, I mean, if they choose the, uh, the, the new map, because it is big, they could definitely pull that off as well and take that win. And, I mean... With the way that Stars plays, that might actually be best because Stars is a, a very big push. He's a push heavy person. That's not bad. Like knowing Stars, he, he, he can do it. Like he can back mm -hmm. himself up. Like we've seen him run into these team fights by himself and he wins. Mm -hmm. So here we're going to see the Ravens leaving out Vape as an anchor for the next game to roll. Probably hoping a sports game could roll like Madden, 2K, or a couple other games. But we're going to be having him, Stars, and Genghis go in against Mr. Fear, Gravity, and Pizza Man. So no surprise on that side. Those three have to go in. Not going to lie. I'm kind of sad Wonku was in here. I was Wonku or Herb. No Wonku, no Herb. Kind of sad not seeing him. I know. Well, I was excited to see her um, her Rocket League again. I was. Uh, that was one of the games. Yeah. Uh, if Wonku is here. I mean, Stars and Genghis this season have been really good at Rocket oh, yeah. League. So I think Wonku's just their practicing of Wonku, them playing of Wonku mm -hmm. has really helped. Oh, yeah. But like I said, she she caught me off guard when I watched her play last time. I didn't because like Rocket League is one of those games. It's you have to spend time to like, yeah, really learn the game. And when she busted out the aerials, <laughs> I was like, oh, she knows this game because <laughs> uh, like, like we have 33 games on yeah. our wheel. And that that that's a, like I'm pretty sure she plays it competitively. She's ranked highly. I believe she's champion in Rocket League. I could be wrong. Ooh. If she's listening and she proves me wrong, that's fine. But I know she's pretty high ranked. I believe recently I've seen her run ones against a couple other people in the league. She's actually really good at the game. <laughs> Stars knows what he's doing. I've seen Stars hit aerials against us when we played the Ravens. Um, Genghis, I've also seen clips of him. Genghis knows what he's doing. Oh yeah, Ravens as a whole, just a really they're solid they're rock, they're one of the good Rocket League teams in this league. We have mm -hmm. a few of those teams in the league that like you see Rocket League, you're gonna see good players play. Mm -hmm. But there's also the chance we won't roll Rocket League. I, that, that'll hurt, kind of. <laughs> I know that would kind of hurt them because I feel like they if we asked them before the game what game they want to play the most, they might have said Rocket League, they might have said Fortnite, they could have said a fighter. Imagine Valorant or uh, Overwatch. Valorant or Overwatch would be pretty fun to see. Yeah. A 3v4 and Overwatch, that just doesn't... Oh, man. DBZ. Okay, okay. so we got a Fighters next. Finally dipping into the, the Fighters. I mean, definitely a good start for games, though. Oh, definitely. It's been a kind of fast-paced game besides the technical issues with uh, Gears of War. Yeah. But it looks like we're going to go with base operators. Yeah, they're going to be playing base operators only. Okay. I'm waiting for the day people start playing DLC characters too. I want to see uh I want to see my Mirage played. Mirage that's what I that's what like I want to play. I love I love Mirage. He's such a he's such a funny character. Same I here. Like, I feel like he'd be I don't know, he'd just be funny to see on stream. Oh, so they're going to be playing control here, actually. So this is going to be, if both teams are in a team fight constantly, it could be a slower pace game. Mm -hmm. Instead of just a gun run or a TDM. Yeah, I, I have a feeling they're just going to be, it's going to be a lot of team fights on B. You might see a couple flanks, you know, uh, but I, I have a feeling Bucks are probably going to try and take B and bunker down. Uh, let's see what here we what see have. Bucks going for C, so they're getting their first point. But Stars instantly ran to B, pushed B, got they're there as B fast right as possible. So 
now that that, that happened, Ravens have two points. Well, Bucks are playing with the Pathfinder the Bangalore lava. Bloodhound, so they got the information oh. and the coverage so plus there. movement. So they're not, I don't think they're, there's going to be any bunkering down at all. I don't think so outside. either. Which I'm trying to, I was trying to see who the uh, Ravens are playing. On me, 24. Oh. Uh, no shield. Oh, this and is here we good. see Pizza Man getting a kill or an assist. He got yep. him down. Finish him up. Come on. I'm gonna see another one. So it's basically a 2v1 in this area. Uh, I do think Stars has gotten a kill, which he has. He's pushing. Oh. Oh. Those three So it's Pizza Man versus Stars. Oh, uh, Pizza Man. Oh, 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 oh. But we still have Mr. Fear still standing. He's kind of throwing up back. Oh, trying to get those shots down. Arthur wants such a, such a beam weapon. You can definitely tell they know how to play this game. Mm -hmm. Both teams, like, there's just shots that are being hit. Oh, the strafe was crazy coming from <laughs> Stars. Do you see the, the I'm little, telling you, the this, little this, buddy hops? I'm telling you, bro, when you see Stars play, you see him play as shooters, expect something crazy. Mm -hmm. And expect it in a good way. Like, that's when he I, plays that's these shooters, like, like he, he's insane at these shooters. Mm hmm and that's what we like to see here. We like to see some nice, clean, crazy plays. Something off the wall and different. So here we see the Ravens actually pushing C. They're, so they're trying to take out all three zones. I think a triple cap definitely saw that, especially with stars, stars in game. Triple cap was, I mean, it was inevitable. They're going to they're gonna keep pushing. I mean, right now they kind of have them uh, trapped in a, in a spawn lock here. I mean, they're going to keep spawning C until they push and take it. I think the best bet for the Bucks here, they did do... Oh, Pizza Man actually went down. I think the best bet for them is to have one kind of break off their group of three and go for A or B. So at least kind of get the uh, Raven split up. Instead of their three stack, you get them split up. Mm. Oh, Genghis missed just one too many shots right there. But he got the assist. Stars oh. took it. Okay, so here they are controlling C. Oh, oh, he went down, actually. Just barely survived. I swear, man. Doors are everybody's months. nemesis, man. They never want to work. <laughs> and here we see stars going down and gravity actually capturing point back for the bucks. So what's that? They have C right now. Yep. Yeah. So Ravens only have C, whereas uh, the uh, Ravens have A and B, whereas Bucks have C. So mm -hmm. it's kind of a two to one on the game. The Bucks need to kind of change up their play style here, push for maybe B or even A, kind of distract them. And okay. they need to start winning some of these more team fights when Stars pushes. We got flying kittens on the map. Yeah, that's <laughs> Stars. Flying kittens 9000. Mm. I'm pretty sure that's his name. I love that. Actually, it's, 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 it's such a cool <laughs> thing. <laughs> Imagine you just get into a 1v1 with somebody just randomly. And you see them strafing you, do some like BM stuff, and you get killed, you get taken down by Flying Kittens 9000. Flying Kittens 9000. That's mm. a fire name. It is. Don't can get me we, wrong. Uh, can we, as commentators, make a petition to get Stars to change his league name to Flying Kitten? I mean. Or at least get that on the back of his jersey, possibly. That would be pretty cool. I, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. I think that'd be kind of that would be funny. Like, just imagine the shout. It's like chance. If it was like, say the Ravens get to Michigan, you have the crowd and they're just chaining his name, Flying Kittens for Finals MVP, not Stars for Finals MVP. Flying Kittens nine thousand. I'm imagining the interview. So, uh, Flying Kittens. Um, what did you think of that last game? <laughs> <laughs> but, all right. So we got Stars and another. Oh, Stars, oh, stars, stars a taking another one down. Oh, yeah, that's unfortunate. 2v1, kind of, that was hard for him to get out of. But here we see Genghis actually getting into the zone. So he's forcing the Bucks to push to that zone to try uh, you know, capture it back. A little bit, though. Okay, it's okay, oh, no. it's okay. I was about to say Bucks took Actually, a Bucks A. Yeah, yeah Bucks, Bucks took okay. A. So here we see him and Stars going back for A. Maybe, maybe uh, someone actually no. It's looking like the person on the box who captured A went back around towards C or B. Uh, I think he probably went pushed B. I have a feeling. I have a feeling B as well because that kind of like diagonal line. You just yeah. Well, because all of the Ravens were sitting at C, so it would have been. Want, I'm gonna go to A. Yeah. Okay. 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 Oh, yeah, here we see, here we're hearing one of them going, I'm going to go to A, so they are playing this game. They are actually going for point now. They're kind of realizing that team fights won't win them the game. If they take mm -hmm. the points, they'll win. 
Well, I think the one thing that they did that was smart is they split up the Ravens. Yeah. That was one of their smartest well, One plays. thing I wanted to happen as well is, like, if you know the Ravens are pushing you, all three are on, you, kind of holding you back to see, split up, distract them, get them, like, kind of taken away. Mm-hmm. Because now we're going to see them going back and forth from each zone, trying to capture one, but another one gets taken from them. Mm-hmm. And Ging is here playing his life a little bit. Here we see Gang is taking C and <clears throat> actually holding C, getting an assist. Was that him came in for the... Yep. Yeah, him came in for the kill. Gang is held. Gang is went down. Couldn't, you know, shield up in time. I think Pizza Man took him down. Yeah. Stars. We're seeing stars. He were 14 kills. Oh, man. The stars, buddy. Give him a chance. Let them let them get some numbers. Oh, yeah. Is that a mobile respawn beacon? I think it is. I didn't realize they had that. Here we see stars hitting his shots. Oh, I bet you it's just a spawn point. That's all that is. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. Oh. Him here. Shielding up. Are they? No, they have C. They have all three, I think. Yeah, they have all three. They're about to have all three with one. (laughs) Uh, Him going down. I jinxed it. (laughs) The commentator's curse. First time I'm experiencing it, and it's my fault. (laughs) I'm sorry to the Ravens. If you rewatch this and you see this part. I'm sorry. Don't blame me. Actually, no, you can't blame me. Don't worry. It's never personal, guys. Here we see Pizza Man going down to stars. So the battle of two high schoolers. But okay. stars ended up getting taken down, and you can hear him in the background. So it's funny. You guys you guys hear him on stream. We hear him. Uh... We can hear him. Like, we can hear him in the background. You just, we, we just hear a Yahoo. <laughs> and then, you, then we hear it on stream as well. But Here we see him taking the trolley but falling out. Trolley, I, I don't know. Trolley, I don't think is the best to play on this map. I mean, yeah, it's it's the fastest route. It's fastest way to get from C to A, but it doesn't really help if you're trying. Like if you're capturing C, you want to run B, get B, then force them kind of in that split, like the split in the middle of the map. Well, I mean, even still, both teams have a pathfinder. Yeah, just wait for the pathfinder. Alt. Have we seen a single? Yeah. I okay, we have. Yeah, they both have a. Uh, Pathfinder ults into top of B, I believe. Okay, so we have Bucks Pizza and Man. Yeah, Pizza matter. Man. Could... Team one is. Team one. So that okay. So flying kittens and the Ravens have one okay. apex to take a three-zero lead. Yep. Going into just about thirty minutes played, kind of time taken down from a uh, technical issue in Gears of War. But what is that now? One racer, two shooters, and one fighter now. Yeah, I mean, definitely a good a good mix right now. Um, uh, I'll call it. After this, we're gonna get a sports game. You think so? I Either think- that or strat. So those are the only two left. If we if we had a pick, I'm gonna flip a coin and I'll say sports. I'm gonna say it's probably gonna be like Dead by Daylight. Dead by Daylight actually would be a really good game for the box as Mister Fear has. One dead by daylight twice again, twice this season against Eclipse. Really? Yeah, he's won it twice as killer. Huh. So Mr. Fear knows oh. what he's doing. And if he's in for killer, I think that is a Bucks win. And that could really help if they get that next because it mm. would kind of create like their momentum. It would give them a push. Yeah. And I mean like I mean, like we said earlier, you know, Bucks might be 0 and 9, but this really could be the night for them. I mean yeah, like, they win Dead by Daylight. They win. They could just go on a streak of constant wins. Yeah, I mean, you got Dead by Daylight. You got uh, Texas Chainsaw. I was about to say League of Legends, but League of Legends is going to be hard. But for it's a four v three, so it's not like yeah. a, it's a five v three or like you know a five v two. No, I still think a, a three man team in a uh, league is hard. But oh, yeah. the only team that I've seen able to do it is Billy and the Goat, like Billy and the bots. So. Billy, if if okay, if you're going into a League of Legends game and you're playing against the bots and it's Billy Labamba and uh, Mordecai or someone, I I can't think of a third. You think that and you're like, okay, we have a five man. You cannot be as confident. Like I've seen them shred and I've like I've seen them shred with a three man. Like they just go down, take out every single thing, take out the nexus, and they just win. Speaking off of experience, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I played a three man against the Reapers on yeah. Easter Sunday in Apex or in League. Didn't go well. I mean, the only time I've seen a three man team in this league 
when a um, game of league has been the bots. And their motto is three man go dummy. So if if the Bucks take this game, I want to hear that in the post match interview. If I hear, I think that'd be a solid tribute. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, we got a minute thirty on setup. It's gonna be Bucks setup. Uh, I mean, Dragon Ball Fighters, man. So basically, they're anchoring Genghis. They had to throw in Vape. So Vape had to go in. Genghis is going to be anchored. We're going to be seeing Stars and him. Stars has actually picked up some of these fighters. He's really good at these fighters. So it's not like uh, he's he doesn't know what he's doing. I think he knows what he's doing. Stars is really good at these fighters. This is going to be a good game. Mm-hmm. I just don't know how the Bucks have been doing on DBZ. I know... Pizza Man has some knowledge on fighters. Mr. Fear has some knowledge on fighters. I do not know about Gravity. Uh, I think Gravity. If I remember correctly, I believe Gravity has some decent knowledge okay. of fighters. Um, it's been a, it's been a while since I've seen the Bucks though. <laughs> it has been a while. What about you? What's your experience with Dragon Ball Fighters? Uh, I mean, being this player. being my first season, kind of yeah. just learning about the game. I do like the game. It, it yeah. is pretty fun to play. Like, uh, if it's one of the games that I had to pick up this year to learn and play, it's between that and Need for Speed. Those two games I've had the most fun in practicing. Oh yeah, I mean, it's Need for Speed. Yeah, though. Need for Speed is so much fun, yeah. and DBZ is a really good fighting game, and it can like change. Uh, just the game can be changed completely through DBZ or Need for Speed. DBZ reminds me a lot of the old um, Marvel versus Capcom game. Oh, yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. It, it really feels weird to play, but, like, at the same time, it's smooth. Like, oh, yeah. It, and, I mean, it looks smooth. It looks like it would be an arcade fighter type game. It does look like an arcade fighter. Kind of like if you see, like, where you just have, like, the little joy cons. Yeah, the little stuff. joy or the little, what is it, game pads or whatever. Actual, like, and here we're gonna see the wheel of spin. Kind of hoping for a sports here. Are you ready? And it is guilty, guilty gear. gear. <laughs> so they can't skip guilty gear. They respawn, but they're gonna get it again. So okay. both guilt, both games on this wheel with the word gear in it have rolled. Yeah. Oh, that's a good point. Actually, I never connected those two. <laughs> it looks like we got is this vape fighting. Yeah. All right. We're going to see Vape going up against Gravity. So Broly versus Gogeta. Ooh. Okay. I was thinking what that's called when you swap. Is it swap sides? I forgot what it's called. I'm still learning fighters, guys. <laughs> Bear with me. <laughs> so here we're going to see the Android 17 go in. I think this might be Mr. Fear. Actually, no. I think this might be Pizza Man. Uh, yeah, this is Pizza Man. So we're going to be seeing Pizza Man going up against Vape. Okay, okay. Nice. Come on, Pizza Man, you got this. Putting him into a... No, just kidding. I was like, putting him into a corner. Okay. <laughs> he Combo. did actually take some damage off the Gogeta. Oh, so this is... This might be Stars, actually. So... So if it is Star... Yeah, Stars is Gogeta. Okay, so either Stars or... So Stars has got a two-man right now. He's taking two out. Mm-hmm. Still got, you know, a quarter of his life left. He's going to be going up against Mr. Fear now as Master Roshi. Ooh, nice. Getting some health back with the spark. Nice air combos. He's keeping his combos. Ooh. Stars knows what he's doing. Stars is cooking. Oh, my God. I'm not even sure what level super that was, but that was... Oh, Mr. Roshi. Mr. Roshi super. (laughs) Oh. Okay. Oh, so he switched out. He switched out. Stars, if Mr. Fear can take out the other two and uh, Stars has to come back in, he's going to be able to regen some health. You're going to see Miss Master Roshi take half of Gohan's f- health. Mm. Okay. Okay. More air combos. Okay. Nice recovery. Uh, but the recovery didn't save him. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, nice recovery, and then... So what is that, guys? Twice now, two commentators turns back to back. Oh, uh, man. Blame us. If the Bucks, you need to blame us, uh, you can find us after the game. Yeah, you, I'll, I'll take the blame for that one. I mean, it was... it was He got out of the, the air combo, dodge, swap sides, comes back down, right into a... Right into a hit. Instantly. It, it, like, it was like a roundhouse kick right there. <laughs> and I was like, oh... 
Man, couldn't even escape it. Couldn't even like escape the curse. Mm, man. Sorry, Bucks. But that I mean, good playing on both so sides. So because of that, one of stars or him is gonna be left out in this game for guilty gear. Mm, they might send in oh, they're gonna him's him. anchoring. Okay. Stars doesn't know what he's doing, so yeah. stars is fine. Vape, I believe, actually has some knowledge. Same with Genghis. Uh, yeah, okay. So, yeah, that makes sense. They probably are holding him back because something else. Well, there's still Street Fighter and if yeah. like all the rest of the fighters. So, you can still get Street Fighter, you could get Tekken. Yeah, if they get, I think if they get MK, that, that'll be kind of scary. Oh, yeah, because yeah. I know him recently hit Grand Champ in oh. uh, MK. Well, that's news to my ears. I didn't know that. Yeah, him him knows what he's doing with MK. He, he, he's really good. He's a little too good at it. Someone needs to nerf him. Oh, good luck. We're still waiting on that patch. <laughs> Can yeah. we get the patch updates, uh, UEL, please? Just put in, like, the patch notes on this screen or something. We'll see, like, version 2.1.2 <laughs> or something. Just a little patch. Him nerfed. Him, him nerfed. Yeah, him, him nerfed. And then we'll see, like, the next thing, like, just more games added to the wheel. So Guilty Gear 3v3, who you think what characters do you think are gonna be chose? Uh I know Pizza Man play yeah, okay. This is it. Pizza Man's gonna be P2 or He plays Faust? Uh, yeah, I believe Pizza Man plays Faust. Okay. Yeah, he does. So we're gonna be see uh Kai versus Faust. Pizza Man does know what he is doing. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Got him back in the corner. Trying for the oh. grab. Yeah, let me tell you what that move. That move from Faust is so annoying. Oh, okay. Nice block. In counter. Got the counter. Okay. okay. He got the grab. Uh, I Ooh. don't know the name of the character. I do know the character that Mr. Fear plays. I just forget the name. Uh, I mean, we'll see it when he. <laughs> it's a. It's if you know, it's a guy off a coffin. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't. I know you're talking about. I forgot his name as well. Oh, nice, nice RC. Oh. Now we're seeing Pizza Man take a life. So Pizza Man actually is taking around, knowing what, showing that he knows what he's doing. So the thing about Faust is that one move that you see where he he drops backwards and he just he just reaches half of the screen. It's such a strong move, especially if you're not expecting it. Even if you are expecting it, it I mean, if you don't plan your timing right. Or your block. And here we're going to see Pizza Man kind of push back into the corner, but he Ooh, actually was able to get out of it in time. Sadly, you know, Gen uh, Genghis is pushing him back. So he's stuck in the corner. Now we're going to see Genghis take a round. So both people down to their final life. Mm -hmm. That was a good RC on Genghis's part. I'm telling you, man, that drip is too strong. The glasses, glasses, the glasses is, is like a buff. Mm hmm. You, you don't know what he's what he's thinking or what he's feeling. what he's looking at, bro. He could, for all we know, we could have closed eyes. I think Chicken Tech has done it before, where he played a game of MK or a specific fighter blindfolded. It sounds like something he would do, and he won. It sounds like something Chicken <laughs> would do. Yeah, that is definitely the most Chicken Tech thing that we could talk. Things aren't looking good for Genghis here. He's backed into a corner. We have oh pizza. Okay. Oh, pizza hitting himself as well. That's a oh nice counter. Oh. oh, that was good. Pizza Man took down Genghis. So Pizza mm -hmm. Man up one against the Ravens. With one life left. Still has to play Vape and Stars. Hmm. This is I mean, Pizza Man is definitely looking strong in this. Pizza Man, he's definitely picked up this game pretty well. And I mean Faust, not a bad pick. I know Faust is not the strongest. Not the strongest, but he. I think Pizza Man just knows what he's doing with Faust mm -hmm. that it makes him strong. Yep. And like I said, that I believe it's his. Is it quarter circle forward? Might be. So we're gonna be see. We're gonna be seeing a Faust versus Faust here. Mm. That's kind of battle of the stabs. Oh, battle as to who's better. And the wheel chooses. FC24. Okay. okay. This is what I... <laughs> I know you guys are going to be like, oh my god, I saw to see FC. So this is going to be fun to commentate. They're going to have him in for FC. Sadly, the Ravens don't have Wonku or Herb. Both people, both, they're pretty strong. 
Mm. Nice. Oh. Pizza Man taking another life. Off of Vape. Oh, man. Vape's got to do something here. I mean, okay. Stab, stab, grab. Oh, he tried to he tried to hit that again. Nice little. Oh, okay. Vape's definitely putting on the pressure this round. He is actually attacking, kind of forcing Pizza Man to change his play style. Mm -hmm. oh, oh man, Pizza Man actually hit that. Oh the, no, Pizza Man's oh, got two down man. now. Let's go. Pizza Man. Oh. Pizza Man. Okay, so now we're gonna see Stars versus Pizza Man. Okay, this is actually a pretty good game. I don't know. Looking at these guys right now, I feel like you could make a movie off of these two. Stars and Pizza Man? <laughs> Stars and Pizza Man. The two high schoolers fighting in an esports league. <laughs> I'd watch it. Neither one of them can drive a car, by the way. <laughs> making me feel old. Man. Shut up. <laughs> How do you think I feel? Uh, is he... On controller, I can't tell. It's hard Stars tell. playing with a fight stick. Is it a fight stick? Okay. Yeah, I know. I think Pizza Man's on controller, but I believe Stars on a fight stick. I'm telling you, I feel fight stick, sir. So hey, we see that we see the fist bump before. So we're gonna see in uh, Abba versus Faust, and I think Abba is actually fairly new, uh, like a fairly new character to mm -hmm. Guilty Gear Strive. I mean, she's she's a strong character as well. I believe some of the other Ravens have actually been playing that. Maybe Herb. Oh, yes. So, Star is yep. learning off of her, which is actually pretty good to see. Yep. This Abba's, uh, Abba is the new character. She came out, I believe, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago? And he's... Okay. Oh, man. Nice. He's got, oh, man. He's got Pizza Man into the corner. Okay. This is where he's going to start doing more damage. Yep. Because of the uh, face change on that weapon. Yep. He now also has the fastest attack speed in the game. Yep. Nice. So, we're going to see... Okay. Pizza Man. Pizza Man. Keep your head up high. You took two of them out. You took two of them out, by the way, Pizza Man. <laughs> oh, man. Stars walked up to it. It was like, watch this, guys. I got this. Yeah. Abba is kind of crazy. The second you see, I, I don't know. I think her weapon, isn't it a key, right? Yeah. Could this be a... So you see like a, a key. Once it changes its color or like the face that the uh, key has, I think like the lore behind it is it's like her husband or something or someone yes. special to her. Oh, so, Giovanna. So once you see it change, that's when ABBA just starts going crazy. Mm -hmm. And I believe, yeah, this could be a potential reverse sweep by stars. All right, so we're gonna be see going. we're gonna be seeing gravity going in as the Giovanna versus the ABBA. <clears throat> Both players here have two lives, so this is like as if they just started the match. That's such a cool intro. That's the one thing. This game is just beautiful. And it's intros into the fight. That's what I'm saying. Are just beautiful. They're definitely letting these intros run through. I don't mind. It's cool to see the cinematics and stuff. Mm -hmm. Abba versus Giovanna. Fight. I don't, I don't. <laughs> all right. All right. Knowing. Um, I think Bucks really want to try and just take one life off Stars. Then, like, if if Gravity can take a life off Stars before going out, then that's that's the best thing to look at because then Mr. Fear can work. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. We oh. see Gravity getting the counter grab, so working in, getting another counter, but good getting burst. pushed back. It was a good burst off of from Stars. We're gonna see Abba going back to normal attacking speed, not mm. cracked out. That was a good move. Oh, nice RC. Okay. Nice. Good. Good. <laughs> good use. Yep. Grab We're going to see another grab pushing into Giovanna where Abba's attack speed now goes insane. Oh, man. Star is now taking a life off gravity, but now becoming a 2v1 technically. Unless gravity can take a f life off stars here, it would become a 1v1. See, stars, stars' timing is really good. He's not just blocking. He'll... He's definitely, like, improved. Like, himself as a fighter, like, I've heard he's going to tournaments this year for certain fighting games. RC. He's actually been doing really good this season. Ooh, R uh, counter RC. So, Gravity's showing that he knows what he's doing as well. Even if the scoreline shows that he has a life taken, he is kind of forcing stars to kind of, like, play. Well... One thing that Gravity is doing really well in terms of his timing is he jumps, dashes, 
And as he's as he's dashing, he's not only dodging, uh, he was dodging a shot from Giovanna. He was also hitting a down attack as well, mid air. It was a good timing, good movement. I mean, it, it if if there's one thing that we have learned from uh, Guilty Gear in fighting games in general, jumping is just as effective at dodging. Yeah, or or is just as effective at blocking. Okay, that's the name, Gold, Gold Lewis. Lewis. Yeah. There he is. It's, it's this character. If anyone has never seen this game before, best thing I can describe about Gold Lewis, tall, like a huge guy, like buff, buff. He has a coffin that he carries around and he swings it, mm -hmm. swings it like it's just a chain or something. Like he carries this thing. Oops. <laughs> I feel like stars decided to. Has just convinced the Bucks to let the intros play. Which has been kind of a mental game now because <laughs> it's kind of pushing them to be like, oh, we're not as ready. They could easily skip it. Mm -hmm. But I think I think you're right. I do think stars might have convinced them. <laughs> it sounds like a stars thing to do. But yeah, here we see that massive coffin. Oh man. Stars not getting the first hit. But. Stars getting the counter grab though, so. <laughs> then Mr. Fear with the instant kick grab. Ooh, nice burst. But okay. Stars defended that actual grab with a burst with Mr. Fear getting out of the corner by using his burst. Oh, he's gonna have to get the he's gonna have to get the rage mode activated here soon or else. Yep. Mr. Fear, yeah, he really needs to has he got it? There he yeah, is. Yeah, he got yep. it. Okay. And oh, he's using RC. his burst. Good, good. That was such with the a wall good stick. RC. But oh. Mr. Fear got his ult. He hit his ult. His ult hits. Oh, okay. The star still has. Mr. Oh. Fear taking a life. Okay, so it's not gonna be. You know, it's a good matchup between both. Both players know what they're doing. Mm-hmm. I mean, Stars still had his rage. It would have been good, but unfortunately, he got hit by yeah. the um the down smash. Yeah. Okay. So that range on that down smash that Gold Lewis has seems to kind of just hit from anywhere. It seems like it's like a hundred percent guarantee. Okay, there you go, stars. Okay, stars grabs. All right, boom, boom. Another. Okay, so now stars got his rage art. I think what another wall stick wall break now. I think he had to do he had to do the early rage mode because if he, he didn't, Mister Fear would be able to play this game. How he? Oh, won. and he missed the RC. If he hit that RC, I think he. he and he hits saved. that. Mr. Fear took a win for the Bucks. Oh. The Bucks taking Guilty Gear, so the Bucks getting their first one of the day. Oh, man. It was so close from Stars, too. Actual good game. So we saw oh. we saw a two-man sweep technically from Pizza Man, but then a near reverse sweep from Stars to then get canceled out by Mr. Fear. Oh, man. He, oh, beautiful play. Beautiful guilty gear. That was, I mean, it, it was it really seemed good. Seemed like everyone knew what they were doing. Uh, really good plays by Stars, uh, using his jumps and dashes as he a, got his rage mode as well. Like he, yeah, after you pointed out like the first round after he lost, and you're like, yeah, he needed to get it earlier. He did exactly that. Mm -hmm. Went in straight away, got that rage rage mode instead of kind of waiting waiting the long game, and then unfortunately, Mister Fear had the counter. Yeah, and. I mean, I mean, Gold Lewis. He's such a strong character. He seems cheesy. He's. Uh, I mean, I could see where you say that because he, him being a bigger, a bigger character, he can reach more on the screen, especially with his weapon. Though it's also not like I can't downplay Mr. Fear. Mr. Fear knows how to play that character. Mm -hmm. Mr. Fear played that game. That was all Mr. Fear. That wasn't just Gold Lewis. Like that was Mr. Fear playing how he plays. Mm -hmm. So I mean, credit goes to the Bucks. They knew what they were doing. But, I mean, at the same time, like, even though he might have seemed like cheese because of how much range that Gold Lewis has, Abba, could, I mean, you could say the same about her. Yeah, yeah she's kind of balanced in the in her non-rage mode where she's just a slow hitter. Yeah, but then you go to that rage mode and it's... it's I uh, mean, she's getting more damage because she's already a heavy hitter. She's yeah. Almost kind of kind of reminds me of Ramlethal with her, with her big... Gun swords, I guess. So here we're going to be seeing him and Vape going for FIFA. Mm -hmm. I'm going to assume... Well, when, so now this is the first game where the Bucks can have someone be an anchor. Mm -hmm. This entire game, they actually can have someone be an anchor. And first first sports game of the night as well, guys. 
and that's that's a good sports game. <laughs> <laughs> so we have uh, so we have Mr. Fear getting anchored. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then we're gonna see who they're running. If anyone doesn't know in this league for FIFA, we end up playing Volta instead of like an eleven v eleven kickoff. We just play a three v three rush on Volta. Mm. So are you a are you a sports player? I am. I've been really hyped to play like FIFA and stuff this year, even though I've okay. lost it a couple of times. So I I have everyone like rising on me for it, and it's kind of funny. But really, they forfeited it. No, I like that. I'm not a fan of sports games. <laughs> so here we're gonna see the wheel spin. Kind of kind of sad that they had a forfeit, but they're gonna be going into street. Street Fighter. Oh, okay. We're going to Street Fighter with him now. And this is Okay, that's another five V five taken off of the off of the wheel as well. Yeah, that so is they... another five V five down before the second half of the game. So how my question is how would they play this though? Is it they're just gonna it's probably just gonna be a they send in characters if they have if they don't have a full list, they'll put in like a random character. So like it'll be the last person. So say Mr. Fears is last, and yeah. it's like a 1v1 final people alive, right? Literally last gamer standing. Whoever gets knocked out, then it goes to like the the last chosen character. Like, so say you picked okay. Cammy as the last, that Cammy will just be the, that's like the determining win. So Okay, so once you get to Cammy. It yeah, once you get to the Cammy is the win. Okay. You don't have to go through all five. Understood. I feel like so kinda... this makes it even harder for the Bucks because the Ravens just have to get three down. Yeah. And knowing him, him is really good at this game. So either he's going to go first or they're going to anchor him in it and have him as the last fighter and maybe have Stars go first and Stars just take out a couple because Stars definitely knows what he's doing in fighters. Mm -hmm. I mean, Mr. Fear, I mean, you can't disregard him. He was showing. Uh, he, he knows what he's doing in fighters. It's not even just the characters. It's Mr. Fear. Mr. Fear, no, he knows what he's doing. He he can pick up these combos. I've seen him do it. He said, fear me. <laughs> Man. No pun intended, but that was good. Mm, thanks. But yeah. So I believe oh, someone on either side is going to be playing Kimberly. So my question is, are we just going to see Bucks forfeit all of the sports games? How do you feel about that if that happens? I mean, it doesn't make a difference to me. I mean, this is the Ravens still have some sports players, but it's not their strongest sports player lineup. So it's yeah. it's kind of winnable. It is. I wanted to see FIFA because I could at least commentate that and like talk about the players, but it's not the end of the world. I want to see Rocket League at least because at least Genghis and Stars know how to hit aerials. So if Rocket League's play, we're going to see aerials. Mm -hmm. That depends if it's Rumble, if it's Heat Seeker, or if it's regular. I feel... So I wonder if Bucks are in this to play or if they're in this for fun. I don't know because it doesn't seem like the Ravens have like bad beef between them. No. Nah. So it's not like it's like trying to be a squash match or anything. Mm -hmm. It just seems like both teams are just here to play. They want to just get through because it's their final game of the season. Both teams are done. One team can look towards their next game. You know, the next game being for the Ravens would be the uh, the LAX gods mm. and the playoffs are the first round of the playoffs. So that would be their third time playing. Yeah, LAX third time gods. of the season with the 2-0 against them. And this time, the most important. Are they about to make a 3-0? That's a good question. That's that's a good question. Mm. Maybe we'll ask that to them in the interview. So we are seeing one Kimberly go on. Oh, here you go. I caught it. So they're okay. Him isn't being anchored. They're having him go straight in. Okay. Got it. We're seeing Back Pizza Man play as a Ryu. Is that yeah, that is Pizza as Ryu. Oh, Hadouken. Kick kick. Punch punch kick. Okay. Okay. Chipping away. He's chipping away. Yeah. He's trying to put some damage down, but ultimately, I mean Oh no. Him is oh, Re okay, Rex. Oh, Rex. I thought that was about to be I thought it was about to be Val. Oh Val would actually be interesting to see as well, but I uh, I feel like that could go either way. Definitely. So Depends on how see. much how how much aim they have for it, but looks like that that round went to how much yeah. health did Kimberly yeah. get back? I wanna I wanna try and base because Kimberly getting the win. So Kimberly's basically full. Yeah. 
probably got five, six to throw. Okay, okay. Boom, boom. Go. Ooh. Okay. Oh, man. Timberly keeping these combos up. Punishing gravity. <laughs> him is not playing around. Him is, him is making sure he wins this. Okay, so because of that, we're now down to the final person left on the box against him. So I it's, feel like Ravens were like, we're just going to throw him in there. Just make this quick. I feel like they... they Okay, I feel like they took it personal after the uh, what's it called? The uh, guilty gear. Oh, yeah. they're like, all right, no more fun. We're we're we're, we're done. You think <laughs> they were upset about the forfeit in, in football club? Yeah, they they definitely <laughs> FIFA got to them. I could definitely see that. I don't think it's like I don't think this game is like a game where they're just trying to forfeit and get rid of games. Mm -mm. But I also think they're just trying to play games. Like they're just trying to have fun today. Yeah, maybe use this as like a learning thing too. I mean, we can see like stars going back and forth between both like setups, both desk setups, talking to them, just chilling with them. Same with the rest of the Ravens in the box. There is no like bad beef between them. We got stars in the background right there. He's ready to go. He's so if him goes out, then you got stars. He's like, let me in, Chief. Let me in, put me in, Coach. Oh, oh, super, super. It lands. Oh man, that is a cool animation. Definitely. I don't think I've seen that animation before. Oh, oh! Okay, Mr. Fear defending and kind of punishing him. Okay. Ooh. Okay. All we got are stumbling. Oh, man. What a, what a counter. Okay. Got him against the wall. Grab. Okay. He took out him. Okay, Mr. Fear took out him. He's going to be regenning some health, not full health, though. Uh-oh, Genghis. Can you, can you Genghis pull this off? Depends. We could either see a sweep. We could see. We could have seen a sweep from her or uh, him. But now we're, there's a chance of a reverse sweep. We're gonna see Mr. Fear going back up to just about like 75, 80 percent of health. Okay, Gang is missing the grab a little too far. A little slide from Fear, kick, grab, jump. Oh, another. Okay. Okay. Fear is. He said you might have taken it personal, but you're catching it again. Okay. Is that a perfect? Uh, no, I don't think so. No, no, no. I think Genghis got a couple hits. Oh, did they not send stars? Oh, I might have gotten the lineup wrong. Uh, no, stars is next. Then vape's going in. Yeah, vape is next. Oh, wait. Yeah, I forgot. Miss, they had four. So, yeah. I was so used to seeing the three, and I was like, oh, maybe that's down to the... No, there's still one to go. So, Mr. Fear, you can see this reverse sweep, but you do have to go through four fighters. You know? Okay. Grab. Okay. Boom. Okay, there's a perfect KO. So, last round wasn't, but this round was. We're going to be seeing stars go in. <laughs> Mr. Fear, give We have a dance. chance of a potential reverse sweep here in Street Fighter Six from the box. You know what's scary? How big the fighter stick is compared to Star. <laughs> when you see him walk out onto that into that gauntlet right there, and you see that, you just walk away. I don't know. I felt I, I could see him carrying it around almost like it's a boombox. That'd be like cool. In the whole... Could you imagine when someone <laughs> comes in with like a boombox? I know we have like the stereo system already, like the iPad, but someone just walks in with a boombox in the playoffs. <laughs> So we're gonna be seeing a Ken versus okay, we're gonna be seeing Ken versus Blanca. Okay. A lot of distance keeping Stars is trying to keep that distance. He knows that He knows that Mr. Fear wants to play that close contact, not the distance game. Well also not only that, but the way that Blanca is too. Blanca gets in there, especially with that jaw. Oh, oh Okay. Mr. Fear punishing him there. Okay. I don't think that will. Okay, so he missed that, but he gets the grab. Star's having some issues here. I think, Blan I think Blanca is just... I don't even think it's just Blanca. I think it might be Mr. Fear. Yeah. Blanca's moveset, though, especially if you know how to use it. Mr. Fear is showing that he knows oh. how to use... Oh, okay. Star. He lands that. So, what is that, a level three? Yeah, that was a level three. Nice. Okay. Taking down half health. 
good amount of damage. Okay, keep the pressure on. Oh, I think I think did he miss it? Did he block that? I don't know. All right, stars coming in, catching that. He lands that. Okay, catching that momentum. Let's go, Star. Okay, so oh stars. My gosh. Stars com completing the you know chance of taking away the reverse sweep from the Ravens. Whew. Really close game. You see stars landing at level three. Uh, that was, um, that was a solid play. I mean, stars had what like, like that much. That much. It <laughs> like might have that been, much. It might have been a little bit lower, but completely landed that and then immediately switched the tide. Switched it completely. Switched the game. Kind of got the wheels rolling back his way. I mean, that's what happens when it comes to fighters. The the objective is you want to set your you want to set the pace of the fight. I mean, yeah, you could play off and react off of your opponent, but if you don't set that pace or try to try to restart it, I mean, you saw what happened. Yeah. I mean, fear was tearing in. To, he took out three of their t their entire team, including mm -hmm. him. Yeah, I mean he he set the pace when it came to fighting him. But then Stars countered that. Stars realized what he was doing and went, okay, you had your fun. This is my turn. Like, mm -hmm. this is my time. We are not losing this. And the crazy thing is, too. Mr. Fear could have taken that on two different occasions. He missed. Where you saw him kind of do that jump and, like, the sparks came out. Yeah. He missed that twice. He did miss that twice. And, I mean, one of the crazy things is, too, Stars knew when to attack. And him being younger, his reaction time is faster as well. <laughs> that is cool. So we're going to be seeing Wreckfest here. Oh, oh, and oh. We're going to be seeing Gravity getting flipped. Oh, man. How many? MK next. Okay. That's oh, a, wow. We, I, I guess we're having a fighter night tonight. It's a fighter night, everyone. If you all like to play fighter games, this get, this night, this matchup between the Ravens and the Bucks today is for you. Oh. See, Mr. Fear actually racing instead of being the bust. It's trying to get the uh, pole fin. Actually, two of them are doing that. There's only one on the Bucks that are playing as the bus. Interesting play by them. I really interesting play. I, I, I wonder if they're just trusting. Uh, what is it? Is it gravity? That's the bus. Yeah. Yeah, gravity's the bus. I, Here we see gravity under half health though, so he has taken some hits. We did see him at the start of the entire race get flipped. Hmm. Okay. Nice head on. We see his own teammate kind of hitting him and uh, hitting his bus. We're oh, going to be seeing <laughs> or flying kittens. <laughs> hey, it reminds me of a, a gamer tag that I've seen before. Oh, oh wow. Oh, jeez. Oh, that. That might be a totaled car. Pizza Man, this is how you learn what happens when a car gets hit. Remember that for when you start driving, buddy. Don't get hit by a car like that. Mm-hmm. PC ten is va so vape is just kind of just sitting there on the on the map definitely vape's just kind of holding his angle. Mm. <laughs> Mr. Fear, yep, Mr. Fear looks like he's losing a little control of this car, a little too much damage to it. Oh no, I think they were trying to reset to hit him and he stopped them. I think that's what he did. Oh, was it? Yeah, he might have actually played that strategically because he knew they were waiting for him and if they just reset, they would be coming straight after him. This car is looking a little rough. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, cool. I don't believe there is a bus. Okay, so uh, here we see gravity on critical damage, whereas the bus he's basically fighting. Okay, so gravity's about to go out here. Okay, so that's him right there, PC 11. Yeah, so oh. gravity just got DNF'd with Mr. Fear crashing. Oh. Mr. Fear still has over half half his health left. Yeah, but here we see Genghis racing with the bus. Genghis may be in fourth place, but if this game ends up in a racing mode and they don't, they all decide, look, we're not crashing anymore. Genghis is just gonna get the points. I mean, that is true, but at the same time, looking at the score, it looks like Bucks <laughs> are ahead. He just, he just flipped someone. Oh, did he? Yeah. <laughs> if you saw. Like, he was going over one of the ramps. I think it might have been Pizza Man or Mr. Fear got hit lightly, but they got sent. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Okay, Pizza Man. Oh! 
So, Pizza Man versus Stars, you he can hear Stars screaming excited. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Fear is on one health. No, he is. He survived oh that? No he has what? No! No! no. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Fear is so oh, close. Man. Okay, no, no, no. Ravens are in the lead. Oh. So, we're going to be seeing a <laughs> 7 to 1 right now with MK coming up. Just about an hour left in the half. I have to say, that's probably the most fun I've seen <laughs> on Wreckfest. I mean... Stars took that personally. I heard him. I could hear him from outside <laughs> screaming after he took out Pizza Man. He literally shouted in excitement. He was having his oh, fun. Oh, man. Definitely. Oh, man. That was, that was fun to watch. I'm not even going to lie. That was... I had a lot of fun watching that. Uh, the, the double car with a single bus play... That was, that was a, that, look, that's a new strategy. So write that down, someone. We're going to try that out. I'm Will wait. it work? Maybe not. I'm waiting for the couch play. All, that's what I wanted to see last night. You said there are other strategies? I don't know. I don't think there's other strategies. Uh, I, think it's like just the, a, <laughs> I feel like it's just bus play. I feel like it's just go for the bus, ram each other. Mm -hmm. And I mean... I feel like the couch play would definitely be fun, especially... especially Could you imagine? Night. Isn't there, like, a go-kart or something in that game? Could you imagine a go-kart race, like a Mario Kart <laughs> instead? But this time, you just crash each other out? <laughs> imagine that. We don't have Mario Kart on the wheel, but we just make it... We just make it a wreck fest. <laughs> yeah. Before the end of this season, before Michigan, we have to get couch play. We have to We have to somehow talk to any team that still has games and just go, look, play as couches, have your fun. Give us, give us, give us fans, viewers, the excitement of seeing a couch drift around a corner. I'm just saying, there is the pro versus staff game coming up. You saying that us pro are you saying the staff should run couches? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I feel like that'd be fun to watch. Anyways, in the Mortal Kombat, so we're gonna be seeing a Raiden versus Smoke with Genghis and him versus Fear and Gravity. With a ooh. Tekken 8 next. It really is just all fighters tonight. We're getting fighters. If you bet on fighters tonight, you're winning proudly. Okay. Boom. boom. So here we're seeing Raiden in uh, Gravity playing as a Raiden. Him playing as the uh, Smoke. I don't know why I blanked on that. But like I said, for anyone that may know him... And may not know him. Him has recently hit Grand Champ in uh, MK. Okay, so player one is... Uh, player one is actually him, so... I hope so. It looks like information might be wrong on the screen. Okay, so Smoke's gonna be... Uh, Smoke's gonna be Mr. Fear. Okay. Oh, man. That seems like it would hurt. Okay, there you go. <laughs> All right, here we see uh, Gravity losing his one life. Health's going to be getting regen here. Oh, man, what a dodge. Good dodge from him. Mm -hmm. Stopping Gravity from getting a you know early push in this second round. Kind of forcing Gravity to play like fully offensive. Mm -hmm. I mean, Gravity, he, he's... He's being punished right now. He's, he is He is really being punished. He's so, going to have to get that cameo to come in as well. He needs to get that cameo. He needs to... If if the Bucks want to win this, Mr. or Gravity would... His best bet is take a life off, which he's not going to be able to. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, my God. He, stop. He's already dead. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized he had no health. That yeah, he had no thing. health that entire string, but <laughs> him was keeping that up. He was like, you remember those last two fighting games? <laughs> <laughs> this is a, a little bit of payback. Wow. So, definitely a strong showing from him. Him showing that, I mean, he's champ. Champ coming in. Playing that Raiden. Wait, no, I think it, it's Fear now. Wait, so who did... Who, who was it that just played? Who Wait. Was here? No, it was Gravity. Who oh, played. it was Gravity. Yeah, it was Gravity who went in. Brain. <laughs> so we're going to be seeing a Reiko and a Jax. Or, yeah, a Jax versus Raiden. And I don't know who the um, cameo is. I can't see. 
Okay. Got to get those controls together. One of the most important things. Got to get that done before the, the round starts. Okay, so it's Ryko, Jax, and then riding with Serena. Okay. Okay. So we're going to see him playing this very offensively, but Mr. Fear getting a little grab there, kind of taking the pressure back mm. into his hands. Oh, yeah. Him is... <laughs> Him is making sure he wins this game. He is he is taking this fully personal. He got the cameo in with the oh, what, fatal bluff. That's what it's called. Yeah. Okay. Boom. Okay. That hurts. That a looks lot. like it hurts. <laughs> hat still unfazed. On right. <laughs> Someone oh, signed up that hat company. Their hat <laughs> stayed on after that injury. Kind of impressive. Mm. We're going to be seeing Mr. Fear down to basically like 25%. Actually, no, that's probably like 15%. Investing in stocks in that hat company. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> All right, so we're going to be seeing the chance of him taking a full sweep here without losing a life. Mm. Oh, wow. What a kick. Didn't even tap. They just went he, in. Oh, okay. Him is going into his string. Yep. Boom. Lightning. Okay. Cameo. Ah, I think Fear actually dodged both of those. Little boomerang. The flame rings from. Far and away. here we see the cameo coming in to help him. Mm -hmm. Really just making this a very offensive game. Brock Lesnar with the Suplex City. <laughs> Kurt Angle with Suplex <laughs> City. <laughs> oh. Okay. I, I saw where he was going. He wanted to get behind. He got behind. He. Wow. There you go. <laughs> him said, and here we see him taking MK by himself, taking this personally, making sure that oh, they, making sure they don't lose MK. I could just see it like him wanted to get that that side swap, try and get him from the back, but Fear said no. And then and him, <laughs> as soon as Fear said no, him's like, look, we're ending this. You aren't, you're not Roman getting this Reigns, anymore. Spear, Spear. <laughs> oh, man. Tekken 8 next. We are oh, now. We're gonna actually going to get to see stars in Tekken. This is actually going to be a fun watch. Let's see. We are For anyone now. that is maybe new to the UEL today, you know, this might be your first game. Stars has picked up Tekken and has picked it up excellently. Like, he's picked this game up and has made it his. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, right now we're already five fighters in, and it's we're not even to halftime yet. We aren't yet. even at half, and we're still we still are yet to get a strat game. Yeah, no strategies. One uh, sport. Which was a forfeit. And one racer. Yep. So, I have a feeling Formula One's probably going to roll. It always rolls. Uh, <laughs> I don't really want Formula One to roll. Not gonna lie, I'm not like a. It's not like it's like the end of the world if it rolls, but I want to see entertaining games. And I'm not saying it's not an entertaining game. I just feel like how this game's going tonight. Like I want, I want these close games. Okay, so you're talking like you want a little bit more excitement. Yeah, like, yeah. If you look at the score right now, it's eight one. MK is pretty much the one game where. The Bucks stood no chance. That was him saying, you guys you guys may have beaten me in other fighters, but this time, no. You guys are not taking me out. I'm not losing another round. Mm -hmm. And I mean... Hmm. Yeah. Before this game, actually, Stars was running Tekken. So, Stars was playing, and he was playing against Hollywood, the Game Master. They were actually running the ones. UFC 5. You Okay, this, this is what I like to see. So we got the sports. We got the fighter sport game too. Okay. So we have We have Law versus Harang. I believe Law is going to be stars actually, and Harang is going to be Pizza Man. Yep. Okay. Good, good, good. Here we see Star stringing his combos. So he showing oh. that oh my oh, oh, oh. He's showing that he knows how to play this game. Okay, kick, kick, boom. And a little behind the scenes info. I believe Stars actually recently competed in a Tekken tournament uh, with some of his uh, Ravens teammates and a few other people in the league. I think you're right. I think he did. Uh, 
So Stars is making sure that everyone knows that this is not a game that he doesn't know how to play. He's making sure everyone knows that he plays this game, that he is good at this game. Mm -hmm. I mean, he went from shooter to fighter, just like that. And that's the crazy thing about having a, a younger brain. He's it's, learning this stuff. He's picking it up like that, and it's just getting added to his, his game mm -hmm. list. Like, I mean, it does help a lot. This trade, his trade midway through the season, because you got to remember, he was with the Gorillas at the start of the season. He got traded to the Ravens. And um, when he got traded, he's learned fighters. I mean, and I'm not saying that he didn't know fighters. He's definitely known fighters himself. But he's been able to practice with him, KIC, a bunch of the other Herb, like Herb and stuff. He knows his fighters. The, the smile just on Star's face. He's like, oh, <laughs> these guys don't know what they got into. He's menacing. He's making sure that he wins this. He does not want to lose this. It's like, a, I don't know what show it is, but I, I saw it on TikTok. It's like the, uh, I'm not trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with me. <laughs> <laughs> or like kind of similar to like the Walter White. Like, I am the one who knocks. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Star's... Stars is becoming more and more impressive as the league goes on, seeing how he plays in shooters and now fighters. Definitely an impressive display of skill and passion. Mainly passion. Kind of excited to see UFC 5 next as I I don't want them to forfeit. If, they're, if their plan is to forfeit all sports games, that's going to suck. <laughs> because... Like, sports games can really be determined by either side. And it's just fun to watch sometimes. It really is. And I mean, even though I don't really know sports games like that, they are fun to watch. Especially last week when we were watching the Bandits versus, uh, was it Eclipse on Madden? It was a long game, but it was a fun game. A fun game to watch. And here we see a king versus. Okay, so here we see a king from Gravity. And if anyone's ever played Tekken king, before, man. for a while, once Tekken came out, like all you would see was people complaining about King and the way he grabbed. You'd see little TikTok jokes about it, but like you also got to know how to play him. It doesn't just mean you can insta grab stuff. Like you have to know how to play. Mm -hmm. And I mean, King is. <laughs> here we see Grab's one of those. Central. I think yeah. Here we see one of those grabs taking a lot of health. Mm. But it doesn't matter as stars is just running rampant. But no, no, no. <laughs> oh man. Ooh. Okay, kick, kick. Nice. Grab me again, I dare you. Oh stars man, he can't have... land. <laughs> He's refusing to let Bro is like a kite stuck in the air. Oh my goodness. And now he get, he gets a grab. Oh my uh, <laughs> I just hear a bunch okay, of Okay, yeah. Oh my god. One more time is what they're screaming. Oh my, jeez, it does so much damage. The star said, okay, you're going back in the air. No, no. Oh, oh my God, God. Gravity took her out. Oh, somebody finally did it. Someone did it. <laughs> star said, all right, you're going back in the air. <laughs> <laughs> you can't grab me if you can't touch the ground. Star is just making sure this king is like a kite stuck in the air. <laughs> it's like the don't let the balloon touch the ground type thing. Yeah, or like. Oh my per <laughs> yeah, he took that personally. He took that personally. <gasps> oh man. <sighs> if if the Ravens come in here, I'm gonna ask him about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Kite in the air. I'm writing that in my notes. That's the only thing I can think about. That king was stuck in the air, floating. Oh, man. And that's not downplaying Star. That's Star is hitting his combos, keeping his string up. Yeah. And, I mean, he could have continued on the combos, and he could have, like, done it in a faster pace, but the pace that he did was perfect. Was perfect enough to quite literally get him a perfect knockout in, his thir in the third round, even though he lost a life, which is the exciting part, because he did lose a life, showing that he is an invincible. Yeah. And it's not any macros or whatever you want to call it. There aren't any cheats. He he lost what the is round. That? 
Okay. I, okay. I, I like the skin. I like the skin as well. So this is one of the so this skin is custom. So if any of you play Tekken, Tekken is a fun game just because of its customization. It has really good character customization. And so we're gonna be seeing Mr. Fear playing as Jack Eight and Stars keeping his law. <laughs> Can he turn Jack Eight into a butterfly? Jack Eight's a really weird looking character. Like the animations that Jack Eight has is kind of creepy. I can see that. He's also a really heavy character. He's not really flying in the air as much. Yeah, he's definitely a heavy. Okay, never mind. <laughs> the way that he died or that that round ended, he had the. It looked like he was about to take off with the butterfly wings. But all right, there you go. Sky's turning him into a butterfly. Into the corner, getting the grab. St okay, Stars is making sure he wins this tech end. Mm -hmm. He, I mean, he's not taking any chances with Fear, and I cannot blame him. I After him what either. Fear did. The in, in Guilty Gear and Street Fighter? Street Fighter was almost a box win. If you don't if you don't forget, Street Fighter was this close to a box win. Mm -hmm. But stars clutched up. Oh, oh, back to butterfly. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. I don't think he's stinging like a bee. <laughs> uh, I think he's just floating, but he might not be stinging that much. Okay. Get a couple hits in. All right. Okay. 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 Stars. Okay. So stars getting the win for the Ravens. Fear can't even be mad. He was like, "Oh man." I think Fear just has to respect it. Like, so here we're gonna oh. see UFC five up next. I'm hoping that the Bucks play it. If they don't, it's kind of. You know, it's whatever, but I know a few people who really want to see the UFC 5, so, and I'm one of them, so I do want to see UFC 5. I definitely want to see UFC 5, especially after seeing how some people are putting a lot more time into it. Cause, oh, like, definitely. There, like, there are a couple games on the wheel that some, you know, some teams don't put as much time into, and UFC seemed like it was one of those, those games, but... Now we're seeing people pick it up, and mm -hmm. they're playing it more than often. Mm -hmm. And you're seeing a lot of them kind of realize that this is a game that you kind of really need to win. It can kind of change the tides. Mm -hmm. And I think what a lot of teams are seeing now is they're seeing that 100K on the line. They see the playoffs <laughs> they coming see up. 100K, the mm. triple digits, and they're like, oh, that's a lot of money. There we go. Just a reminder, guys, June 8th. June 8th in the Devo's Performance Hall in Michigan, by the way. I'm happy you remember the name because I can never remember the name. And yep. if you want to buy tickets, you can scan the QR code on your screen right now. It'll take you to the link where you can see what you can get for the tickets. I believe there's VIP tickets that can actually get you meet and greet with the players who make it to the final. You also get front row seats, all that. You get a lot. And I think the tickets are actually reasonably priced. Mm-hmm. No, absolutely, and so here we're. Oh, and it seems like we're going to be getting a guest commentator. We're going to be having third anarchist come in to commentate. Oh, I haven't, I haven't seen third in a while. Me neither. Happy to see him come out the woodworks again. Missed him, but yeah, still pretty pretty fun game. Even though the score is Hello. nine one. Pleasure to see you all. Oh, again. hello. It's third. Hello. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. How you been? Uh, it's uh been, been busy, been busy. Yeah. Been get my trying to get my headset working, but so listening to the game, driving down, exile. Glad to see you on commentary, buddy. Glad to see you out. I'm here. glad to see you out here as well, third. And my buddy Ash is back at it again. I ain't seen you in a minute. How you doing, baby? <laughs> <laughs> hey. So, can you confirm for us, third, if they are actually going through to play this, or is this going to be another forfeit like FIFA? Uh, there's a chance it can be played. UFC is a very, like you saying, a lot of teams have been picking it up. It's a simple game with a very high ceiling because mm -hmm. you can go in and throw punches, knock people out, block and go about it, and then be done. But then you get in the ground game, then you get mixing the two together, and you can get a very developed strategy with the game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see teams kind of realizing the change up that this game brings to the wheel, and that when it rolls, it can be that important. Like, if you get this game as the final game in the wheel and you're like, do we forfeit or do we not? You'd rather kind of play it out to see if you can get a win. 
Mm-hmm. I agree. This game could be a quick two minute game, or it can be a full. You could go the full game. distance. You could go the full distance in this and only win by decision. Or you could get knocked out. You could get TKO'd, or you could just get submitted. Or a tie. Or a tie. Yeah. I'd be have like to. Billy and have go through four <laughs> rounds of UFC. Yeah. Billy definitely. Billy makes UFC fun to watch. If you have Nexus play you in UFC, I'm pretty sure he's won a UFC game within like the first 10 seconds by a submission. But really? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Nexus took someone out in like the first 10, 15 seconds by just getting them in an arm bar and making them tap. Mm. Nexus is all right. <laughs> he's just... I think he's more than all right, but I, I can agree with you, third. No, I have to, I have to continue perpetuating a standard that I'm a hater, so <laughs> something personal. Okay. Here at the UEL, guys, for anyone that's new, we hate. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a straight hater. <laughs> we have rivalries, but we also have friendships. We all is... have friends. It is good sportsmanship. Yeah, gentlemen. definitely good sportsmanship. It's competitive. It's There's no BM here. Cap. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on the game. I don't know what games you've been watching, but if you've seen the trolls are the LAX gods versus the Ravens. You make you reminding me of Bosip's free shirt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got Genghis on Jim Jones, and I can't see who the other guy is. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, slack. Oh, Fortnite. This is gonna be a great one. Oh my god, we're going to be getting stars versus Pizza Man in Fortnite. But as you see right now, both players are kind of just playing the distance. You've seen Gingas throwing a lot of aggressive strikes from Jones. Jones is probably one of the most powerful mixed martial artists to ever walk this earth with really strong standing game and really good submission games. And it's it's a nightmare to deal with a really good John Jones, Jim Jones. Mm. I'm trying to, who did the other, who is the other guy? I think it's like a, it's a, I think it might be Pavlovich. I, I see the VL, like the I just can't fully see. It is Pavlovich, you're right. But it is John Jones versus Pavlovich. Yeah, take his shorts. John Jones being a fighter that if you've watched in real life, know his dominance. He is kind of just that guy. Yeah. He is out injured right now in real life, but he is that guy. Still out there being a uh, miscreant in the public. <laughs> but yes, he is out of fighting for now. But uh, we're seeing a really good exchange of uh, some body strikes right now from the Mr. Fear going at uh, Genghis. I would like to see somebody take an initiative to go into the ground game and see if they can't take control from there because when you go back and forth with these striking, unless you get a really good strong chain going, your opponent's just going to back out of it a lot. I do think a ground game would be the difference in this game, just depending on if either one doesn't know how to defend. Exactly. That is fair. Because if either one doesn't know how to defend, it'll force them into that early tap and they'll get through this game. And if they get through this game fast, they can move straight on to Fortnite and that'll be even crazier to watch. Yeah, we got, we got the two strongest non-driving people in the league here to play it. <laughs> but good exchange is going back and forth. I'm liking the, the switch between the mids and the highs. I'd like to see a little bit less commitment to some of these Attacks. Light kicks? Yeah, some of these yeah. attacks that are going up to the head with the kicks, excuse me, going to the mid section of the head with these slow windups are very risky because a good counter jab can lead up to a haymaker which can put someone to sleep immediately. Mm. And here we can see Mr. Fear is playing off these leg kicks, trying to get the one to strike the head, try to possibly get a knockout, but he's also going in with the body shots and also defending pretty well. Yeah, and that's one of the huge things about UFC. You got to be able to mix up your target areas, and then having a ground game. Ooh, nice counter right from Jim, uh, John Jones. Why do I keep saying Jim Jones? Oh yeah, Jim Jones. that's my nickname. But, uh, <laughs> that's a conversation for another. That's because day. that's you, third. You are the one fighting. Uh, it is me. It is I. I am the UFC champion. <laughs> you are making millions of dollars every time you do anything. Speaking of doing anything, Genghis with some really good close strikes, a couple of good jabs and hooks and elbows to kind of just tighten in that space to make uh, fear back off. You receive. Fear throwing in punches, trying to get some strikes. He is missing on him, but if you go to the if you go to the card in the end, say it goes the distance, maybe Fear will take it off significant strikes. Mm -hmm. Fear's definitely landing more of these changes, but Genghis' timing for a lot of these counters might give him the edge in the event that he's able to get another good follow up off of it. Oh, nice head kick. Here we see Genghis actually looking like he knows what he's doing and throwing in these kicks that are kind of catching fear off guard Ooh, another exchange i would like to see some more jabs stepping into these uh stepping into the range of each other because checking with jabs and setting up more combinations is definitely the way out you want to go in ufc oh both trying to slow the throw the same kick <laughs> Ooh. all right at this point both these players are just swinging for defense there we go there's a couple of jabs let's see i don't think we're going to be seeing any groundworks here 
soon. Here we see a couple. Okay, so we do see leg kicks that aren't being checked, and that could be the that could be the difference in this game. If if Mr. Fear doesn't check these leg kicks, sometime soon it could end up causing him to get taken out. That is correct. That last leg kick that connected on the inner left thigh of Pavlovich uh, had him stumble. Didn't give him the full damage warning on it, but it did make him stumble. And hopefully Genghis is paying attention to that and he presses the advantage. I think Mr. Fear might have caught on because he's trying to throw those leg kicks now to Genghis. But maybe Genghis is checking him, which is causing Mr. Fear to get damaged back. And that's a weird thing with the UFC. I've seen guys throw some of the most powerful kicks and they get one weird check in their leg snap. So yeah. it's interesting how UFC and just how the human body works. Good head kick from Fear. Hey, Mr. Fear is kind of putting the pressure on, turning the tide to this game, kind of bringing it to himself. Honestly, though, if I was Fear, I would be more concerned with trying to get this game done before a decision instead of going to a decision because <laughs> that at this leg point, won't last. Down by, leg won't last, and down by eight, you want to try and get as many games in as possible to try and get your chance to battle into the league. Yeah. I think just the main fear for Mr. Fear, no pun intended, is that leg. If Genghis realizes his leg isn't being checked each time he throws a leg kick, Genghis can easily win this. All right, that's the end of the first round. And I might have to score that in favor of Fear by like one or two points. A lot of good combinations, a lot of good hits. But the two-point difference, I think, is just because Genghis had good strikes, but a lot of it was on the back foot of counters with not a lot of uh, advantage pressed after the counters. Mm. Let's see, glove press and step in again. Wild head kick. Seeing Genghis with these jabs a little bit more. Mm. Blocking. Mm -hmm. Use your jabs. You play your spacing. Oh, a little, little level change there. Oh, catch the kick. Let's see. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Step in with some jabs. Keep it simple, Fear. <laughs> that left leg still, once again, getting abuse. Checks on both those uh, elbows. Elbows going back and forth to the side of uh, Jones's head. The other haymaker. These body kicks, I think, is what's going to keep Fear in the game and give an advantage because the body might be the hardest to really get a knockout on, but it decreases the stamina because that injured core is not able to breathe properly and it makes the uh, player run on the stamina slower and then eventually actually get gassed a lot easier. Hmm. Looks like that's how Mr. Fear is playing, is trying to take out the core of John Jones, trying to play for that long distance. If they go the distance, you know that the more that they kind of take damage, they're going to fall easily or it's going to be more of kind of a struggle. Mm -hmm. And once again, another one of those leg kicks from Genghis to send Fear reeling back. Uh, he's got to keep an eye on that leg. A little calf kick there. Uh, fear stick to going to the ribs. Ooh, Driving his kick. Coming. That gets out of it. <clears throat> Ooh, nice right straight. Jab to the core. Come on, Fear. I need to see you some more jabs. You can't just be throwing these wild punches out. Some simple jabs to step in to set up some of your kicks. Let's see. Still no ground game either. I don't think we're going to see one of them until the very last second, just in case Genghis and uh, I believe Stars is coaching him. Stars says, hey, man, looking kind of right. Oh, there's that leg. There's that leg. Yeah, that, that leg, leg is, he need, if he doesn't check that leg soon, that's going to be called, that's going to cause him to lose. Yeah, he's going to have to switch stance. We do see the actual, I, he did just check that leg kick, the most recent one. So Mr. Fear has kind of caught on to the realization that he needs to protect his legs or it's going to cause him to lose. And if he wants to win this game, he needs to protect himself. He needs to check. Yeah, it looks like Palpovich is a southpaw thing's out leading left, so he needs to definitely switch to orthodox and protect that leading leg mm -hmm. because he will lose if a couple more of those kicks. A Brazilian kick to the head gets caught by the guard. Good kick to the chest from Mr. Fear. Doesn't really do much, but like you said, uh, third, the more kicks to the like, stomach and stuff, more body shots causes their stamina to decrease. And looks like I was wrong. It's actually him coaching. So definitely another experience, uh, a very experienced. Two experienced player. fighters that could have coached. So either one would have been fine. We do see them coaching. And I believe him has probably caught on and realized, look, Mr. Fear is not checking his leg. If you throw in leg kicks, you can get him out. I think he just needs to go. Ahead. There you go. There's a stance change that's much needed. A little late, but definitely what he needs in order to keep himself in his fight. Because if he tries to send any kicks to that rear leg now, he has to extend over across Pavlovich's body. Here we go. He just checked that leg, so yep. he has caught on. Now, just because you checked the leg doesn't mean the rest of your body is safe. Yeah. You got to continue fighting properly. Step him with some jabs here. Mm. 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 There you go. If you're going to use those body shots, you got to step him with some jabs. You got to continue to. 
He is swinging that dead leg around like a tree trunk. He does not care. <laughs> Back and forth. A lot of weird spacing with, like I said, I want to see more jabs stepping in because that's what allows you to open up more options. More jabs. Come on, boys. Jab. And if anyone can see closely, you do see Pavlovich has blood on his chest. I don't know if it's from hit. I, I do believe it is from him. Like, it's his blood. So he does have damage to the face. The leg and probably just all around. Looks like his nose is broken. If you actually look at the bridge of his nose, as he yeah, uh, yeah, that's a good point. That does look. Yeah, he's over there looking like a Muppet character right now. And he, you can tell the damage to Mister Fear's left leg. His back leg is caused him to not be able to move as fast as you would want him to. Yep, mm -hmm. and that's one of those things where the legs a little bit weaker than the core, but going for the legs to slow down the power of their punches, the kicks, and then their movement, and the rest of the core is an overall slow. No real loss in power, just slowness of stamina. So Genghis's game plan is definitely do. Oh, head kick! Good head kick landed. What was going? What was really good there is they were both trying to like keep their distance and trying to. Genghis pushed in. on. Yeah, he realized that he was keeping that distance, and Genghis yeah, that's closed it Brazilian down. kick. That was so close too. Just gave him a buzz cut. <laughs> jab, jab. There we go. This is what I like to see. Now he's working on the on that right leg now. The only time we really saw the like injury meter pop up was when he got a leg kick from uh, Genghis. And that's one of the downsides to going for the core, because depending on the fighter you're going against, going for the core. That it's not going to pop up with that. Yeah, because John Jones has gone the distance in a lot of his fights in his career. It's either gone the distance or just put somebody to sleep immediately. Yeah. So he has the conditioning in order to take those beatings to keep the fight going for a longer time. Mm -hmm. All right, so here we see we're on the final round of this three round fight. We're going to be seeing. You know, both fighters dapping each other up. I do believe the second round went to Genghis. So right now it's looking like it's, you know, going 1-1 one, one into this final round, which is the decider. Yeah. But we do see Mr. Fear sustaining more damage than Genghis is and kind of at a worse state. Mm -hmm. yeah, because of that leg slowing him down, uh, Fear's options on how the fight are gone down, and Genghis knows that, so he's attacking once again. He's back in his traditional stance, and that lead leg just can get murdered every time he tries to step up now. Mm -hmm. I think Mr. Fear needs to switch his stance. Good check on that. <clears throat> but like you said, you see that, that dead trunk of a leg just swing around way too slow, and that's how you get hit with counters to get knocked out. Good way to stop that. Ooh, there's a Brazilian kick to the head. Push your advantage. Yep, go for the leg or head. You, that, that's, that is the system you set up for yourself. Yep, leg or head. Left or right, head or gut. Come on, fool. <laughs> Run the ones. Okay, here we see Mr. Fear switching his stance, but he is wobbling. Yeah, you Pavlovich, see you see, has taken the most damage between both fighters. So, you do see a broken nose, a bloody chest, and a messed up leg. And just blood all over the ring as well. Yeah, Nobody it is. That. Mostly from one person, if I'm looking at this properly. Yeah, yeah no, it is. I don't think John Jones has been cut. Looks like he might have an abrasion over his right eye, but not enough to warrant what's going on right now. Not enough to warrant the doctor coming into the ring, if you if like you know what I mean. <laughs> if if Fear plays his right and steps in trying to get some of those elbows going, he can open up John Jones before these three minutes are up and get the win on a stoppage. The question is, is this, does he realize it? And that's one of the fortunate situations with the Bucks right now with the just being. Here we see the doctor coming in oh. for Mister Fear. Oh no. It's the is it the nose? It's the nose. Yeah, he is a broken. Oh, his man. nose is where his eye is. <laughs> oh my! He can fight. He can fight. He can fight. He can fight. Put me in, coach. He Just put a bandaid over it. Yep. Okay. Cool. All right. So this fight's still continuing, but Mister Fear now has a more added stress to him because that doctor can continue to come in the more hits he takes, and unfortunately. Down on the scorecard, he has to be aggressive. Just a couple more elbows or jabs to that strip. He has to land hits here, or it's it's looking dark for him. Imagine having a heel off of the <laughs> a nose injury like that. Uh, you're not smelling for a couple months. <laughs> you are. You're just. You're not feeling anything. Oh, you can't smell. Did you have COVID? No, I broke my nose in a UFC fight. Uh, uh, here we see it, it, the that, head tap landing. This is Mr. Fear catching the kick though but his nose is just like opened up like a capri sun at this point it's just pouring out <laughs> <laughs> all right here we see mr fear actually kind of running at him fear just tackle him <laughs> fear go for the, go for, go for the submission right now spear spear roman reign the tribal chief is falling 
the story has ended. <laughs> but it isn't this is Mr. Fear's story. Yeah, and it's looking like he's going to be smelling nothing for a couple of months. Sheesh. Some slow. Maybe upper. maybe be, he might be smelling blood right now. Not going to lie. His entire face is covered. <laughs> Anybody else smell iron? <laughs> <laughs> Here we see two minutes left on the clock. Genghis taking this fight at his own pace. Genghis is playing with his food, basically. No, he's playing with smart. Yeah. Oh, here's a doctor. This is going to be... I'm pretty sure this is going to be a stoppage. Yeah, this is probably going to be a stoppage. My man can lick the right side of his nose <laughs> going to the left. Look at his eye. His eye is bloodshot. Yep. Yeah. Here we see the Ravens taking UFC 5 with a stoppage from the doctor. My man's got free plastic surgery. Shout out to Third for the commentary, by the way. Thanks Appreciate for having me, boys. Brother. Y'all enjoy the rest of your night. You too. All right, so now we're going to be seeing Fortnite coming up. So we're going to be Ooh. seeing Pizza Man versus Stars in a Fortnite classic. Ooh, and this actually could be the last game before we go into half as well. Yeah, it's could potential. Be. Depends on how well Bucks actually play this, because we know that Pizza Man is very strong in Fortnite, but we also know that Stars is strong at Fortnite. Stars and Vape, maybe. I don't this know. is a battle between two people who have grown up in the Fortnite era. That is, you know. Now that you put it that way, that makes a lot of sense. This is like, you know, like the the like once in a lifetime thing of R The Rock and John Cena? This is that. That video, but just replace The Rock with Pizza Man and John Cena with uh, Stars. This is this is a matchup. This is probably the best. This is probably the game that we wanted to roll with mm -hmm. this lineup. Yep. I agree. Fortnite followed by Rocket League after the half. Rocket League would be fun to watch. Maybe Val? You know, that actually wouldn't be too bad either. We need some more shooters. I want Halo. He's speaking my language now. I want some Halo. I would it depends Halo. to see what they run in Halo. Are they gonna run like they're gonna run a heavies map or are they gonna actually play the game out? I feel like if they play Halo, they play they just go straight into Aquarius. Aquarius Slayer. I think they play oddball. I'll come back oh. and try to kill you. <laughs> A three v four oddball is yeah, not green. good. It, 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 well, actually, money, 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 money. if it's Ravens, I would support that. DNF game. duels. Next. Okay, so if this game ends before half, we're gonna be seeing DNF duel, another fighting game, which leaves us with King of Fighters left, right? Smash, King of Fighters, Smash, and King of Fighters. You're right. Yeah, actually. For shooters, we still have Val, Call of Duty, Halo, and Overwatch. I think Overwatch would be something fun to watch. Same I do want to watch Overwatch. Overwatch would be a good matchup. Well, I mean, it sucks it won't be a 5v5. I don't Yeah. Think I Here haven't. we see Stars pushing. Oh, man. Stars is building on him, but Pizza Man could. <laughs> <laughs> Stars said, screw this. I'm not, I'm not waiting. Oh, man. Pizza Man is trapped in his base. Imagine Stars talking to his kids. Yeah, man, I used to play Fortnite. I grew up on Fortnite. What? I don't know what he just did, but that and was... And he took out Pizza Man. GG. I'm going to tell he's you. Moving up his, he's moving up his frames as well. He did not like how slow that his frames were looking. I'm going to tell you right now. Don't ever 1v1 Stars in a Fortnite match. <laughs> Bro just boxed up the entire team in their spawn point. He separated, and he didn't go in and take a 1v3. No, he separated them all. He split them all up. He went, all right, man, we all are? Okay. you're going to jump out. Here we lock see. You off. Oh, my God, that's a throwback. The help. galaxy skin. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah you I can thought those were Kratos' blades for a second, yeah, but I don't think it. they put those in the game. Kratos isn't in the game. No. He is in the game. He is, right, but ahead, he go, just has go, the go. axe. They only bought the axe, and they didn't bring the... So uh, here we yeah, see the Ravens are Team 4, which is the purple color, and I believe the Bucks took green, which should be Team 3 or 1. Okay, so we got Fear here with a bow. Oh, oh my god, he just took out someone. Wasn't Stars, though. Stars sitting over here cranking some 90s. Oh, taking a little bit of fall damage. Ran out of the mat. No, he didn't. He still has his mats. Using a Smart. couple splash. Oh. Looks like 
It might be fear off in the distance taking some fear. Is, yeah, it's looking like fear is the one with the uh, arrow, okay. right? Yeah. Yeah. Is this a one v? No, it's not a one. It's not a one v two. Okay. All right. Still, still building. Still building. Okay. Trying to look. He's looking to make that one v one. Bucks need to realize that, and they need to push it together. But it's kind of hard to push stars on this considering how fast he's building but we're also seeing pizza man build at a fast rate mm -hmm. pizza man with the flint lock touch the caribbean oh okay Hit for 83. all right oh I pizza man going bit. down by stars all right stars that was a little mean right there he was like i'm gonna just look at you <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that was. I hope that was Stars, and I hope it got picked up. Stars is playing with his food. Okay, so here we see a Fortnite win. So we are going to be getting DNF duel before the half. Never mind. Okay. Commentators curse here, saying that this could be the game that takes us to half. It in fact did not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I hope that I hope that audio got picked up. Oh, oh, I hope so as well. But it's crazy because the I actually have not seen stars on Fortnite before. I've heard that it was his game. <laughs> yeah, it is. I've seen it. him on Fortnite. I've played against him on Fortnite. He is he's insane. He can just box you up like a Christmas present. Wow. I mean, that was <laughs> what an impressive showing from Fortnite. Um yeah, I mean that was definitely a good a good point that you brought up. Uh, he did grow up in the era of Fortnite, so with him, he grew up when what's it called? A uh, Skull Trooper was out. <laughs> That's what you gotta look at it like. Wow, Fortnite came out in twenty thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. It was not. It was actually. It was like 2018, 2017. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. I'm thinking something else. Yeah. So here we're going to see DNF, and I believe the Ravens have a full reset, and Pizza Man has to go in. Or maybe not. I think maybe Gravity and Mr. Fear are going in, and then I could be wrong. Yep, uh, no, we're seeing Man. Mr. Fear and Pizza Man go in with yep. Gravity being anchored. And it's probably going to be Star. Oh, no, it's Genghis and him? Question mark? Genghis and Stars. Okay. Okay, so we're going to be seeing a Hitman versus Launcher. Hitman, very popular character, long range. CTR. Okay. CTR. See, this is another game I wish Wonku was here for. Uh, 2017. That's what it was. Okay. 2017. I, don't I was like, there's no way it's 2013 <laughs> because, like, 2012 or 2013 was, like, when GTA 5 came out. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't. That long ago. All right, so here we go. Uh, we got Pizza Man active right now on player two. Stars on player one. Pizza is wow. Let's go, Pizza Man. Pizza just perfect stars. I don't. I don't. I don't think that's happened tonight on stars at all in any of the fighter games. We just hear yes, Pizza. Yes. Okay, there you go. Star's trying to get in and close that distance, but Pizza's just saying, nah, you're going to take these rockets. Pizza's making sure that Star's is not getting close. I believe this is a projectile. I think in fighter annotation, that's just called fireball, right? Yeah. I, it's so hard to grasp that concept because I just go, oh, missile. Wait, no, fireball. <laughs> so what happened? Oh, my God, Pizza Man. So Pizza Man getting his revenge for Fortnite by taking out stars on DNF. <laughs> we were we were hearing a little bit of conversation coming from there. Heard somebody say, "Bring up what is it? The Steam charts, <laughs> stream charts, something." I don't know. Sounds like a little. A little trash talk going on in there. That's, that's what, what we, we like to hear. That's some. That's what we want. <laughs> that's what we like. Oh, wait, no, sorry. Good sportsmanship in here. <laughs> that's what we're talking about. We are. Um, we are family friendly. Good sportsman. Professional. So we're seeing a launcher versus a launcher. Never mind. We're annoying. 
<laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> we, yep, launcher v launcher. I think Genghis. I don't think I've seen Genghis play this. I don't know. Maybe Genghis could be a surprise. Uh, I have a feeling that we're gonna see a lot of missiles being fired. Nothing wrong with that. Playing the UEL. Star is playing, or not Star, is Pizza Man playing very offensively. So Pizza Man is making sure this game is played at his pace. See, Genghis already messed up because all Pizza Man has to do is just... Perfect KO from Pizza Man. See, what, what Pizza Man did is he busted out the shotguns, whatever that's called. Uh, it reminds me of the rough cut nerf gun. <laughs> right? Pulls yeah. it, yep, right there. Oh. And then it pushes him back. So as yeah. soon as he does that, it pushes them back. And that's when he gets to, you know, that's where he gets his best. Yep. And because of the timing of how long it takes to fire the missile and the travel time in the missile, Genghis has no chance. Oh, oh. Okay. Wow. Pizza Man double perfect KO. That's a W for the Bucks to make it 2-2. Two, two, what is that? 2-11? Two 2-11. To 2 to 11. Wow, well, We have good. Pizza Man showing off in a fighting game. He, he's insane. I'm going to shut up and stop saying that this is going to be the last game towards halftime because <laughs> now that is twice. Pizza Man kind of just went off. I mean, it was yeah. a launcher versus a launcher, but Pizza Man just proved that he knows how to play DNF and he made sure to win that game. We didn't even get to see Mr. Fear. Mm. Mr. Fear was not needed. <laughs> Have no fear. <laughs> and yeah, you can look at the score and looking at it by a nine point difference, but there's positives that the Bucks can take from this game. There really is. I mean, they're really strong in fighters. Mr. Fear was definitely. Pizza Man looking uh, is proving to be a good signing for them, proving oh, to yeah. be that little sh light in the dark for them mm -hmm. that is kind of bringing them back. And it's like they can go into this offseason, they can play as how they want. Could you imagine stars and pizza on a team together, though? That would be crazy. That would actually be a really strong team. That'd be a really strong duo, actually. A Especially fighting team? Fortnite? And Fortnite would be crazy. And Fortnite, fighting, it would be crazy. And fighting. Fortnite and fighting would be pretty solid. And, you know, understanding the timings from those missiles. Yeah, you could probably look at it. Some people would probably be like, oh, that's cheese. Oh, man. Blah, blah, blah. No, I mean, like. There was actual strategy in there. He had to... He had to hit that first with the two-shot. He, If he didn't hit that, then it changes how he plays. Yeah, because him being able to hit that first shot... Kind of played into, like... It was like, I can grab at you. Like, yeah, it was... It set him up. Uh, it required Genghis and Stars to have to block. They, if they didn't block, they flew. And if they flew or blocked, the amount of time it took them to recover, the first missile's already been shot. It's already in there. So, yeah, pretty simple strategy, but, I mean, they got the win. 11 to 2. 11 to 2. They bought it back. So, the comeback is on. You got to realize, there's still two hours left in this game. Mm-hmm. Eight minutes to half. Getting into CTR. We're going to be having Gravity and Pizza Man going for CTR and him and Vape. And we'll get the, the who's screen is who's here in a sec for you guys. We've run, we've got an all fighter. Oh well, there's one fighter left after today. Uh, after this, wow! If Smash rolls, that means every fighter has rolled on today's wheel, which would be kind of a surprise. This would be the. S oh, that is important. <laughs> All right, so here we go, taking off in here. Uh, okay, sorry. Um, back to it. So we have. So Vape's going to be top left, him going to be top right, with the Gravity and Pizza Man being bottom. And, so basically, Ravens are up top, Box are bottom. We're going to be seeing him in first place, Genghis in second, 
Pizza Man in third, or Gravity in third, Pizza Man in fourth. Which, kind of expected from the from the Ravens. I mean, they play with Wonku, as we said. Wonku really strong at this game. Oh, but we have... But we... Gravity. None of them took Gravity in second. None of them took the shortcut there. Oh, you know the shortcuts now, too. There is a shortcut. Once you get past, like, the uh, first corner, okay. there's a way where you can jump up. And, like, you jump up onto, like, a grassy area where you can jump onto the bridge. Okay. You just have to... You have to have boost for... Like, you have to be able to drift into it. You'll see it's oh. right up here. Uh, which screen are we looking at first? Let's just look at bottom left. Do you see that little green? That oh. he's got? Yeah, it's up there. You just got to go through the water. You can jump in. Oh, wow. That cuts off a pretty decent yeah. chunk of the map, actually. We're seeing Pizza Man kind of driving into the uh, pole. He does have the, uh, I think the, the, like the item that he has causes like a time thing, kind of like a blue shell, but for the entire lobby. Okay. So, so we're seeing the Ravens get first and second with the Bucks getting third and fourth. They do need to change up after this game. Okay. Kind of through importance. Mm-hmm. But I mean, like. I don't think anybody really took the shortcuts. I don't think that they were comfortable taking it, which is understandable. Uh, some of the shortcuts, if you don't take them correctly, it sets you back quite a bit. So, in all honesty, yeah. I mean, like, definitely playing the safe route and taking that, taking your time to yeah. go through the map. As long as the other team doesn't know the shortcuts, I mean, you're fine to do whatever. Yeah, you like, don't have to do it. I just pointed it out because I saw it and I was like, oh, like, and I'm not saying well, they don't know about it. Maybe, like, you're right. They're not taking the risk because they want to win this game. They want to confirm a win. They don't want to risk their positions that they can easily lose within seconds. Yep. And right now we have him in first, Gravity okay. in Vape second, is in fourth. Vape is in third now. Pizza Man's in fourth. Okay. So, all right. So we're back to Ravens being in first and second, getting hit with a time bomb. Looking like they're slowed down right now, wobbling. Is that Ice Spyro? That's kind of cool, actually. I miss Spyro. That's the era I grew up in. W. <laughs> <laughs> Here we see uh, Gravity kind of holding on to that second place. Mm -hmm. he, he's a little bit of a distance behind him, but he can still kind of catch up. Mm -hmm. They only are on the second lap, but we are seeing gang, uh, Vape get back into third, kind of having a fight for third and fourth. Mm -hmm. So Which it's basically kind of like, box. it's basically two fights right now. It's between third and fourth, between Pizza Man and Vape, and then first and second between Gravity and him. But I mean, like, right now, him, he's hes so far. Yeah, him is. He's him. so far ahead. I don't think it's really much of a fight between first and second. It's just the only position that really matters is who gets in fourth. Because if, well, the Bucks really need to get, they need to solidify, like, at they, least they need to win one race mm -hmm. and guarantee that the Ravens get third and fourth. Yeah. If they could get a second and third. Um, how many points is it? It's, so it's ten. I because it the, well, they gotta stop the Ravens from getting first. Yeah, like the Ravens cannot win another race after this, or it's basically over for the uh, Bucks. Yeah. So that would mean that Gravity really has to. He's really gonna have to. Push. And maybe it's just showing that uh, him has knowledge of the maps. Okay. Oh, is he? Is that a shortcut there that he was trying to take? No, but we do see Vape taking the second place spot, finishing in second, with their oh. box finishing in third and fourth for another race. That nitro was an unfortunate grab. For Very. Him. I don't. I don't know if he planned on it or if he accidentally rolled into it, but that was that was unfortunate for him to to take on. But I mean, Raven's still in first. Bucks, they need to do something. I mean, I don't, this is what I was saying. I, I've been saying this for weeks. CTR is one of those games. You, he, like People need to focus on this game. This is one of those games that not everybody plays, just like UFC. It could be an easy win. Or it could be a, it could be a literal game-changing game. Mm -hmm. Like, 
yeah, we see that it's 11 to 2, but say the Bucks win this and they go on like a, a streak of wins. Kind of just that mental game of like, look, we're winning games constantly in a row. We're yeah. not dropping them. Well, there's also been so many games that have come down to like 12 and 12, 10 and 10. I mean, the, if the teams had won this game, it would have it could have set the pace for yeah. the entire game. And I mean, with this, I'm going to say it now. I'm not going to say it now. I was going to say it, but I'm not going to say it because... Well, here we see the Ravens the solidifying game. their spot in first and second. With yep. The, it's kind of the same standings for the three races that we have raced so far, including mm -hmm. this. Um, Ravens have been first and second, him being first, Vape being second, Bucks being third and fourth, with uh, Gravity being third and Pizza Man being fourth. Mm -hmm. Here we see Gravity taking second from Vape due to a error, I think. But we do see that him is so far ahead that he's already on the final lap. Oh, are we going to see King of Fighters played before the half? I don't know. Oh? Are we? I, I mean, it all depends on how long it takes for the other three to finish. But right now... Him could be crossing any point. Okay, so we have 18 and 12, and then 6 and 2. I like that we, we add the points up there now. That makes things a lot easier. Yep. Yeah, that helps. Okay. Yep. And I don't think I don't think Bucks are going to be able to come back from that, because that's going to put them... Yeah, they're not going to be able to come back from that. So, it's looking like this is... A Ravens win. Yeah. Yep. Now, there's only 30 seconds left in the half. Do we want it to... I don't... They're going to play the final race or are they going to forfeit? I believe that... Well, I don't, I don't think it's going to be a forfeit. No, I it's think, not a forfeit. Yeah, that's that's going to be a win for Ravens. Yeah, it's a, they guaranteed their win. Yep, and that's going to be a timeout. Which means we're... KOF will be played. <laughs> we'll get played. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait. Timeout means King of Fighters is going to be played after. After half, I believe. We'll get that confirmation for you guys. Um, is that a win? F I'm going to assume that's... A yeah, that's a win for the um, Ravens. Was it? Yeah. I believe so. Yeah, yeah, because they were, they were 11 and 2 going in. Yeah. All right, so... That's going to be it for the first half of the game. Wait, hold on. False information. There is some stuff happening outside, mm -hmm. but we're not sure yet. Okay. Okay. So the timeout doesn't mean that we're going into half. Uh, it's still possible. King of Fighters. See, that's what I kept saying. I kept saying that this would be the final game. This would be the final <laughs> game. This would be the... What do you know? We're going into another game. But so, hey. basically, the Ravens caught a timeout when there was two minutes left, which allows them to play KOF before the time, like before halftime. So, they were able to get this timeout in, which lets them play KOF. I think there was, like, five seconds left on the I clock, I think there too. was, well. I think there was, like, maybe five seconds, but the Ravens were able to throw in a timeout. They are able to play this game. So we're going to get that set up right now. Um, <laughs> I th that, that's think? funny. They really wanted to play. They wanted to play. I mean, hey, they're on a momentum. They well, I, I honestly, I can't blame them. I would want to play it too before the halftime, considering how close these teams are when it comes to fighter yeah, games. Yeah, definitely here. Like, And taking that, you know, that several minute break, they're already warm. Their yeah. fing the, the fingies are warm. Yep, and we're going right into going right into KOF with the wheel being spun. With us playing KOF, that means there's only one fighter left being Super Smash Bros. Which next is gonna be Yu Yu Gi Oh. Time to do 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 do. You know what? Thank you to the uh, Ravens for that timeout. <laughs> Because we're going to be, so for anyone that's watching, if you go away to go do something during halftime, you're going to be coming back to watch us play Yu-Gi-Oh! And we'll get the lineups in after halftime for that. Uh, okay. So we're going to be seeing Stars versus Pizza Man. With Pizza Man playing as Vanessa and uh, Stars playing as Jesse. Looks like they're they're really just 
keeping distance from each other, trying to bait each other in for some combos, maybe. Okay, nice, nice blocks from Pizza. Okay, couple jabs in. Okay, uh, kick. All right, not much combos coming in, but I mean, Stars is definitely ahead. Okay. Yep. Pizza Man is punishing him. Yeah. <laughs> but he's also kind of down on deficit. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. okay. Pizza Man. Okay. He's got that little sliver of health. Is Pizza Man going to... Oh, uh, nope. Pizza Man's okay. been taken out. But Stars does not regen any health. So, uh, he actually did. But... We're going to be seeing Gravity go in as Rugal, and then the final battle, if we get to see Mr. Fear, is going to be Dinosaur. Mm. We still have Stars, Genghis, and him to play. Stars being the first, already getting the first person down, meaning Stars is on track for a sweep if he can complete it. Mm. And, I mean, wow. Almost all the fighters rolled. In the first half. In the first half. Talk about a game. Can we count UFC as a fight? I mean, yeah. it's a sports game, but that was fighting as I well. used to think so. And then <laughs> I, somebody explained to me that it's actually a sports game. And I was like, okay. I mean, yeah, it is. Yeah. I'm just messing. But it, it is a fighter. We saw some. We saw fists being thrown, kicks being thrown. Nose being broken. <laughs> Definitely uh, family friendly. <laughs> All right, kick, kick in the corner. Here we see, you know, gra okay. So here we see gravity taking out stars. Now I'm making it a two v two with him going in next, or is it going to be Genghis? Genghis is going to be going in next. Genghis with the drip. Here we see Genghis is going to be playing as if I could, if it uh, showed back up, I couldn't see in time, but. So we still have Genghis and him and Pizza or Fear, Mr. Fear and Gravity. So a 2v2 basically with Gravity getting almost his entire health back. Mm -hmm. King of Fighters, a slower fighting game. Uh, probably the slowest one played tonight. But here we go. So we have a Rugal versus Rugal. And then the final fight. If if it goes down to him versus Mr. Fear, it would be King versus Dinosaur. Mm. Keeping distance. Okay. Missed the timing on that, bro. All right. There you go. Hit it. Didn't. So here we see Gravity actually playing offensively. Mm -hmm. Kind of putting the pressure into his hands, making sure that he doesn't Ooh, let go of it. Yep. Okay. There you go, Genghis. He's got it. All right. All right. Here we see Gravity taking out uh, Genghis with him coming in as the last fighter. And the unfortunate thing with Genghis is like he was putting some damage down, but he wasn't keeping that momentum. And that's really where his downfall is. He would he'd get in there, throw some punches, take some health, but he wasn't able to keep that pressure on and really ended up. Well, putting him down. Just noticing uh, him actually has a full max max bar. A five. Huh? So, yeah, if you look in, you're gonna see he has full. So they might that might have been their plan to build it up for him. I mean that is fair. King of Fighters a game a fighting game I don't really know too much about. Me neither. Uh, the first time I ever played it in the game was against Herb and I almost beat Herb in King of Fighters. <laughs> you hear that Herb? He wants to run the one again. I don't. I don't, <laughs> Herb. No, I don't. <laughs> somebody, somebody, uh, call up Herb. Won't be one on stream. Cliff Schiff and send it to him. <laughs> <laughs> yep, clip it. He's going in. All right. There we go. King, Oof. fireball, fireball. More fireballs. Here we fireball. see Gravity just backing off. There you go. He's trying to. Looks like him is trying to take that last little bit of health left, trying to save as much health as he can, because he knows he's going to need it when he goes against Fear. Yeah. There we go. So here we see Gra uh, Gravity getting taken out by him. So now we're going to see the final uh, 1v1 against Mr. Fear and him. Him has such a serious face. Oh, chomp, chomp. Okay. That's a dinosaur of a six-pack. 
It makes me, it reminds me of King from Tekken. Where he's got the jack, or what is it? Like the a jack jaguar, yeah, head. jaguar head, but. Oh, he hit that. Okay, chomp. Midair. Leaf Hurricane. Rockley. Um, w shout out. <laughs> all right. Him trying to keep distance, trying to throw some hits in. And here oh. we see the Bucks winning a third game so far, right before half. They just won KOF. Oh, man. So we're going to be seeing, we're going to be going into halftime with the score being 12 to 3, a 9 deficit. But that doesn't really show how the game is yeah. and how it's been played this entire, you know, tonight. Yep. But uh, as we said, going into half, when we get back, Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu -Oh. We're going to be seeing Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, this might actually be pretty good as the former Bucks' coach are now on the Ravens. Yep. But we will see you all here in a couple minutes. Stay tuned.
Dripping water, A2O, in my time piece, VVS. A blinding light, make them look Chinese. In the form mode, pick me up, be my dime piece. Don't start no trouble, two glocks, them bitches sign me. Blue bills, where we chasing every day. Run them over, if they try to get up in your way. Tell her hustle hard, I want the cream, I get the cake. Hustle hard, I want the cream, I get the cake. See they glare, but they know to stay up in their lane. Smoking moon rock, cookies only, I like take to the face. Niggas wanna rock, Cyclops red beam will make. Welcome back from the half, everybody. We've got Ravens and Bucks on day two of the final week of the regular season here in the UEL. I am Speedy, joined here by Exile. Exile, we're looking at a twelve and three score line between the Ravens and the Bucks. What do you think so far about this game? I think this has been a pretty good game. Honestly, like both teams would look at it, and maybe, you know, see it as a positive. Whether, you know, you're going to lose, you're going to, it's whatever. But it's the final game of the season, and, you know, they can relax. They don't have to worry about the next week being, oh, like another game. Yeah, and the Bucks with not a whole lot to lose at this point, they do not want to go 0-10 and 10 this season, so they are going to be working very hard in the second half. The Ravens, however, are actually fighting for something pretty important here, which is seed placement. And while our second and third seed will face off, so it doesn't really matter what position they're in, it feels a lot They just want to be, be higher than the yeah. team that they're... They just want to be ranked higher. Absolutely. I they want to be able to like... say that they're the higher seed because that's the mental game. Yeah, and I feel like they think they've earned it as well because they have, at this point, defeated the X-Gods twice. Twice. So when they do go up against them again in playoffs, uh, I think they feel that they deserve to have that little two next to their team name. Yeah. Uh, let them know what their seed is. But we are going to be heading into Yu-Gi-Oh! as our first game here in the half. So a 1v1. And it looks like we may already have our lock for the Ravens. I believe Vape, the only player available. So we'll probably get a and I believe Mr. Reset. Fear might be locked in as well for the Bucks. Yeah, it looks like he is. So we're going to have Mr. Fear versus Vape. We'll see what kind of decks these teams have built uh, i know there's been a lot of variation lately people actually starting to pick up the game and learn more about it i think they realize that it doesn't get forfeit as much as they wish it did <laughs> a lot of oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so he called it i did call it uh whoops uh, commentator's so curse Bucks everyone gonna forfeit that's actually that kind one. of that's kind of funny whoopsie so we're gonna get it car x drift okay all right very interesting. So Car X Drift coming up next. Pretty quick one usually. So forfeiting that long game of Yu-Gi-Oh and going into Car X Drift actually does work out for the Bucks. Uh, a Maybe quicker it does. opportunity yeah. for them to grab a point here. They don't want to tick down the second half too much now that they're at a 10-point deficit. Maybe they're just trying to get through as fast as possible. Maybe they just look at it like if we stay any longer, it'll hurt. Yeah, but grab the wins where you can. Maybe they also just realized Yu-Gi-Oh wasn't the best game to try and start the half off. As you start that game off with that time length, it would really chip into what they could use to try and make a comeback. Yeah, absolutely. And we see there that the four minute setup timer restarts because of that forfeit. So now we're looking at a 2v2 in this one. We already know who's going to go in for the Bucks because we've got Gravity and Pizza Man as the only two yeah. left for them. Uh, the Ravens, on the other hand, just had a roster reset so they do have the ability to put to in whatever anyone, yeah. two best players that they think they have and on we're going to see it as a raven setup as well so they're going to be getting this set up and hopefully in a bit we'll see the screen switch to them in the lobby yeah it'll be coming up pretty soon but 10 point deficit in the second half that's a pretty tricky hill to overcome there are still two hours so there 10 is, games yeah, certainly not, will roll it's not like 10 games won't roll or 10 games won't be played it just depends on what 10 games are played like you know what i mean like what specific games are being played but also we could just see a mind game being played in by the bucks that's true. Uh, it depends what they want to play here and where they think they can pick up wins. Obviously, Gravity and Pizza Man, you see getting locked in there. I'm sure the Ravens will soon have their lineup as well. I'm curious who they're going to... Okay, Vape and Genghis going to go in. Him and Stars does leave an opening for a few different genres. Yeah. So it does make sense for them to uh, sit on the side for this one and just be open for whatever is going to spin next. And so we're then going to be able to see Mr. Fear being anchored in this. So whatever game rolls next, hopefully he might want, you know, a strat game that he could be, you know, if it's Dead by Daylight, he'd be killer or just any other game where he knows if it's his turn to go in, he can, he can take that game. 
Yeah, there are a few greater advantages in the UEL than having set up and your entire roster. So as you can see, the Ravens have set up on this game, but the Bucks will have it on the next one where they have Mr. Fear, Gravity, and Pizza Man all available. So like you said, if they roll something like Dead by Daylight, it'll be completely up to them. Yeah. They can choose to be the killer and have Mr. Fear go in because their entire roster is eligible. And if the case does happen that they get Dead by Daylight and they pick to be killer or survivor, that means the uh, Ravens can pick the map. So they get to choose the map, and maybe the Ravens want them to pick Killer. It's definitely possible. You can see that the Bucks have used two of their forfeits already uh, in the first half, and we do have two timeouts on each side now because... Sorry, not in the first half. Bucks has used one in the first half. And, and the other one, one... Yeah, at the start. Right now. <laughs> pretty so much two in total cards, with right. three left. Um, There's still about two hours to go. Maybe they're going to try and hold on to not using all... To work us at a point where it's like every game we're just gonna throw yeah at this point uh you don't really want to be forfeiting anything you're down 10 you still have three forfeits but using one of them just puts you further into that hole so both teams now that we're at the half down to two timeouts if you don't use them you lose them so timeouts here for and that's teams. where it starts to get hectic the second you get down to two you use those two that's that's when you kind of realize these setups need to be perfect or it can be like dreadful yeah it becomes a game of speed at that point you really have to be on your toes out there but the ravens sitting in a great position right now just about everybody on the team having highlight plays today uh, everybody has been really reliable they've played a 5v5 in gears and we got to see the entire team in that one and a f was it a 4v4 or a 5v no apex is 3v3 right 3v3 yeah so yes. we saw the 3v3 we still have over half the shooters to go yeah, there's a lot still left in there. Warzone uh, still up there, which I think um, having stars available right now means Warzone is in a pretty... Uh, I think the Ravens are feeling good. comfortable. Yeah, it's in a yeah. pretty good spot to get drawn. We still have Valorant. We still have Halo. Here we're going to see one of those... <laughs> All right, it's going to be one of those 5v5 shooters. Overwatch 2 team shooter. going to be a very interesting game to watch. A four versus three. Not really a complete team composition on either side, but you see a drift get wrecked there. Pizza Man was doing so well, and he just gets pushed out of the way, so he loses his drift bonus, but he's going to get right back on that track. He still has 45 seconds to finish here. Looks like most players, uh, most of the way done with the map at this point. This is one of the shorter maps. This probably the shortest map, this, uh, this airport terminal here. So going right under the engine. Pizza Man looking pretty good. He, he held a consistent drift, so while his uh, multiplier wasn't extremely high, he did play well and got some consistent points heading toward the finish line there. Now we're going to see Vape do the same thing, coming in at that same 1.4 multiplier. So just waiting for the rest to finish here, and that'll be the final player. So we'll add up those we're gonna points. We're going to see... And I believe Pizza Man got a thousand. We're gonna be seeing PC ten as Vape. So Vape's gonna be getting nine fifty four with flying kittens being the other one on the Ravens. Oh, so it will be the Ravens then it looks like taking that one. Just a slight score advantage. So the Ravens look to have a somewhere around a hundred to two hundred points. Uh, I believe difference. so, yeah. Yeah, that that middle consistency sometimes pays off, not having one at the top and one at the bottom. Sometimes it's nice to just hold that second and third uh, consistent placement. So we are adding up the scores right now. Uh, I believe just getting the math checked. But with those two players adding up to about 1,600. Uh, and, then and then the Bucks 1500, only about 1,500. Yeah. yeah and I hope you, if you didn't notice the wheel when it spun Overwatch, by the way, you had three shooters in a row. So it was in the middle of three shooters of Ooh. COD, Overwatch, and I think the third might have been Halo. So they're all packed together up there. Yeah, it seems like the wheel is really in favor for one side being shooters and the rest being all the other games. So the I strategy, think strategy, I believe, are the same way. Is it <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon? I think with just well. fighters being rolled, it's kind of made the wheel like that, where everything that's in the same cat has just been pushed. It's all just been connected together, and it's like, if you miss this game that you don't want to play, you're going to get the same category. Yeah, difficult situation to be in for the Bucks right now. Uh, there's not really a lot of categories like what we were just talking about that you really feel comfortable in. Mr. Fear is such like a dominant figure in fighting yeah. games. And you so feel so confident having him on your side. And now 
They rolled. Uh, <laughs> All so. the fighters besides one. Yeah. And so here we're going to see the Ravens did take Karak's drift. They added the scores up, and the Ravens did win. So it's another game added to the Ravens with the Bucks now going into setup with Overwatch. Now we could see control. I'm trying to think what modes would the Bucks want to pick. Yeah, they it, the Bucks themselves, they do get to pick the game type here. So it is the question of whether or not they want to take a head-to-head -head fight and rely on the like shooting prowess of yeah. pizza uh, and gravity. Yeah, and gravity as well. Um it's an interesting setup because you also have to think about composition. Well, they go for one tank and two DPS and just try to go all damage. Um, but now that Overwatch does have a self-healing mechanic yeah. when you're out of combat. So in a situation like this, you could go for one protector, two damage dealers, and just say, if we lose the fight, we all die. If we win the fight, we'll be healed up anyways. Yeah, but then we got to look at it, the four man as well. So we have the Bucks running their three man, and we know that they're guaranteed as a three man, and it's going to be kind of a difficult challenge. But it's not like the Ravens have a five man. They're running a four man. So they're still down someone, and that could be the change of the game. That could be something where it's like they don't have the correct team comp, maybe where they could have had two healers, or they could still run two healers, but then they're down an additional slot. Yeah, and Overwatch is a game of building compositions as well. So we see that a four-man on the side of the Ravens means that the usual compositions that you would see played aren't going to be viable for either of these teams yeah. because they don't have enough players. So it's going to be about who can adapt to their current circumstance better. Missing out on a roll or two, can you still build an efficient team? And yeah. neither team, I think, has really been tasked with this yet. So this is going to be a new experience for them. And it's kind of a difficult thing to kind of guess what's going to happen because you can't really guess how this game's going to go because both teams have their disadvantage. Both teams also have shooters that they can send in. So it's like this game will go anyway. And it's also pretty good to see that this game's being played because we can see a game played like this with a different style. Yeah, I think both teams are going to have to get really creative here. That's going to be the key is coming up with the best composition. And I know that the Ravens do have a pretty strong backup system in terms of their mm -hmm. coaching and management. So they may have something worked up for this one. They did have a couple of minutes to prepare. They may have some ideas, but with so many games on the wheel, sometimes it's hard to be focused enough on a certain game to really develop strategies for it. And we're going to get into the sports game mouth, rule here in NBA hello. 2K. Yep. So that's Meet actually Beyond really power. good um, hey, to see that getting rolled. So that is a sports game. Gonna We're going to see uh, what happens, though, so whether the Bucks Mira? decide to forfeit or not. You can if you want to, honestly. It looks like on the side of this is gonna the be just Bucks, we are going to get... Pizza Man as a Reaper. Pizza yeah. Man playing as a Reaper. We're going to be seeing on the side of the Ravens, we're going to be seeing uh, Kiriko being played by him. So they're going to be playing two healers and two tanks. Yeah, this does make a lot of sense. That beefy composition on this side for the Ravens. So we're going to see make it stars so here difficult. as Malagwa and Arissa being played as Gangus with the Kiriko being played as him and the uh, Moira as Vape. So it looked like he is getting locked in. It's going to be very difficult yeah. for the Bucks right now. There is so much of a health pool on the side of the Ravens to because they have two tanks. Down. They have literally two tanks and two healers. Two tanks being supported by two healers. Exactly correct. And uh, a little bit of maybe not game efficient knowledge from the Bucks. They did go to the other computers to lock in characters for their teammates. Uh, which in Overwatch, the game will start, even if you haven't chosen the character. So it really... Here we're going to see uh, Star's getting the first kill on uh, Doomfist that was being played by Mr. Fear. He's now going up against Ooh. Pizza Man as the Reaper. There should be one left. I couldn't fully see who it was. It is it's a Moira. So they are playing the tank DPS support. They're just playing... They're just trying separate. to run, yeah. But they are playing a very DPS tank and a very DPS this, support as well. So yeah. there is damage from both All of those three well. can help. So mm -hmm. it's just they need to win the team fights. Right, and it looks like all of the AFK players were just kicked from the lobby. So obviously we just have our 4v3 now. 
can see that they're already pressuring them across the bridge. And this Reaper is a great choice for DPS into a composition like this because, because he you can shred the two tanks on those tanks. Yeah. He gains his health back uh, per damage that he does, I believe. It is, uh, I don't know the exact ratio to it, but for every amount of damage that he does, he does get help back, so. And here we see the Orisa and the uh, Maugwa. They were playing together on the right side, whereas Kiriko and Moira were playing on the left. So they were kind of split up between the bridge for both sides. Yeah, and obviously this this is a control point match as well. We didn't mention for those of you following at home, this Doomfist wants to get these punches off the side of the map. It's the reason that he's setting up there right now. You see, Mr. No, Fear's idea is if I can get an early boop off of the map, it becomes a 3v3. You see the Pizza Man is in the tank back line right now, but he does eventually go down without getting a kill. He did have a really good position. Mr. Fear already back out, but this Mauga going to ult, gonna lock those players in. Mr. Fear goes down, and you're going to see Gravity just take his time. Doesn't want to lose his life. When Malga does consistent damage like that. You can see that these players on the side of the buck start to light on fire. That is subsequent of Malga doing consistent damage onto you over time. And here we see the Ravens are 15 away, 15% from winning. Uh, the Bucks have not been able to hold point and control, so they need to push. And now we see the Reaper having his ult. He knows where the supports are. He oh, doesn't no, he didn't all oh. in time. It's unfortunate. Mr. Fear is going to make it to the objective and to charge up that fist. Got Malga to almost half. Oh, and Mr. Fear is taken out with all four still on the point. Because of that, here we're going to see the Ravens winning in Overwatch in control. It was a valiant effort from the Bucks with only three players. They tried to come up with a composition that could both do damage and fill every role in the game. Unfortunately, and that wasn't actually a bad so. comp when you look at it. You yeah. had the DPS in, you know, Pizza Man as Reaper. You then had Doomfist, who was good enough. Then you had Moira. If you could have bind them all together, that was good. It's just, unluckily, they were going up against a four man. So there was that one man advantage. And the Ravens were smart enough to hold point, but they also pushed the Bucks back enough to where they couldn't get flanked. They couldn't, you know, let Reaper run riot with them. Yeah, it was a well-balanced composition. Reaper able to heal himself, their healer able to do some damage, their tank able to protect and do damage as well. Everybody was well-rounded on that side, but in a 3v4 scenario, what can you really do? Especially when a team as competent as the Ravens is your opponent. Uh, it's not going to be something you can just overwhelm with skill in the game. Uh, both players on both teams skilled enough to really be able to make things happen in Overwatch. Just not quite that time, not for the Bucks. The Ravens, however, you see those lineups were locked in. Bucks have a full reset because they just played their entire roster in Overwatch. Ravens reset back to what they had, and it's going to have to be him and Stars going in for 2K. Unluckily, we're not going to be able to see Vape for 2K, as I believe that is one of his main games. And he has done really well this season by just learning and teaching others how to play. So I think the Ravens really did good with this trade because he can teach them how to play. And if they already knew how to play, he's just a piece that can like improve their play style and teach that. Like, it's really good. Now we're going to be seeing Pizza Man and Gravity on the other side. And Mr. Fear being anchored again, maybe hoping for the same thing I said before Overwatch, was set up. Like, they'll have set up for the next game. They get dead by daylight. They get a strat game. They can pick. Six seconds left until we head into this one. So 2K just about to start here. Gravity and Pizza Man on the Bucks, Stars, and him on the Ravens. I'm curious to see who they go for here and what style of play they want. We are going to get a timeout. That is, we will let you know what side that is coming in for. It looks like the Bucks actually use another timeout here. They're down to zero timeouts. So the now. Bucks, okay, the Bucks are down to their last timeout, which means they have to get their next setup perfect. Yeah, from now on, everything has to go their way. They can't be dilly dallying anymore in yeah. between games. But when you have so few players and nobody on the sidelines, it's so difficult to set up the games. And like Everybody we mentioned, they have to get AFK people. In. They have to get the computers that aren't being used into games that require a full set. So that's even stronger for them. And here we're going to see the Road to Michigan roadmap again. You're going to be seeing all of our scores from the Northern Conference and the South Conference. 
Yeah, let's talk about the Ravens and their positioning right now. We had mentioned it before, but for people who are coming back a little bit late after the half, the Ravens are in a position when they win this game to overtake the X-Gods for that second place in the South Conference because they have taken two wins over the X-Gods. So because of that record, they will be able to take the second place position. Uh, the Bucks, on the other hand, you can see mathematically eliminated from being able to fill a wild card spot. And so because this happened, the Ravens are going to end up actually be like going up against the X-Gods in the playoffs for the first round. So they've already played twice this season. This will be their third time. And I think they really wanted to come into this game. They wanted to win to get into the mental of we beat you to second seed. You are now third. And we're going to be seeing League of Legends roll next. League of Legends, yet another 5v5 team game that's going to be difficult for these teams to execute on. Just like we talked about in Overwatch, it's honestly a mirror in terms of setup. I mean, it is just strategy composition based. We play ARAM, it's going to be all about what, well, minus the random part, <laughs> um, but we do play just single lane League of Legends. So it is going to be about how you build your team and how aggressively you want to play. Uh, overwatch a little bit different objective based play rather than just trying to kind of overwhelm the anime and push toward them like league of legends but we are going to see kind of that same thing of overwatch here in league both teams have their like you know missing person you know one missing two the other missing one but we're going to see how they're going to play because the ravens have to pick a specific way to play And so we're going to be waiting for the uh, game to start. I believe we were on the character selection screen with the um, 2K screen. Oh, man. The Overwatch 2, man. can't believe it was over so fast. And here I'm joined back with <clears throat> Ash. So welcome back. Hey, what's going on, guys? <clears throat> So now we're going to be seeing stars actually hit some dance moves while we wait for this game to start. Mm. Pro is keeping the energy up, and honestly, it's worth it. Mm -hmm. Man, talking with stars, we were we were talking to him about his uh, his gameplay. We were telling him to get better. No, nah, we were <laughs> we were gassing him up a little bit. Anyway, so here we go. We got NBA. This is one of the games we were excited for, right? Uh, it is a sports game, so it is going to be cool to see. We're going to be seeing Pizza Man playing as LeBron James and Gravity being played as Kyrie Irving. Mm. They're going to be seeing jo uh, Nikola Jokic and Michael Jordan on the other team mm. for the Ravens. All right, here we go. Pass. Oh, just barely. Almost. Run that back out. Uh, oh, pass over. Oh, and it's in. It's good. Another shot green. So the <clears throat> Ravens are doing really good to hit their shots and they're timing it correctly. Mm. Okay. Coming back. Uh, all right. All right. We're going to see Jokic backing Kyrie Irving, basically back up until he fouls. So it is a kind of a mismatch in this way as the Bucks have no one that can guard Jokic mm. uh, in the paint. And here we see he's just taking it. He's greening his <laughs> shot. He's getting every rebound basically. <laughs> taking his shots. We're going to be seeing kind of we're going to need to see a switch up from the box. Yep. Ravens with a five point lead right They're now. double guarding him. So uh, nice. here we see Michael oh, Jordan pushing to the run. Run it in. Okay. Which is Star is playing as Michael Jordan. So my, uh, Star is doing really good there to actually get himself open up into space. Mm -hmm. That was good, him seeing that opening. I think the Bucks expected him to pass it, to be honest. Oh, boy. Okay. Commando Pro? That was, that was kind of confusing to look at, but anyways, the score is 7-2. to two. Mm. Him greening <laughs> another shot. Him has been hitting his shots. If I remember correctly, I think NBA was one of him's games. I think he might be right. It's... They have definitely been able to practice with vape on their team. So that was a good move for them. And I see positivity. And I think with vape, they've learned kind of to just shoot. But they've also learned how to shoot on time. They haven't been making their mistakes. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
And we're seeing, there we another, go. Yeah, we're seeing stars in another shot. The score is 11 to 2. There's a nine point lead. And in 2K, if you hit a three pointer, it doesn't count for three points. It counts for two. If you score just like a layup or something, it counts for one point. So we're going to be seeing the Bucks needed. They need to hit more shots. They have to do more to make a comeback. Mm. Breaking ankles. Oh. Oh. And it's another. In. Wow. And we're seeing Jokic have his takeover now, so that basically boosts him. And we're going to be seeing... Oh, okay. Grab, run it out. We're seeing Jokic continue to dribble. He's taking his chances. They're playing like a team, letting them sh each other do what they need. <clears throat> I'm seeing good communication between both of them. And I think the Bucks can try the same, and they could maybe bring some points back. Okay. Still a uh, a twelve point lead. Bucks trying to come back. Aim for it. In. Oh my Beautiful. gosh. We're gonna be seeing a fourteen point lead now. Okay. So we're running out. Commando Pro layup. Pizza Man doing really good to get points for his team, whereas it's been oh. seeming like. I'm gonna see what happened there. I'm pretty sure the Bucks had the rebound, but they accidentally didn't take it out the line. That's what I was wondering. Oh, Jokic open for another three. Stars and him very good at their communication. They're playing like a team. This has definitely been kind of the part of the game as to what's been giving them this lead. Playing as a team, they're not taking shots that they don't trust. Mm. Let's go for the Bucks. Still a 14-point lead. The Ravens just need one more point, and if it's a three, if it's a three-pointer, they win. Oh, I see Stars setting it up for it. Oh, Stars does have his takeover though, so I can see why he's trying to set it up. Oh, is this it? Oh, that's inside the paint. That's inside the paint. Yeah. Mm. Okay, they're gonna keep it out. Jokic is getting his rebounds. <laughs> Stars really wants that final <laughs> shot. <laughs> I don't think Bucks. I don't know if Bucks know what to do. Oh, is it in? Nope. Oh, <laughs> stars. I was telling, I, I cursed it by saying that they're not taking like messed up shots and stuff. And they're not like, you know, wasting chances. They are. <laughs> oh, yeah. But they're also having fun. So they're playing like a good team. They're having their fun. And it's, it's obvious. Mm -hmm. Here we are seeing stars playing a 2v1 and he sinks it to win. Star is getting the three-pointer to win. We're going to be mm. seeing another win for the Bu or the Ravens, making it a 12-point lead going into League of Legends. Mm. And this is what we were talking about. We wanted to see League of Legends play. Didn't yeah, we? same thing with me and Speedy. We kind of mentioned how we w I wanted to see the same thing with like how Overwatch ran. Yeah. How it's going to run in League because the Bucks ran a style of one tank, one DPS, one support. Whereas the Ravens were in two tanks, two supports. <laughs> That's kind of what I expected. Them That's to what do. I expected as well. And I want to see what they're going to run here because this is ARAM. So it's not like it's like they have a bot lane, top lane, mid lane, jungle, all that. Oh, gosh, that would suck. That would be that would be really bad. But yeah. I still think a three-man team could win. And the, Shout out to you, Billy, and the bots. I think you guys could win if you guys played a regular game of league in this league. I think... I'm trying to think of a good strategy of what they could, of what the books could do. In I league. think so as well, because they're probably gonna have a regular support like Blitzcrank, maybe Thresh, yeah. somebody who can pull in a champ. Um, they're definitely gonna have a high DPS. Do uh, you think they're gonna have someone like an Alawi in though? They could do an Alawi actually. I, I, I think an Alawi would actually. I'm be thinking between good. like an Alawi. You mentioned Blitzcrank because they still have picks to ban. So it depends on what gets banned here. Um, an Alawi. <clears throat> they're gonna they're gonna want an AP ch damage champion as well, okay. most likely. So maybe a Vigar. I know Vigar is really like a really popular pick. I mean, I which is, which explains it. Vigar is one of the easier. Uh, AP champions to play. Um, 
but maybe I think a Ziggs would be fun to watch. Um, Ziggs is I like playing Ziggs. <laughs> I love Ziggs. Ziggs is Ziggs. Is I don't cool. know why I've just picked up Ziggs randomly and I enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. And um, I do think this strat. It's weird to think because this is like one of the only times where I've ever kind of been a part of seeing a three v five in league. Mm-hmm. And I'm seeing it like as to what strat are they going to pick? Who are they going to yeah. play? How are they going to play it? They're going to ban Yorick. Interesting. Pokemon thing. is. N- Okay, so they got the Yorick. So we got Pokemon next. One off from Rocket League, unluckily. <laughs> I do want Rocket League. But it's 16 to 3 right now. We're seeing... Shaco ban. Okay. Who's been banned? Uh, Shaco, Yorick. I can't tell. Was that Kaisa that they banned? A Galio banned. Galio, okay. okay. We're going to see Renata banned. I actually don't know Renata. I don't see... I'm not seeing a Blitzcrank ban yet. And, and a, a Dairy. Dairy. Okay. okay, that is, that actually is a really good ban. That, I, is a, I that, that, that was one. really smart by him <clears throat> and the Ravens to pick that. So we're going to be seeing... Garen, really? Him taking Garen. Oh, my goodness. I was... Can we get something that isn't Demacia? Maybe a Gangplank? Nah. Garen, I think, is a really strong pick. Get us pick. an Alawi. I want to see an Alawi. I would love to see an Alawi. Oh, maybe... Morgana. Jinx would be kind of fine. A Brand. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I was going to mention Brand, but I didn't know if you'd get banned or not, so I don't want to jinx it, but that's a smart pick from him. I think... Yeah. Yep. Go ahead. Get them... Uh, get, get them, them runes, runes together. Yeah. Runes have always been annoying. Is that a Pantheon pick? Okay. Have I even seen Pantheon? I think I have. Well, I... I was thinking any type of... So we have Pantheon going to Pizza Man. Next up, it should be Gravity. I was thinking of some type of damage tank. 80 tank. So we have a Diana going with Gravity, okay, against a Hecarim. A Hecarim Kogma. Hmm. Kind of. Next is probably going to end up being like a Sona... Maybe a Soraka, Bar, a, a support, pro- probably a Yumi. A Cogmal, yeah, Cogmal just got picked. And uh, a set. So they're not going to have any sus- sustainability, so like no heals or anything. Nope. And an Ari. Okay. okay. So we have an Ari on the <laughs> other team. So f- just to let you guys know, for the Ravens, are going to be seeing a Brand, Hecarim, Cogmal, and an Ari. And for the f- uh, Box are going to be seeing Pantheon, Diana, and Set. So n- neither team has any champions that heal. N- not really very many support. I mean, you could play brand support. Um, I don't think him's going to be playing brand to support. I think they're yeah. just going to. And I know this isn't a regular league match, but I mean, still some. Just thinking as like a league, pro- mm-hmm. like a just someone who knows the league, just thinking with like the league mindset. Yeah. Would think this team comp. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, even in an ARAM... Oh, Arcade Hecarim. I love Arcade Hecarim. But um, even in a in a 5v5 ARAM, it's still nice to have a support-ish character where they're taking the shots, um, you know, like Ash Arrows, Jinx Rockets, even Jin Ults. I forgot what his ult is, uh, what it's called. But um, <clears throat> taking those skill shots over, you know, possible damage dealing champions you know taking them but even having a supportish character to heal as well that's why the yeah. yumi pick wouldn't be bad uh the sona really really strong healer i want to see a bard uh bard i don't play support i wanted to see i wanted to see a ziggs you mentioned ziggs and i was ziggs, like i want to see ziggs <laughs> ziggs bard I would love to see a Zach, but Zach, they're not playing jungle, so Zach really isn't all that important. Yeah. But we're going to see some, oh, the Kogma E coming out. No Alawi, by the way. Yeah. I, no yes. Lux either. No Jinx. No, no Tristana. Not a lot of CC, actually. On, not really. I mean, Kogma's I mean, slow. Uh, Ari's charm. Um. Oh, wait, no. Uh, Pantheon does have a stun. I think his Q is still stuns. And here we see Brand oh, as him. Knocks. Him is in the bush, but he's, is getting, he is getting damage. Yep. Throw out the Cogmate. A mm. couple more. 
He's gotta be he's gotta be careful though. Keep shooting artillery. Okay. <clears throat> yep, so Bucks definitely lost that um team fight. Yeah, they definitely lost that team fight, that interaction. They're gonna need to sit back under tower while if they just Ravens. play for tower, they could take it. But yeah. knowing how the Ravens are playing right now, it's looking like the Bucks have a slim chance, but I also have faith in the Bucks. Yeah. Um oh oh the Hecram ult. Good ult from Hecram. So that was a good ult by Stars. Wait, Roots. does he have his ult? No, he does wait, what? No, it's his um it's not his ult, it's his oh, I forgot what, what ability it is. But it was a really good play by <laughs> Stars, I believe. Yeah, I think you're right. Because Genghis is playing... Genghis is playing Kog'Maw. Uh, Stars, I believe, is playing the Hecarim. They're going to be having... Uh, oh. Whoever the Trying Ari to take that is. set out. Oh, Set didn't realize Kog'Maw was sitting there. Looks like that's going to go to Kog'Maw. That's a good kill. And all we have is a 2v4 now while they wait. Hmm. Looks he like. is jumping on to Stars. Yep, he, he tried to get the stun off, couldn't get the kill. Stars is down. He does take out Stars, so now it's going to be a 2v3. We got a kill. It's fine. Okay. Yep, go back for Pizza that Man kill. getting the kill there, so a pretty good job by Pizza Man winning that team or winning that <laughs> 1v1 against Stars, even though Stars is heavily damaged. Here we see the brand to the right hit taking damage. Oh, here we see stars coming back and taking out pizza man getting his revenge um, Someone got grabbed. I, I swear if these people don't feed poros <laughs> You feed your poros right when you play league. Yeah, okay good good good. good. You can stay uh, <laughs> Speedy didn't know you could feed poros Wow it, If you if you know our friends who play league, they don't realize you have a poro biscuit. That's what that thing is it lights up when you walk across a poro. Oh, the Hecromolt. I did it for Unfortunate. Uh, no, <clears throat> Looks like Hecromolt uh, might have died to the tower, uh, too. Uh, set got a hit off. I missed that. Yeah, I um, it. Oh, it looks like Ari oh, might go down, down, which is kind of fine, no, actually. Yeah, that means Ari can can get any yeah, items. Can buy. Genghis coming yeah. in with some artillery. Going to try and hit, hit this E. Okay. Here we see, I believe... <clears throat> Genghis is going to have to be careful because with Kog'Maw, Kog'Maw is so easy to run out of mana. Oh. Here we see Pizza Man fighting at 3v1. He's going to get pushed into tower. Yep. I think that's it. Yep. Pizza Man going that's down. Mr. Fear in going down. Oh, this might be it for set. Oh, he tries. The set gets back. Okay. Kog'Maw. Good job to the set being able to heal. We then have a gravity kind of backing him up. Uh, Genghis hit the ult right there. Set dies, one hundred percent. Mr. Fear still oh, low. Okay, yep, there goes Set. Diana chilling on her tower. Smart. Try and get some CS going. Uh, CS for those who don't know, it's just minion gold, minion kills. Oh, good job to. Uh, oh, the Kogma death. Okay. All right here we see him kind of staying back, going into a fight against Pizza Man oh, and losing. I hear you guys. What, what's going I on? I mean that. Oh, it's okay. It's still, still ten minutes left till the fifteen. Still, minutes yeah, still ten minutes until the fifteen mark, bushes, and they still have bushes. a nine to six. Yep. So uh, everybody's gonna go back, try and get some items going. You stay in the back. Uh, yeah. I have a feeling Genghis is gonna be building AD Kogma, which is typically how you build them. You could build them AP. Uh, a little bit harder to play. You really gotta back up, back up, back rely back on your up. abilities, but mainly you want to build AD plus uh, yeah, back the fuck up. Me, attack damage there. and uh, attack speed. Uh, looks like, and honestly, it's okay. the let's, let's Bucks that have almost their first tower taken out, just about like three mm -hmm. quarters. Oh, or, in the car. Good the old. Ooh, okay. Seth's going to ult the Hecarim. Pantheon's going to try and come in. Dies. Here and we see a, a full wipe. team wipe with the ability to take out their first tower now. Three man is not looking dummy right now. This is probably going to be tower here. First tower yep. down. First yep. Tower They're going to be going for the next. They even can pick up the heal, the back heal. Mm. 
Looks like this could be a second tower. This might actually be able to. If Kogma gets his uh, ability to text me. No, nope, they're just going to do some damage. Um, no, I don't think Set has his ult. I thought maybe Set might jump in, get an ult. I think Kogma is going to be building Trinity Blade, most likely. Uh, what is Hecarim building? Is Hecarim building? Is that a Mawile? I can't tell. I can't see. Yeah. No, it's not. No, Stars no. could uh, hold tab. We could actually see how each person's doing. Oh, person. good Hecarim ult. Um, unfortunately, a little too low. He is backing Kogma's up those gonna need smart kite. move by Stars here. Oh. He isn't risking it. Stars is playing his life. Hmm. I really think, smart. I think Genghis kind of wasted that that flash. I think so as well. But here we see Stars pushing back in, but unable mm. to take out anyone. But he did do enough damage that his teammates can push. Okay, so he's got a pickaxe, vampire acceptor. So here we see some... Brand getting another kill, a team wipe actually, and they could actually be able to take out second tower here. Mm-hmm. Trying to figure out. So he's got Berserker Greaves. I think that's what those boots are called. They give you attack speed. Talking about uh, Genghis with Kogma. He's got a pickaxe, Vampiric Scepter. Uh, looks like he could be building Bloodthirster. No, no, no. That's not Bloodthirster. That's half of Bloodthirster and half of like. Here we see energy. stars pushing back in. Uh, yep, okay. Nice kill. Stars is putting in damage with this. Stars is doing really good. Oh, I, I, okay, no, Brand got the double kill, and set in up taking out. Here we see they're stars. about to take their uh, mm, inhibitor. inhibitor. Yep. This potentially could be game here. You know, um, could be game to where they actually take out the Nexus. Yep. It's, Not even 15 minutes have been played here, and there is an 18 to nine lead. Looks like. Yep. He's gonna try and. It's actually going to be 38 to 9 because they have taken out the towers. They have gotten additional points. And so it's looking really unlikely that the yep. box here can win. Oh, I thought that was going to be a turnaround destroy from I Brand. Thought, the I amount thought, of times yeah. that it, that has been seen. I thought it was going to happen and I was kind of ready. I was, I was too. The amount of times that Brand has just turned around and just... Instantly deleted, but unfortunately, but here set we see the Bucks can kind of get a little reset without Brand on the field, but they're still kind of running into the Kogma, the Ari, and the Hecarim. Oh, the Hecarim ult into the wall. Here we see Hecarim pushing oh. against. There goes the Diana. There goes the Pantheon. Yeah, the and then Pantheon. there goes the set. Okay, so that's another team wipe from the ravens that is three team wipes now look like looks like this could be another tower actually they do have their uh super minions out so this actually could be because i'm trying to look at the time i think one person just respawned but they did get a tower down mm. a second yep. one actually everybody's gonna have to spawn in they're gonna have to instantly jump on and oh, yep okay so they might not take final inhibitor or not inhibitor nexus no, they got the Nexus. Oh, they That's did. going to yep. be a win for the Ravens. Mm. Ravens able to play this game the way they like, win most of the team fights. Really good uh, showing from Stars and him. Mm -hmm. Stars playing as a Hecarim and him playing as a Brand. Yep. And both teams really. We're going to be seeing a 14 point lead in here now at 17 to 3. Yep. Both teams really strong gameplay. Um, I think Bucks really tried. They tried getting a bigger health pool. Tried getting damage as well. It's yeah. kind of hard to do that. I think the the set play was definitely smart. Set build tanky, build damage. Uh, same thing with the Pantheon. Uh, however, I feel like <clears throat> I feel like Hecarim was a really good pick. Really smart choice by Stars. Honestly, it was just a really good showing. Like it shows. That, that four-man is possible. I mean, they were against a three-man, but they did show out. They mm -hmm. did play the game. They controlled it. Yeah. Uh, they were able to... It would have been nice to be able to see the... um, Kind of like the scoreboard at the end, just to see like the KDA and the damage done. Yeah. But that's just another topic. Yeah. Uh, it's unfortunate, but it, it's okay. 
stars really really playing that hecram well he set up those team fights with the ults he'd come in uh he'd tackle and then Rand would come in with a couple fireballs then Genghis with a couple of uh artillery shots i believe that's what they're called it's been a while since i've <laughs> since I've, I've i've uh played kogma but and uh it was a good mm -hmm. showing actually pizza man did do pretty good as pantheon i mean oh yeah the pantheon a, had some pantheon really good... was really good uh the diana was smart uh, before the first tower got taken out to play tower was pretty smart to try and get some time back unfortunately it didn't work mm -hmm. but we did see mm. some strategic plays from the box yep but now we got Pokemon going on. With 19 seconds to go, I don't think the Ravens want this game to be like a forfeit or something. They want to play this game, and we're going to see this game get played. Mm -hmm. And here we are. We're going to see Pokemon getting played with the wheel being spun. And it's going to be Madden. Madden. Okay. Okay, so another sports game down here. It was one off from Dead by Daylight. Madden. Pokemon. How much you play Pokemon? You enjoy Pokemon? Yeah. It's childhood right here. Here we're going to see uh, Vape as the main POV. Man, Incineroar. I'm starting to get flashbacks from Super Smash. All right, the Calyrex is a smart play. I'm trying to see. I couldn't remember their full team comp, but if they had an Indeedy, they could have had a Psychic Field, which would they would have boosted the Calyrex. Hmm. Okay, so Incineroar's got Intimidate. Okay. So, I'm gonna drop the Follow Me. All right, that's a smart Follow Me from Vape. You gotta walk me through these moves. These moves you. are a little new to me. <laughs> I got you. So the uh, Astral Barrage, it's a two hit. Like it's a hits both. So I think if Mr. Fear is the opposition, he's gonna wanna try and switch out the uh, Fluttermane, which is the Pokemon on the left next to the Incineroar. Okay. Did use a Shadow Ball though. I believe it was actually trying to take out the Calyrex, but it did do a bit of damage. Now, here we're going to see this Astral Barrage land, not a switch out. Fluttermane's going to be taken out. We're going to see a little bit of health tie into chipped off the Incineroar. And then we're going to see Incineroar probably take a... So let's see what move it could do. And the Calyrex is a good Pokemon to kind of pick. Be here we see the Ogre Pond losing its item, but also being on 2 HP. That is... Woo! Woo-hoo! That is a little close for comfort right there. You're going to see a Rillaboom and an Incineroar. Rillaboom. Rillaboom was a starter. If I'm yes. Right. Okay. Both Pokemon are starters. Yeah. You're going to see another follow me. So it's going to be a sack on the Ogre Pond. A Psychic Terrain going to be used by Calyrex to be a strength. Okay. Astral Barrage was a poison type move. Okay. Smart move to use to uh, follow me as a sack, as the Ogre Pond would have actually caused a flinch. Actually, I don't think it would have landed uh, against Calyrex. I think it would have been... Battlefield got weird. <laughs> Here we see Calyrex getting taken out by the Incineroar. What do they have? They have an Ursh they have two Urshifus. Uh <laughs> are they different variants? Or yeah, okay. one should be the uh fight like one should be the water type, the other one should be the fighting type. Okay. Master Shifu. That's what I think every time I hear his name. Urshifu, I, th I think Master Shifu is gonna come. That's kind of valid. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> He's just taller. So we're gonna T type. Oh. So 
I'm gonna be into a is that a fairy? Yeah, it's gonna T type into a fairy and then it's gonna attack the Rillaboom. We're gonna see a surging strikes come out from the um Urshifu. <clears throat> This is something new that's, that's new to me too. The terrestrialize, right? Yeah. So basically, it changes its move. Like it changes its uh, typing. Typing, yeah. Okay. Is so it like, almost kind of like a was it Gigamax? Yeah, okay. kind of. But it's just this version of um, like you'll see they throw the Pokeball at it. It it becomes crystal. And so now the Fluttermain is now a fairy type. Oh, it's got a heart. That's cute. And so, like, if you T-type into a certain thing and you use a certain move, like, say it's a, what's it called? Say you T-type into a fairy type and you use a fairy move, yeah. it, like, it boosts it. Okay, so it kind of doubles the power? Yeah. Okay. And so here we're going to see the Surging Strikes take out the Incineroar. Pokemon was hit two times. Incineroar fainted. That's right. Should have stayed as four legs. Instead of going two. And a wood hammer taking that out. Putting the hammer down on her Shifu. Really boom. Okay. He's damaged. Yep. Possibly is that fighting dragon. Coridon. Coridon? Yeah. Coridon. Always having cool names. Pokemon never never ceases to amaze me. <laughs> right on, Are you going to play Pokemon ZA? <laughs> it's the newest one. If you ever played Legends of Arceus, it's another Legends. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the the newest Pokemon that I have played personally was uh, Pokemon Sword. Found it at my old college. Somebody had left their Switch when they had left the college, and it was in there, and I was like, huh. So you just <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Okay, I found it. <laughs> They didn't need it anymore. All right, so here we're going to see Vape with three Pokemon left. So the Bucks do have a one Pokemon advantage. Okay. Smart from the fr uh, Giraffe Rig back. <laughs> is this another version of Giraffe Rig? Yeah. Okay. It is. It's Because the original Giraffe Rig was Psychic. Oh. So here we see the Rillaboom being taken out. So now it's tied. Now it's a 3v3, but we're going to see who he's going to bring out. So did that Coriodon just turn into a fireball? Yeah. Okay. I want to make sure I saw that correctly. And I'm assuming it does. Uh, it has a like, knockback damage. I think it does. It should. Okay. Because, yeah, because it said that Coriodon took some damage. I wasn't sure. I think it's like fl uh, Flare Blitz. Flare Blitz. You ever use like a Pokemon with a Flare Blitz or like Brave Bird? Okay. Like something that like once it hits, you take you, you lose some HP. Yeah. But I mean, it's a heavy hit and damage. Yeah, so now we're going to see another Ogre Pond sent out. This time, it's going to... I think this is a Fire type. I have not played the DLC for this version of Pokemon, so I don't actually know Ogre Pond too much. Rhydon kind of looks, kind of reminds me of Toxis. What's the Pokemon I'm thinking of? The Toxic one that has like three different variants. Toxtricity? Toxtricity. That's what it is. Kind of looks like it a little bit, just like a dragon type. Was that a Moon Ball? Return. Okay. So now Mr. Fear is down to two, but Vape is going to be. So because Vape used a. Uh, uh, U turn, I think. Yeah, it was yeah. a U turn. Yeah, uh, he gets to switch his Pokemon. He's gonna bring out another Urshifu. So now we're gonna see the fighting type of Urshifu. Smart play by uh, Fear to T Wave the Fluttermane. Oh, so this Giraffe Rig is an Electric type. I think it just has. Or okay, so we're gonna see another Urshifu. Ah. Of the devil, the battle of Shifus, <laughs> Master Shifu, inner peace.
dark type on the giraffe rig. Okay. And that is... And that is loading question mark. I think, oh, I think I think they're choosing their moves. Yeah, we're just waiting for Mr. Fear to pick his moves. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I was like, oh, did we lose connection? Oh no, ally switch. Oh, oh no. That might have actually been a smart play because I think they were baiting that move. But the Fluttermane, I think, was attacking <clears throat> the Urshifu. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Here we see uh Oh the leftovers? Yeah. Yep. No, no, no citrus. citrus berry. Okay. The weirdness <laughs> disappeared <laughs> from the battlefield. Okay, so now they're bringing back in the Coridon. So this is a close game actually. Yeah, it's a two V two now technically. Now it's going to be a sunny day, so any fire-type move that gets you used is going to be boosted. Mystical fire is what it used. Okay. That was the... No, 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 no. We're looking at the flutter. flutter yeah, they're going to use... I think if they want to use this move, because you see that it's obviously super effective. Well, I think what they're doing is they were deciding whether or not... To do it because if the Faradriff uses the okay, the okay, Faradriff so could have used it, used the um, ally switch. Yep. Close combat. We just need. Ooh, this is getting really close right here. Close combat. Oh. And that Oko. Okay, that's a one hit knockout on the Urshifu, leaving. The Bucks with one Pokemon left being the Faradrif. Okay, Moonblast. But the Protect is going to prevent that. For Farafarig, not Giraffarig. Farafarig. Interesting. Is it going to use a U turn? I think it might use U turn. I think it all depends on who's faster. If the Karadon's definitely going to be faster. A T type? What's its T type? I want to see a psychic. That doesn't surprise me. It's got a big old evil eye. It survives. Ooh. Okay. Special defense spell. Karadon is on one HP, by the way. <laughs> and I think this is going to be a win for the Ravens. Yep. Yep. The Ravens are going to be winning this Pokemon game, causing the score to go up to 18 to 3, a 15 point lead now. Wow. We are at. We have played a total of 21 games so far, and we still have an hour left to go, guys. <laughs> this is. Uh, it seems that this has been a really fast game night it, really it, does. it does seem fast it feels like it's been fast but that's not in terms of skill it's not at just, all it's just how fast these games are getting through mm -hmm. like uh not a lot of people are taking their time which is fine you don't have to uh they're playing they, i mean even though they're not taking their time they're also playing it very smart as well yeah uh <clears throat> fortnite Smart, but it was fast. I mean, it was Fortnite was smart. We thought it was gonna. I thought it was gonna take twenty minutes because typically a regular Fortnite game does. But I mean, it was cleared out. A lot of the fighter games also went by really fast. Fighters went by fast, and that can give props to the Bucks. The Bucks yep. showed out tonight with the fighters. There's only one fighter left, and the Bucks have won three. Three of their games that they have won have been fighters. That's a good point, actually. Yeah. Uh, cause they, they, if they win Smash, they take it positively because then that means only the Ravens have won three. Mm -hmm. But if the Ravens win, it's four to three. Mm -hmm. And still have a bunch of shooters, um, because we have. Well, let's see, Overwatch played. We still have COD, Halo, and Val. 
Ooh, those are good. Those are long. <laughs> those are. I don't want to say long, but like I don't want it either. But like, it could go long. It could go long. That is very true. It could be one of the final games played. That is also true. Uh, and if it is one of the final games, that could those could actually be quick games because, you know, these guys are probably could be tired by then. Who knows? Yeah. But right now, it seems like they're they're uh, they're cruising right now. Looks like they're wanting to play Madden, so I do believe they're going to be going through with Madden. Maybe not forfeiting. They do have to get it set up within the two minutes that are left, or they forfeit. I mean, who's going to be upset with a forfeit on Madden? I don't know. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, Madden definitely up next. Uh, who do you think is winning Madden? Who do they? Who can they send in if they've sent in lineups? Um, him is probably going to end up playing. Him, him uh, can play. I think. Uh, it, I think him it might plays be him Madden. Stars. Yeah, him plays Madden. The I've seen really good improvement in play style by him. He's really good at it. So it's going to be him and Genghis. Okay, two people who really know what they're doing. Against Pizza Man and Gravity, so you know, stars invade the two left, and we're kind of hoping. What can we get? What two v two games are left? Uh, so COD two v two, um, Smash or five v five? Yeah, Smash is five. Okay, Smash is five. So you've got COD. I think it's COD. I think so as well. Because you have Texas Chainsaw, which, which is a four v three, which would actually be kind of perfect. No, like not gonna lie, <laughs> <laughs> that would actually be perfect. That are you telling me that this is a four v three between so seven people showed up in total, and we still haven't gotten that we haven't gotten Texas Chainsaw <laughs> at all. <laughs> if it doesn't roll, I'm if it doesn't roll today, that's our luck. Yeah, I mean it just wasn't meant to be. Uh, we could get like a two v two or something, and it would roll. Yeah. Um, Rocket League is one game you could play 2v2 if you want yeah. to. Uh, I do want Rocket League to roll. I I'm, really. I, I have a feeling. I have a feeling you're, we're going to go through 31 games. 31. And Rocket League and Texas Chainsaw are not going to be played. <laughs> I, I am scared. So are we going to see, gonna what, 27 or like 28 to 3? Or No, 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 no. It might be like. Wait. Yeah. It might be like 12 to 18. Yeah. I, th- I think they could go on a on a on a win streak. A nine game win streak, I would be here for it. <laughs> I'd, I'd be here for it. Imagine. All right, so we're gonna be seeing the Kansas City Chiefs go up against the San Francisco 49ers. <clears throat> Wait, what? <laughs> Who forfeited? For- <laughs> Formula One. Did they just forfeit? <laughs> they somebody just forfeited Madden. They forfeited. <laughs> they, for- they forfeited Madden. So Bucks forfeited Madden. Okay, so they heard me. <laughs> they heard me into Formula One. Ugh. Okay. Ugh. I'm more excited to see Formula One than Madden. Okay. Yeah. You know what? I can I can agree with that because I just was really hoping that next Wilson would be like Rocket League, <laughs> Valorant, <laughs> Halo, something like that. Well, look, we're getting there. We're getting there. We we've got. So, because of the forfeit, we're going to be seeing a 16-point lead here from the Ravens. We've really got. good showing by them of a four-man team. There might be a new saying in town, a four-man go dummy. Don't know yet. Brain is being dumb. I'm trying to calculate. <laughs> Brain is tired. I'm I'm here for it, though. This is, this is pretty fun to commentate. Yeah. Well, I hope you're enjoying it as well as you said this is your first year yeah, in the league, correct? Like, first commentating. Well, first commentating and first season. Yeah. Right? What do you think so far? This is fun. Is it fun? Yeah. It it really is because this is my this is also my first year here at UEL, my first season. And um, just a reminder for everyone, these are our final games of the season. Like this week is the final game, and then there is one more next week. But after the after next week, it is the road to Michigan. Is, that is where is that what you're saying? Yeah, the road to Michigan. That's when it gets serious, serious. That's where <laughs> money is on the line, everyone. There it is. Scan that QR code, guys. We're gonna keep telling y'all tickets. Get your tickets. We want you see scan that there. QR code. You can buy your ticket. You can get yourself prepared. Remember, it's June eighth at the Devos Performance Hall in Michigan. I look forward to seeing it. Any of y'all there? 
we can hang out. Definitely. You know, play some and video so games. So as of today, Maybe. with the Ravens win, you're going to be seeing them in the Southern Conference. You're going to see them go from third seed to second seed, which is just a boost because they're playing the same opponent, but they get to take them in seed. Mm. Whereas you see the first seed in the South being Eclipse, who still have two games to play. Reapers in the Northern Conference have played their final game, ending the season at 8-1. and one. Really strong showing by them this season. We have the bots who are 7-1 and one with one more game. <clears throat> Maybe, uh, is it one more or two more? For who? The bots. Uh, everybody plays, what, how many games? I'm Nine or t- ten? I'm not too sure because... The gorillas have five and five. That's ten. You can see the god, uh, the ex gods being at six and four, ten. So, just like we said, everyone, after next week, after that game next week, it is the road to Michigan. Mm-hmm. That's where money starts to get played on the line. That's where people can make money. That's where the hundred k comes into play. That's where you can play and win a hundred k or make secret bets. What? <laughs> I didn't suggest that. I don't support gambling. <laughs> That's crazy. But yes, we have that coming up. Um, we got a minute on setup for F1. So we're going to be seeing Stars versus Mr. Fear here in F1. I think this is actually going to be a really good game. I think so as well. Because we have two, I don't want to say two of the better players. Because, of course, each player has their own specific games that yeah. they're playing. But we have two players that have really like shown off uh, tonight, and I mean F one is just one of those games. Anything could happen. You could be in first and then get crashed out by the NP, like by an AI, just randomly. And it's you can't even compete with that. Like it's not even your fault. And one thing that makes F one, in my opinion, I think makes F one such a a solid game is the physics. Because one of the biggest things for an F1 car is its front spoiler. I uh, I forgot what it's called, but if you if you tap it, oh, we got all fighting games today. Next is gonna be Smash. But like I was saying, if you huh, smash it, um, and it takes a little <laughs> bit of damage, it actually ruins your, the aerodynamics of your car, yeah. making your car a lot harder to control. So here we're gonna so. see Mr. Fira bottom and stars being the top looks like he's gonna try and set up his camera view optimal setup i like it Don't so we see stars here in first place starting the race at first mr fear starting at eight stars hitting the grass taking a rough turn brother I'd probably get out of the first person view, but if you are confident, then I I trust in I trust in stars. I think the first person view helps. Oh, fear taking it slow. He said, "Forget it, man. I'm chilling in last." That's kind of kind of a smart play, but also at the Here same time, it's a stars, big risk. Yeah, it's a big risk because stars is in first. Stars is leading this entire race. I mean, when you think about it, they're both taking really Why? the exact opposite approach. Yeah. One says, one's playing to get position. One's playing to get pull. One's playing to get P1. The other one's just playing to not crash. Yeah. And I mean, technically, both are playing under the same understand. Oh. So we already see a penalty being given to Mr. Fear for corner cutting. Trying to catch up a bit. Well, what I'm thinking is they're both technically playing the same exact strategy. If there are no cars around me, I can't crash. Yeah. But... I don't think and when realized. that's the case, that's kind of like a. It comes down to mental. It comes down to just focus. Yeah, and I. But the thing is, I don't think Fear realizes that. Stars is looking pretty solid right now. Stars is quite literally <laughs> leading this race. He has basically maybe one person catching up, but mm-hmm. he's doing it. He's doing good. Mm-hmm. And Stars is really showing out that he knows this racing game and to not sleep on him. I mean, if you didn't... Oh, oh, look at that. He's already losing. Oh, oh he's no. just crashing. That's a win for... Oh. The, that's a Ravens oh. win because oh, of a crash. No. So because of that, that oh. is a win for the Ravens. Making the score 22-3. 
Stars showing. Oh, uh, stars man. showing. He did not crash an entire time. First person view helped him. <laughs> like I said, if he if he was comfortable, I believe. I mean, him. hey, stars showing that he does know how to drive an F one. He, he really can't do. even drive yet. <laughs> yeah, he can't even drive yet. He's not even old enough. But he's showing how good he is at it, and to not sleep on him in it. Yep, and that, again, that's an example of you know just understanding and trusting your ability to maneuver your vehicle. Uh, when fear hit his front spoiler, he lost a little bit of control and ended up hitting it again. And the next thing you know, his wheel fell off. His wheel, <laughs> his wheel <laughs> fell off. But I feel like they could still race with like three wheels. I feel like they should let it go on. Like, just try it. Like, let him have fun. You're thinking like old, like Need for Speed when you run across <laughs> the spike strips and you're just like, man, I'm on rims, but I'm still going. Yeah, I'm just sending her. Just send her, bud. Just send her, eh? <laughs> send her. So we're going to be seeing Smash Bros. next. So all fighting games today have been played. So congrats yeah. to both teams. You completed a category. We have 10 games left. In, 50 minutes left in this game. Wow. Can, can we do it tonight, guys? Can we do it? Can we complete the wheel? Can Bucks catch up? Well, no. We know they, they can't catch no, up. No, they can. They can. can if they? they win Smash, it's 17 points. That's a good point. <laughs> I like that. But can we finish all of the games? Can Ravens go on a complete win streak and leave it? What would that be? 30 to 3? Yeah, 30 to 3, which would be second most, which was the same amount that the Eclipse did. Really? Yes. Okay. Things are not looking good. But it seems like Bucks understand. Bucks and... do understand, but I think that Bucks are also just having fun they're I they're, they're here today they're having fun and i think that's positive for them because you know obviously the scoreline shows but they're not taking this game too seriously mm -hmm. and i think them not having that like you know kind of hatred or beef with the ravens helps oh man because i've seen today the ravens and the bucks were chilling together at halftime they're talking with each other they're like they're oh yeah typically so how a halftime looks here uh, what you guys don't see is we have teams go and they speak, but they're split. Separately. Like the, yeah, they're the t so say like the Ravens would be on one side, and the so Bucks would be in another, yeah. and they would just come up with strategy strategies. But everybody's been. I want to say time. that we can. Oh, Halo! Oh. Hey, Halo! Halo. <laughs> <laughs> I am happy, and I gotta turn my page. So we're going to be seeing Pizza Man playing as Greninja and Vey playing as Samus. Samus? I it was Samus. Samus. <laughs> Not to judge you. I was just like, huh? Oh. Oh? <laughs> That's Sephiroth? Uh, that is Sephiroth. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Vape. Pizza Man won. Pizza Man took one person out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we just heard somebody scream, yeah, pizza. I'm with it. Greninja versus ba Oh, no, not the Bowser pick. Everybody knows Bowser gives me PTSD. <laughs> I'm waiting for it. The grab. Oh, nope. There's the butt slam. Next is going to be the grab off of the map. Just take him off of the map. Okay, he's going to throw the sword. Not a bad play. Uh, He just... Brought a gun. Oh, he was okay, going for the okay. grab right there. He's probably gonna. Okay. All right. So we in. got. Yeah, we got the trophy picked. He's gonna. Oh. Okay. He stayed on map. Oh, he's he's, he's getting electrocuted a little bit. Yep. There it is. Boom! Right oh off the map. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, man. That Bowser. Bowser is so... I don't want to say he's cheesy, but he's just... He's so annoying. Well, that was a good play there by Genghis as the Bowser. So now we're going to see Genghis versus Gravity going in. We're going to be seeing Captain Falcon versus Bowser. Bowser's going to be Genghis. Gravity's going to be Cap Captain Falcon. Mm -hmm. Captain Falcon going to try and get some Falcon punch. Hit that bat. Oh. We're playing baseball. MLB just got added. MLB the show. Oh, 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 man. Nice, nice block there. He's going to throw, throw the bat, grab the bat. Oh, hit the, hit him with the bat. Grab the hammer. Oh, run, run. <laughs> oh, this. Oh, go for. 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, so now oh, we're going to be man. seeing Genghis taking out. So Genghis with the ability to sweep here against Mr. Fear. Don't let that drip fool you. You know, that man knows some smash. Uh, you're right. Uh oh, but could Fear, based off of what he's been doing, Ness. So we're going to see Bowser versus Ness. Hmm. Hmm. Ness putting in that work. It doesn't surprise me Mr. Fear plays Ness, actually. Uh, I kind of expect that. Gang is still hanging in. We do got it's another trophy. Dog. Excuse I me, pupper. I can't see. I can't commentate. Yes, I love you. You're so cute. I left you back on my DS. No, I think... Oh, I think he missed... Yep, he missed oh, the ledge. Poor... F okay. So Genghis, even though he got out, showed off that he knows how to play. Really good showing from Genghis. Pizza Man also getting an elimination. Now down to him versus Mr. Fear. Mm. Him on Dark Pit. Okay. Always curious why what the difference between Dark Pit and Pit is. I never never understood. I never searched it up. Yeah. I was just sad that in Smash 4, they didn't have um, Snake. I was sad. But here comes an S with the... With, oh, great came on. Oh, don't. Don't take that, him. Okay. Oh, no. Uh-oh. See, regular Ness would have been spamming the, the A. Okay. Yep. Good oh, did he get that? Into the bat! And that's oh. another elimination from Mr. Fear. And then here comes... So it's going to be a 1v1 now, I believe, with Mr. Fear facing Stars. Mr. Stars. Mr. Stars? Oh, that's a good name. Mr. Stars. So we're going to be seeing Kazuya versus Ness. Stars, we already had Tekken today. We're playing it again. I was going to say... Oh, oh. Isn't... Not the same as Tekken. Different controls a little bit. All right. I also think it's just a different opponent. <laughs> yeah. It's a little more cartoonish. Oh, he tries to go for a grab. There you go. Nice little punch. Ness is going to hop back up. And uh, for anyone that might not know, I believe Stars actually has recently competed in a Super Smash Bros. tournament. Showing that he actually is pretty good and he has learned. One thing that makes him so good at it is that he's able to, you know, time his moves Get his grabs, stuff like that. He plays smart. He plays strategic. Here we see Mr. Fears picking up the health thing. I I don't know this. Was... Oh, 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 okay. Yep, don't let him get that. Yep. He got it. Oh, oh my god, Mr. And there goes stars. Mr. Fear with the reverse sweep. So we're gonna be seeing another win. Oh, he has 115 on the back of his shirt. Who? Mr. Fear. That huh. was his number. Element 115. W. That, yeah. Stars, if you didn't see Stars, Stars is 69. So next season, if he changes it, it's going to be Flying Kitten. <laughs> Should that? I ask him that in the interview? Why does that not surprise me? Should I ask him that in the interview? Like, do you want to change your name to Flying Kitten? Like <laughs> Actually, we might do that. We'll, <laughs> we'll write that down. So uh, we're going to be seeing the Bucks in... Halo, the Bucks are going to be playing as the uh, Eagles, and the Cobras, are, the Ravens are going to be playing as the Cobras. Mm. Halo. I love Halo. Uh, but I'm hoping that they do play oddball. <laughs> so Bucks are going to have to choose the game mode. Yeah. In all honesty, because if Ravens choose oddball, there's no chance for the Bucks. Oddball in a 3v4 situation is nearly impossible if you don't have your aim in your settings and just your basic map knowledge completely like 100 there is a chance you're not you're not winning that so i'm really hoping that they choose game mode slayers i'm hoping they choose game bet. mode as well because they have slayer capture the flag oddball is king of the hill yeah king of the hill 
King, King of the Hill is actually a possibility too. They could do King of the Hill. We're gonna All see right. a timeout by. So looks like that might have been from the Bucks. No, the I think it might have been from the Ravens. Was it? Yeah, because the Bucks were on zero. Okay. Or, yeah. Could also be a technical timeout as well. Might actually be a tech. Halo is one of those games it doesn't like to work sometimes. And I'm going to be really sad if they have to force their way past it. Granted, if they put it back on the wheel, we'd be happy. <laughs> Just replace all the, the games on the wheel with Halo. Yeah, so only rolls Halo. And whoever wins this Halo wins the rest of the wheel. So if the Bucks win this, they win. <laughs> Here you go, Bucks. <laughs> it's a win. A win's a win. All I got to say. But so here we see the Bucks today actually going positive and fighting. Mm -hmm. So good show out for them today and the completing fighting. They played and won. Actually, that is a good point. I forgot that we had mentioned that earlier. You're right. Because they've gone four and three in fighting today out of the seven games. Really good showing. Pizza Man yeah. stepped up. Gravity stepped up. And Mr. Fear stepped up. Oh, Mr. Fear, definitely. Mr. Fear was I mean, I fear him. No pun intended. Double. <laughs> I fear fear and him. Uh, <laughs> but uh, G uh, I have it written down as GGS. Uh, Guilty Gear. That was just that Guilty Gear was Guilty Gear was the show out. That Gold was Gold Lewis with the the unblockable super. That is just. That is scary to think about. But also, we can't downplay Stars is uh, oh, Abba. Oh, never. Stars is Abba is really good yeah, for a new character. That like how how she's been out for two weeks now. So mm -hmm. Stars has been able to pick her up fast. All right, is this gonna be the Rocket League pick that we've been waiting for? Oh my God, Hollywood's on the butt. Oh, yep. Okay. Oh my God, Live. we caught it. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, there's me in the game again. That's really? My, that's my character. Which one? That was the. First one that was shown which what uh, the dude on the right you signed it i'm pretty sure that's me <laughs> so here we're gonna be seeing stars as pov they're playing oddball they're playing oddball uh, yeah i saw the oddball pick now if the bucks win this there's a chance that they can stars is hitting a shot stars is him oh yeah stars and ironically they have him on their team so Still, good job playing his life coming down here in the bottom mid. Good kill, getting right a kill, there. confirming Killers. the kill, and be another fight. Oh, but okay. the Bucks picked up heavy puck. Up oh, picks up the skewer, He's gonna run it out to dummies. Probably gonna try and go top tower, which is really soft. Oh, good job from Mr. Mr. Fear. Fear. Mr. Hey, Fear. Yep, there's me. I'm in the game. Look at Ash whooping. Oh, getting grenade kills. That's all I'm good at. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> good good job trying to live. And we have the Ravens have the ball. So they are picking up points. They are sitting comfortably. The Bucks are now forced into a position of yep, they're trying to get the one back. Sitting here back tower. Probably going to have to. Oh, I'm surprised he threw it down. I thought he was going to throw it off the map. Who is that? That is him. Him, him with the ball. Ash whooping going down. I'm kidding. Uh, I'm not sure who went down. There's a kill on dummies. They're going to sit here top tower. One. Okay, so Ravens all just spawn. They got a split spawn. One person spawned back green. One, one person spawned scoreboard. Looking like they're going to push through pillars. Up in the nest. Okay, nice shots from the side. Got a trade. He actually ended up getting a trade. Going to sit here top tower. Possibly. He's just going to rack up points. Can we get a view of Ash? We'll Whoever's playing Ashworth. <laughs> oh, it's Genghis. Genghis, Genghis is has got a kill. Me. Genghis has got a kill off Ash whooping. Oh man. I like that my uh my Spartan is being showed him. I, I worked really hard. Spent a lot of money. Uh getting that those cosmetics. Guys, can we stop him from flexing? <laughs> Nah, it's just guys, he's flexing. Thing. Guys, he's he's flexing. It's a season pass thing. I haven't spent money on that game for a while. Anyways, goes down back tower, leaving the ball there. Oh, guys on C plat. Looks it looks like they have camo, or uh, I'm not sure what the power up was this game. Uh, I think it might have been active camo. Was it camo? Either that or overshield, but I think it's active camo. Uh, 
No, quantum Don't translocator. Do. Okay. So that's one of them. I don't know what the other one is. Good live. Throw the throw the ball off the map. Help your team. Help your oh, team. he doesn't need to. That's called trusting your teammates. I thought he was going down for sure. But smart play. Smart play playing his life, running away with the ball. Um Skewer's gonna come up. They're gonna play for it. So now we see the Ravens have yo, more yo, than a hundred points stay on them. Help your team. Help your team. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to. Is it? Oh wow! I didn't realize. Casual goes up to two hundred. Okay. Yep. I'm gonna clear out top tower. That's that's our boy. Okay. Yes. No. That, that's stars running running down top tower. They don't have ball. Balls. Yep. There it is. <laughs> now they have ball. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it in the corner. I was like, is he gonna grab? Okay. Nope. He knew somebody was coming. Oh, he tried. <laughs> he tried. Okay, so Ravens have ball again. So what happened there is him tried to get a no scope, and then I think that was Fear tried to get a ninja, which is where you jump behind and, an enemy and melee, them. And melee them in midair. Oh, nice shots from the bandit coming from stars. Higher skill weapon. Um. So now we see this lead up to 137 plus. Oh, man. Raven, or the Bucks really need to push yes. and take the you, point you pack. Stay at, uh, there's one, there's the one, good there's thing one is, underneath. Bucks aren't goose egg. That is a big thing here. Yeah, I do have seven points on the board. Oh, they're going to pick it, pick it up. Gravity oh, has a ball eight, now. Nine? Oh, he, sh he should have ran it across. He should have ran it back tower and probably thrown it off the map. I feel like that would have been a safe play. Looks like Stars is going to try and catch him off of uh, spawn here. They're probably going to spawn. Here we see slowly. him with the point again. Oh, Stars getting a kill. Oh, there Stars go. with the good aim. Mm -hmm. Yep. Stars' movement is just really fast. Oh, my gosh. He's really good at this game. Got to teach him how to curb slide. Uh, yep. Nice kill. And that should be game. Ravens just, yeah, Ravens Look have Look at Ash flipping for me. Focus on the character. No. Where's he at? Something bottom nest. <laughs> Sorry. So here we see a 21 to 4 lead now. So it's going to be a 17 point lead. Up next is Rocket League. Mm. So we called for it. I low-key forgot that we got it. And now we got it. <laughs> I I'll do that. I'll make you forget what game is next when we're watching it. It's kind of hard to f remember what game is being played. Like, what game rolls next if you're not looking at it? Like, if mm -hmm. you're focusing on the game that's currently played, like, I just focused on Oddball, and that was fun to watch. Oh, yeah. Halo, always an amazing game to watch. I think that uh, the Ravens, they did a really good job holding the ball, running and playing their life when they needed to play their life, not having to – recognizing when they – did and didn't have to play the ball yeah what playing the ball is for those who don't understand you either throw it out in the middle like out in the open where somebody has to literally put themselves at a disadvantage to go grab the ball or, or throwing it off the yeah. map to reset the ball but i think really good showing from the ravens on that uh they made me proud you hear that stars if you watch this back dad's proud um <laughs> <laughs> but really good showing on them Bucks did a really good job trying to keep up. Uh, you know, their score might not reflect it, but they were trying to. They tried living. They put down some good shots. Kind of wish I could see what the damage was at the final score. Same here. I wish someone held tab. Mm -hmm. So I think they shouted outside, or I at least heard their comms going, stars, go for the 20 bomb. <laughs> and I think he got it. Makes so now we're going to be seeing a 4v3 in Rocket League. <sighs> mm. Now... The Bucks did get to actually pick the mode. So since it was their setup, they got to pick up the mode. Yeah, that is true. So we might see some uh, Heat Seeker here. Sorry, I was just thinking about how I got to ask Genghis when he comes in here to sign me out <laughs> on his computer. <laughs> that, I, I literally crossed my head. Anyways, sorry, guys. Back to it. Rocket League. What game mode do we think they're going to choose? I'm hoping they choose Heat Seeker. I'm hoping they choose regular. Regular? Why yeah, regular? Uh, because it's the best mode. <laughs> I mean, I don't disagree. Eh? But plus, I, with regular, we'll be able to see stars, Genghis, and the others like get to play. We'll even get to see some like that. I could be wrong, but I believe the Bucks have might have practiced some Rocket League this season. I could be wrong. 
Have you guys scrimmed bucks at all or no? No. No? Okay. Hmm. Maybe I maybe I get uh maybe I'll get him to s spill some uh, strategies. <laughs> what is y'all strategies for Rocket League, huh? Hit the ball? <laughs> <laughs> what? No, don't hit the ball. Mm. You heard it here, guys. Just scoring on goal. Just score. I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> that's, oh, the man, that's the only thing you can take in, out there. That's the only thing you can tell other teams. <laughs> Just score an own goal. Score an own goal. Oh man. But yeah. Rocket League here. I'm hoping it's either Heat Seeker. I think Heat Seeker is a lot more fun to watch. Uh hockey game mode is not bad. Hoops isn't bad. Regular game mode is fun, especially because it shows like I think it shows like skill normally. Yeah. Versus Heat Seeker where it's it's very easy to predict the trajectory of the ball. And, you know, you're able to time your aerials a lot easier. But, yeah, that requires some skill, but not as much as a regular game mode. Uh, just because the ball could go anywhere at random. Uh, but 30 seconds left. I'm excited to see what cars they use. I always like, I like when people sign in to their accounts. I, I really my, do. Yeah, when I play Rock League, I use my own. Well, it's like in any of the game modes, like especially in like Call of Duty or in Halo. Like, yeah, I like that mine was being shown. <laughs> <laughs> kind of proud of it. For a me, bit. Rocket League is like Rocket League Val. Val, I like because people have skins. So yeah. like if you see them with their skins, you'll see like, oh, you spent money on the game. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, nice, nice job, loser. You just spent money. Oh, thanks, man. Are you like you can see their specific crosshairs? Yeah, you know what I mean. I like that because then it, it shows their it adds a little bit of personality to your own game. But we're gonna start off here. Ball it's regular next. soccer. What do you know? Dead by daylight next. Oh, there it is. You're gonna be seeing stars as POV. He's going up for an oh. aerial right now. Oh, I'm able to hit it on target. He's playing. He's playing with the Finnec too. That's the tryhard car. So here we see Pizza Man and Gra. So they're triple pushing. Leaving their goal open. I mean, all the Ravens are right there as well, with the respective purple coloring. And now we see Genghis score for the Ravens. He is using the Fennec. Oh, I, lo I love the little sunglass thing that came down. That's kind of cute. Uh, I think it's just his, bro like, those glasses. Those glasses are sick. <laughs> Imagine he comes back. In the playoffs with those sunglasses. I hope he does. That would actually be kind of cool. I, I really hope he does. Those are cool as fuck. Uh, we, we are chilling, brother. Hearing the comms come in. Um, Looks like Ravens have ball. Maybe. Star is going up for oh, an man. aerial. I'm, I'm dumb. Big dumb. I said, <laughs> I said the Ravens had ball. Uh, okay. Here we see Stars scoring for the Ravens. Oh, it's Stars the Raven. Yeah, Stars the Raven. I thought it was Stars the Raven because the first time I saw him play League, he played Draven. Don't ask me why. Brain. So here we see a 2 0 lead right now with three minutes and 50 seconds to go, basically. I'm waiting to see the chat BM come in. Like, nice shot. Nice shot. Nice shot. Good oh. save from who's PC two? PC PC two. Lied to is you. I think it lied to all of us. Nobody. There's PC twelve. That's bait. You might have seen that. I might have, but I could. I could be wrong. It's really hard to see. Oh, almost got that. Oh, Gang is scoring the tat. He's scoring the reflection or the deflection. So if that was a setup, that was actually a really decent setup. Good play from Genghis to get himself open and keep the pressure, not backing off. And if he wasn't there, Stars was there for him. Really good play out by the Ravens, showing that they're putting the pressure and they're keeping up with the ball. So uh, any chance they get, they can score. This is... Uh... <laughs> I just heard like a very evil and maniacal laugh coming from outside. Genghis with another score in the sunglasses. The sunglasses are dropping. <laughs> the sunglasses are dropping. Uh, Imagine Call of Duty. Charlotte. Wait, no. What What ended up rolling that? Dead by Daylight. That's right. Dead by Daylight. Right. Yeah, Dead by Daylight. Call of Duty rolls 26 minutes left in this game. Three minutes left in this Rocket League Sorry? game. 
seeing a 4 0 lead. Genghis showing out. Three minutes still on the clock. Bucks still have a chance. Bucks do have a chance, actually. If they're not, I don't know if they look like they were hitting each other. No, but in, one thing that's crazy. Oh, 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 it was so close. One thing that I've noticed in this game, there's not a lot of people going for demos. And that's, I've, never mind. I stand corrected. <laughs> <laughs> As I said oh, that, boom, came up on And now this. that is him scoring to make it 5-0. So we're seeing a five-goal deficit after a demo Which that was called in by Ash here. <laughs> right there. <laughs> oh, oh, man. The commentator's curse. Uh, <laughs> five and zero oh right now. Let me help out the Bucks. Looks like Ravens are gonna win this. Commentator curse, maybe. No, you're a nerd. <laughs> nah. Um, six now. PC twelve scoring. That is going to be. Looks like commentator's curse is RNG. <laughs> Who is PC twelve? Yeah, it's me. It's up at the top left. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I, I figured it. Okay. Oh, Another wow. demo. Good demo from Pizza Man. <laughs> oh, Ariel. Up. Bounce back. Spoop. Pizza Man pushing. He's actually putting pressure on. Box could score here. Just start throwing automata Pias <laughs> in there. Boom. <laughs> Pow. Pow. Well, bam! <laughs> Smack. Whee. Now we got two minutes left of a six-goal lead. Bonk. Boop. Boing. <laughs> gonna come up. Gang is with the aerial. Oh, is it gonna go in? Nope. All right. Oh, so unlucky. Back Almost to scored a double tap. Corner. Passing it up. Start. Stars chilling. Oh, he was ready for the... Nope. Okay. Oh. I think him is... I manual? Oh! And we got the Bucks to score! Wait, commentator's curse! Who's PC2? PC2 is going to be oh, Fear. Oh, there's a PC2. That might be Mr. Fear or Pizza Man. One of them scored, but cutting the lead down to five with 125 to go. I heard I got it, and then he missed. <laughs> Not to call him out, but... And now it's going to be 7-1. If anyone knows scores that work with 7-1, and one, you'll think of Brazil. Brazil. I'm playing back. 7. All right, so we're going to see 7-1 here with a minute and 12 to go. Bonk. 23 left to go on the main clock. Boing. Ow. <laughs> Hearing the comms there. Oh, I missed. <laughs> like, oh man. Oh, good setup. Nobody. Good center. Good pass from uh, Genghis. Could have got an assist. Unfortunately, nobody was there. Looks like it's gonna go back down the Ravens side. Uh, a lot of flying. Oh. Oh, okay. I just heard a no from outside. <laughs> yeah. All right. A lot, lot of team bumps by accident, I I believe. Uh, is this going to be an aerial? Nope. You tried? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. He hit the post. <laughs> So Back to the how, demos. Remember you said there was no demos? <laughs> yep, I stand corrected. I I'm hearing them trying to keep it. Oh, all. They, they dropped. Okay. This is going to be a win for the Ravens again. 22 to 4, 18 point lead. They're going to be going into Dead by Daylight now. Dead by Daylight. I think Bucks. Oh, no. Ravens are choosing. Okay. That's oh, that's unlucky up. from. The Bucks, because Mr. Fear could have been killer. I think they still might give him killer, honestly. You think? I think so. That'd be a good sportsmanship. 
Yeah, I well, the reason I I say that is because I feel like they would do that just because, I mean, number one, it'd be kind of un, unfair. It yeah, really, we really would. I mean, granted, this is a three v four. It still is kind of un. Yeah. Actually, it's not even really unfair because it's kind of balanced a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. It's a little bit balanced. I think they still give it to them because they do have four players and they do have a really good shot at surviving and making it out. Uh, plus, I think seeing Mr. Fear actually wouldn't be a, a bad role. In all I honesty. also don't think... I also agree with you. I'm hoping Mr. Fear can play killer. Um... If not, this will be kind of a tricky situation for the Bucks. Mm -hmm. But who knows? Maybe they've actually been practicing this, and Mister Fear has been teaching them, and they might actually be able to pull up a comeback, like an upset. Mm -hmm. When it comes to Dead by Daylight, do you ever play? Yeah. Okay. Not like I used to play a lot, and then yeah. kind of stopped. But then I got into the league, and I was like, "Oh, I gotta play it again." So, do you prefer Killer or Survivor? Survivor. Yeah. What do you? Uh, what perks do you normally take in? Uh, I can't say. <laughs> I tried, guys. No worries. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't really know the perks as well. Uh, I'm still learning Dead by Daylight myself. Yeah, I was never really a big fan of it. So I, like I, I try it. to. I try to like. I try to learn it as it's played a little bit. So like, what are some really strong perks in this game? Deja vu. Deja vu. What does yeah. that do? Lets you kind of see every like generator in the map. So you like you can see where gens are, you can okay. see where pallets are. Or, actually, no, I got that wrong. That's windows of opportunity. Okay, I kind of like the names of that. Actually, that's kind of a hard name, windows of opportunity. <laughs> I like the name of that perk. That's kind of smart. Okay, I don't know the names of the, like I don't know the I don't know the names of the rest what their meanings. I, I'll get it mixed up and I'll get clowned on. <laughs> you get cloud done. Like I said, I stopped playing after a while and then came back and kind of started playing it, but I haven't been able to play it too much in the league. Okay. Uh that's good though. Um still minute thirty setup. We will get you guys the info on who is killer and what killer that they're gonna be. Uh in terms of tier list, who are the who are the strongest of the killers? Well, from what I've seen in the league. I've seen, so, like, I can use Mr. Fear as an example. Against Eclipse, he's used the newest killer named The Unknown. The Unknown? Okay. Yeah, I don't know what, what it is. It's kind of creepy looking. <laughs> I mean, it's I've seen unknown. other people use Wraith. I've seen, yep. I've seen some Wraith. people use Chucky. I've seen yep. the guy from uh, Resident Evil, Wesker. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, he's in there? Yeah, yeah he is. Yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just I don't know like Dead by Daylight like like I don't know too much on it. I just have played it. Well, that's not help. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> nah. He's hated on me, guys. It's crazy. No, nah, Dead by Daylight definitely a fun game to watch. We've it seen, is a fun game. We've seen people clutch up. Uh, we've seen Amethyst back when she was on the Wolves. We saw her clutch up. Uh, it was just her alive. She was able to find the hatch, and she was able to sneak on out and catch the dub. Um, we've seen. Uh, we've seen a mean Chucky. <laughs> Chucky's scary. Not even gonna lie. We also have seen the road to Michigan. Guys. <laughs> Here sure you am. see the QR code. You scan that. You're gonna be able to buy tickets to the Devos Performance Hall on for June 8th, which is gonna show you the UEL finals. The chance to win a hundred grand. Winner takes home a hundred grand. Uh, that's a hundred grand more than you could. That's a lot of money. That's a hundred grand more than I have. <laughs> <laughs> so here we're gonna be seeing stars as the killer with the Bucks playing as the survivors. I only see a couple white and black spots, and that is StarCraft. Oh, StarCraft 2. That is a You play StarCraft? Not really. I'm not <laughs> nobody else does. That's another game on the wheel. If Teams practiced instant W. You just got to put like two people on there. They carry. So we're going to be seeing Stars play as the Blight. Right. Oh, man. I heard that screech and that kind of, I was not expecting that. That is scary. All right. So Stars looking mean. Did he just Octane Stim? 
Apex? <laughs> Oh my god. We is, that a, is that approved? <laughs> we can't get away from Apex. Oh man. Looking like this character is about to get hurt, maybe. Maybe thrown on the shoulder. So he's already gotten one down. That's gonna be Pizza Man going down. This is not gonna be good for the Bucks because right now they only have three survivors. That screech was scary. So that's gonna be Hollywood going down. Sorry, Hollywood. Oh, run into the interesting. I wonder if it's like a calm down. Hmm. I'm about to look at this. Looking like they're gonna put. Yep. Nice. Tried to bait stars. Stars is too smart. Good job by stars. They're taking the hit. Run into. Oh. <laughs> oh what? <laughs> <clears throat> Looks like he might have. Oh nope. He found him. Trying to hide in the bush. You can't hide from me. Looking like Hollywood is down. So when that's one player down, that might have actually been the fourth PC that they had to build or to, to boot up. Either that or that extra person is just chilling somewhere. Wait, no, Hollywood's back up. Oh, I think this might be. Yep, this is the extra PC. Oh, yeah, it is the extra PC because there should be crows above their head. And that just, I think those crows spawn when they're AFK. Yeah. Yep, just going to throw him instantly on the hook. Can't blame him. Forget about him. Don't worry about him. Irrelevant. So that it, that means PC6 is the extra. All right. So we got two of the same people? Huh? They were all, all three of the box were grouped up. Oh. He's got the pickaxe. Just got off the mine shaft. <laughs> Found some diamonds. <laughs> I'm mining. <laughs> I'm mining. <laughs> Maybe someone else knows that. Oh, I hope someone does. <laughs> Looking like I'm gonna be driving home to that song tonight. I, I'm thought. not allowed to play it in the car. <laughs> 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 All right. They got the AFK person off the hook. Okay. Interesting. I thought they would have for sure just let him die. Maybe. I mean, it would be an extra person, but if they all go down. That's not going to help them. I feel like that was a little bit of waste of time. They probably could have spent on the generator. They have okay. So basically, two people are down. Oh yeah, that's two people down. Yep, you coming with me? You're hanging there. Let's hang out for a sec, guys. Oh, did he just swing? Yeah, he got him. Oh my gosh, stars. Stars is Stars ruthless. is going for it, bro. He's ruthless. Ooh, criminal. <laughs> what is he, What is he doing? I need to look into this character because I want to know what exactly what's going on. <clears throat> uh oh, does this nope. I don't think whoever that was realized there was somebody behind. You got everyone. I think stars just won. Uh, hook, one person is down. There's still one person down. Looks like one person might have gotten off a hook. Yep. Okay. So one person still running around. Uh, looks like that person on the hook might die. I don't think they I can... believe that person on the hook died. Yeah. I don't think they can get out of that one. And I think that might be it for this person. Yep. So there's one person still down. Which somewhere. I think is the bot. Yeah. Yeah, Wait, yeah, yeah. No. no, no, no. PC6 was the bot. PC5 is someone else. <laughs> Just making sure the gens get damaged so he can build up some more points. I thought he was trying to mine for iron. He found <laughs> he him said, there? There you are. <laughs> All right, GG's. All right, so that's going to be the Ravens taking Dead by Daylight going 23-4. to four. I'm going to be honest. I think that was the fastest game of Dead by Daylight that I have seen. I think so as well. <laughs> Shout out Star is there saying he's the first Blight in the league. So Blight. Dead. Okay. Yeah. That's the character he was using. I'm so stars, Star is be leading the path, being the first Blight in the league. Is that a trendsetter? Yeah, he's going to be a trendsetter. Uh, I can see it. 
All right, next we're going into StarCraft. We're going to be joined by our good friend, Murs. But we still got three minutes and 40 to go with the Bucks set up here. And then we still got 11 minutes left in the game. Mm -hmm. I mean, unfortunately, unless they forfeit StarCraft. Unless they forfeit StarCraft, then we don't have... We will get... What, what else is left on the wheel? We could get NHL. NHL has not played, and I kind of wanted to see NHL. You know what I could see? They forfeited. I knew it. Call of Duty is going to play next. Forza. No, Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Come on. And if it's not Call of Duty, it's going to get forfeit again. The Ravens really want to play Call of Wait, Duty. Wait, so was it a forfeit or not? Huh? Who wants to play Starcraft? And that's not that's not me. Oh. oh, okay. They were showing us the wheel. That's what it was. So, okay. we, so we no have... one forfeited. There's still two forty left on the clock. Mm -hmm. No one forfeited. Somebody yeah. wants to play StarCraft still. But we we just wanted to see what was left on the wheel to see what could possibly get spun. There's still Forza Motorsport. Still Call of Duty. Uh, NHL. Valorant. Valorant has not been played at all today. Yep. Val Texas Chainsaw not been played. And that. There is, so we are at 27 games. 27 games with played. six left. Six left. Call of Duty, Valorant. Val. There's the forfeit. Right there. So right. five games to, or wait. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, Murs. Unfortunately, we will not be joined by Murs. I I'm love sad. very much. Murs could have. Call of Duty, Call of NHL. Duty. NHL. Forfeit. I can hear it right now. Hold on, I gotta. That was Starcraft was a forfeit. Starcraft so next forfeit. up is NHL forfeit on side of the Bucks. Yeah, Bucks forfeited. So the score is gonna be twenty to twenty four to four with a twenty point lead here from the Ravens. Outstanding performance from them today. Really showing out that they four man team. Oh, I know. I know. Stars is upset. He really wants to play Call of Duty. Oh, I bet. I really want to see him. Play I Call really want to see Call of Duty as well, but I kind of would have preferred if it was earlier in the game. I completely agree. I do. Um, maybe everybody agrees to forfeit the rest of the games because they're six left. Yo. <laughs> and then they just go to complete the wheel. Call of Duty. Complete the wheel? Yeah. I mean, because that's technically completing the wheel regardless if they play or not. It is they've rolled. The teams have forfeited. Yeah. So technically that is going through the entire wheel. They forfeited. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So up next. Getting Call of Duty. I heard it. I heard they won Call of Duty. They didn't get Call of Duty. Oh, my God. They got four. Okay. So, 25 to 4. 21 point lead here from the Ravens. Bucks out of forfeits, out of timeouts. <laughs> it's their setup. Nine, eight minutes to go. What is going to happen? Is it going to be a forfeit? <laughs> They want to play Call of Duty so bad. Yeah, but is it going to be a forfeit from the side of the Ravens or a forfeit from the side of the Bucks? He's going to have to really... Stars is really going to have to convince his, his entire team. But also at the same time, he has to make sure that he's available. For yeah, he has to be available for Call of Duty. If he's not available for Call of Duty, then that's that's heartbreak. Oh, Stars. We've buddy. gone through three different setup timers in like two minutes. Hey, man. They're just quick at gaming. Called speed running. This is what happens when you are an <laughs> ultimate end gamer. We're, we're <laughs> they forfeited. <laughs> they want cod. <laughs> they want cod. They want cod. I want cod too. Come on, come on. Call of Duty, baby. Call of Duty. Call of Duty. <laughs> oh no! Valorant. Oh. <laughs> so we got Valorant. Texas. Valorant, Texas, and uh, Call of Duty. Texas COD. Oh, my God. That's actually kind of crazy. What are we going to do, Ravens? What are, are we, we going to do? play Valorant or are we going to forfeit? Oh, so. We, we heard some calls. I couldn't tell if they said we're going to play this or we're going to forfeit. I think they are, and I think Star said they're playing all agents. So... I have a feeling Mr. Stars the Raven here is going to be playing Clove, the newest operator from Valorant. 
I have a feeling Mr. Star is the real. I will ask him on this. Oh, no. If it gets played. Oh, I was expecting two more forfeits into a Call of Duty. I'm hoping that as well. Uh, I have. I can cope. I can cope. You can cope. I can't. There's six minutes left on the clock of any game to be played. It's Val, which is a first to five. Well, so in the case that the Bucks don't have any forfeits left, they cannot forfeit. If they ask to forfeit, the Ravens can choose to let them get the forfeit. They get the point, or the Ravens can force them to play the game. Is that the rule? Yeah. So if you're out of forfeits, yeah. you have to ask to forfeit? Yeah. So you can ask to forfeit, but oh. the team that you know, you're know you asking can say, no, you're playing this game. <laughs> So hey, you guys want to forfeit Valorant? Yeah, sure. I'm down. <laughs> and it doesn't penalize anybody. It's just, well, in terms of, like, what they have, it just penalizes your score. Yeah. Okay. That's good to know. I didn't know that. Well, we are at 30. Wait. 30 of 33 games. There's three games left. There's three? Yeah. So, if if the Ravens were to... Oh, know, wait, I'm, we haven't finished Valorant Caveman brain. If the Ravens were to win all three games, they would finish this game at 28 to 5. A 23 point lead. Currently, they are sitting at a 20 point lead. Mm. Well, we have five minutes left with a minute left on the top, like a minute 35 left on the setup timer. Valorant. Valorant. The one game you kind of need to play another game in order to be decent at. What is that other game you might ask? Aim labs. What? (laughs) (laughs) CSGO. No, no. It's aim labs. You need aim labs to be good at CSGO as well. Uh, And I mean, like, because, like, Valorant is like a Overwatch CSGO. That's, yeah. Yeah. Because operators with abilities and then just, yeah, spikes. Yeah. And it's like, it is fun. It really is. Um, it's aggravating from what I've So we have four seen. minutes left. It's look like we're gonna be playing Valorant as the final game of today, guys. Uh just so you know, after Sunday's game, which is <laughs> <laughs> So after these this final game, which is on Sunday, there's one left, and then after that, it's playoff season. Mm-hmm. So like we said, this will probably be the last time we can say it. Uh, scan that QR code. You're going to find the tickets to purchase that you can for June 8th at the Devos Performance Hall in Michigan. Look at all those teams. Look at all these records. Mm-hmm. Everyone's up for 100K. The only two teams that cannot get to it anymore mathematically is the Bandits from the Northern Conference and the Bucks from the Southern Conference. Yep. And uh, really, that's what we have to look forward to in the next couple of weeks. There last, is a hundred couple games. On the line. Playoffs. And then don't forget, Pros versus staff game, April 28th at 2 p.m. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, like I said, it got caught, by the way. <laughs> no, are they going to do it? Are you going to do it? They don't have do enough. It? I'm waiting for stars to just be like, forfeit, just forfeit, just forfeit. I'm waiting for it. No, I think they want to win. <sighs> Look at Pizza Man, by the way. Pizza Man's a level 222 on uh, Valorant. Oh my, oh, my gosh. Yeah. I want to do call. Him's a level 202. <laughs> Don't lie to me. No, you're not. I just heard Mr. Fear go, I want to do COD. We all want COD. We all want COD. I wish I could scream to the Ravens. Hey, yo, just for it. But I don't want to. I don't want to. Um, <laughs> I don't want to force the decision on anybody. I'm just a caster. Caster's curse. Caster's curse. <sighs> Wait, what just happened? Huh? Oh, I think he might be... Oh, he okay, tapped yeah. out. He tapped out. He tapped out. Yeah. 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 For, I thought he just alt f forward. <laughs> and I was going to be a forfeit. And I was going to be like, screw it, we're forfeiting now. I was going to be like, oh my God. It's like, my. I mean, might as well. You know what I mean? So here we see Stars closing off the door. Stars is playing Clove. I called it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. This is Clove. I like that skin on that. I like it as well. He has a butterfly knife, by the way. Very CSGO style. Very CSGO style. 
As we can see, the Reina is here. Stars with the double one. Flying kittens, 9,000 with a double kill. Flying kittens, baby. Flying kittens. Cats are great creatures. I'm for real. <laughs> for real. Dang, man. He played the... Uh... I have a feeling Stars is a very octane player. And the reason I say that, he's got the butterfly knife in Valorant, and he was playing the stim... <laughs> The stem, uh, the stem user in uh, <laughs> Dead by Daylight. Should we ask him that? Oh, absolutely. Do actually. you play Octane and Apex? Are you an Octane main? Do you play Apex and do you play Octane? <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my! <laughs> no, he could have gotten the ace. Oh, Pizza shut him down though. Yeah, Pizza shut him down. Looks like Pizza's the last alive on Buck's side. Him roaming around trying to get some sights, get some shots down. Looks like corner. pizza stuck in the corner. They're both item? looking at. Oh, he's gonna get picked up by Vape. Nice shots down by Vape. Stars was one away from an ace, by the way. Oh man, if there wasn't 30 right, seconds left, right. imagine they finish this game. And this wasn't the last game. Same keys. All right, close off mid door again. For real. <laughs> we could have had Call of Duty. The icing on the cake. Only game left in the blue would have been Texas. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> we, we didn't have to roll that. We got dead by daylight. <laughs> so we finished every sports, every fighter, almost every, every racer. You know what's funny though? If they finished this game and then played Call of Duty, I would have been correct in saying that the one game that would have been fair to both teams not being rolled. Okay, so Game Master Hollywood, can you? Uh, all right, hear him. Can we? So Ash can be right. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> One dead. Put you on A side. Oh, you on a commentators side. curse. Unfortunately, broke. Time is was, up um, in the game. This really is going to be the last game. But right now we're looking at bait. Looking like he's going to try and pick Spike something up. He's slowly making his way down edge of the map. All right, now we're back on to him. Him going to try and get some sight. Some info. Looks like nobody's there. Flying kittens with the diffuse. Oh, that's right. There is a spike. Yeah. I thought they were all just playing team deathmatch. I <sighs> forgot the spike. Those knives at him have a really nice the coon eyes. Oh yeah. Oh, those are really yeah. Really it, nice they're actually. on a chain. Yeah. What? What it's... are those called? I was like trying to look at the names, and then I saw fourth round, and I was like, huh. Stars has a butterfly knife. I have a butterfly butterfly knife in Val as well. It's knives are it's it's basically CSGO without a crate. Mm -hmm. We're gonna see a middle peak here from him because they did switch from going straight B. Now they're gonna be going A probably. Mm-hmm. Looks like nobody's gonna peak mid. Oh, pizza goes down. Stars revives himself because that is her ult. That is Clove's Ooh, ult. Oh, looks like that's Neon. Neon going down. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone could hear, we just heard him in the back and going, I'm going to die! <laughs> Switching sides. Switching sides. All right, so it is one round left for this game. One round left. And then the game's over. No Call of Duty. Sad. No Call of Duty. No Texas. <sighs> it's unfortunate. I know that Stars and the Ravens had a plan for Call of Duty. They had a plan for Texas. No. <laughs> hey, we are on stream, guys. I'm going to pretend I didn't see nothing. Him is banned. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> on my Minecraft server. My Christian Minecraft server. <laughs> Did we tell him that? <laughs> Be like, why? Oh I hope you know his gun. Genghis's pistol goes pew, 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 pew. Oh, I'm about to be Back to Rocket League. Pew, 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 pew. All right, you're going to be commentating. I'm just going to make sounds. Pew. Pew, pew. All right, him getting one. So him with one kill so far. They're pushing A. Walling off top A.
Mr. Fear flanking from behind from A. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> and that is a win for the Ravens. 26 to 5. A 21 point lead, 5 0 win. So that is the Ravens' final game. We're going to be seeing them take the second seed over the LAX gods with a outstanding performance. You know, very good performance today. Solid. Mm -hmm. You know, they didn't get Call of Duty. Kind of sad. I, yep. I know Stars really wanted Call of Duty. I know a few others really wanted Call of Duty. So. Yeah, yeah. Four man team. And we're going to get them to come on in. And this one. Hey, baby boy. Why didn't you get caught? Hey, baby boy. Hi. No. Yeah, we can hear you. Why? We can hear you. Oh, we're getting everybody. We're getting everyone. <laughs> we're getting everyone in here. <laughs> come on come on oh man what a what a night guys if you guys walk go back you guys are gonna hear a lot of automatopoeia especially from rocket league there's a lot of <laughs> big boops boings uh same thing in valorant there was a lot of pew, 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 pew. bang 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 uh yeah, automatopoeia night yeah. so big win for you guys tonight how does it feel you're gonna be the second seed now you took it over the lax gods with one more game to play against them, so you can complete yeah. the set, get a hat trick. You'll have a 3 0 against them. Yeah. How's it feel? Good. Good, good. A uh, lot of good Rookie plays. Years mine. I'm a lot of good plays here tonight. A lot of good fighters. Amazing fighting, amazing fighting, amazing fighting. All y'all beautiful. Um, shout out to the Bucks, by the way, today. Yeah, shout out to the Bucks. Showed yes. up. Let's just say, Guilty Gear, that gold, that gold is. <laughs> cooked oh yeah but no one thing yeah yeah Look, when it comes to gold lewis you you better know i'm putting somebody in the coffin <laughs> and so you know i'm gonna ask the question i'm gonna ask the question about the name should the i name? yes yes all right can we have stars take the uh mic so we want to we saw the name you had your name as flying kittens nine thousand. Right? yes right right is okay. there any chance you could change your name to that or change the name on the back of your jersey to just the flying kittens Flying Kins 9000, yes. <laughs> I will. <laughs> At one point. His name on the back of the jersey is not even right. Yeah. He's <laughs> it, it says star. 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 He's just a but star. Anyways, that name was supposed to be a joke, but I'm actually going to be using it now. <laughs> it's not stars anymore. We were talking about it. We were like, yo, Flying Kittens 9000, fire. It's a, it's a tough name. <laughs> also, another thing, too, Genghis was actually playing on my account. For yeah, Halo. Yeah. You were playing on my were account on Halo. Halo. <laughs> yeah, that was me. I was like, I should probably ask him to sign me out after this game. <laughs> I, did I did it again. I did it again. You wanted <laughs> 20, but it's kind of Did you get the KD? The did you get the picture? No, I didn't. But I dropped 20, though. But it was look. It was disappointing. Dad was proud. That's all I got to say. Okay? <laughs> but, yeah. So, we're going to be wrapping it up here. Shout out to the Ravens and the Bucks here. They finish off their seasons. Tune back in tomorrow at 3 p.m. for the Cobras versus the Bots. Mm -hmm. Appreciate y'all. Over this way, they thinking that I'm a hot topic. 
Niggas thinking they can play the game. Oh my gosh, please better stop it. Uh, I'ma take off in this game. I'm taking off just like a rocket. I'ma stay strong for my team, cause I'm always keeping it solid. Mm -hmm. I live my life like a beach, cause I wanna be in the tropics. Mm -hmm. Whenever I can't get them keys, just give me the keys to the mozzie. Mm -hmm. Then show up to the party in the mozzie, then Beach you know we just getting it started. I won't go, diamonds froze, life is cold to be cold. Rest 